Yeah, that is oh, literally hit your knees and start praying. <laughs> oh, it's not actually time yet. I w Are you both already live? Yeah, I was live like 10 minutes ago, but I switched scenes yeah. because I thought it was time because somebody said it's time. Whatever, it's 3 o'clock somewhere. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are we? Are we? Are we on yes. the internet? Are, are, are we? Are we? I, I, I think, yes. I think we are. I think we are. Yeah. I believe huh. that we are, in fact, on the interwebs. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, Zero Initiative One Shot Call of Cthulhu. I am excited for this today. We have with us uh, that other John Stewart as the keeper of arcane lore, myself as Phineas Mars, MD. We have Snorri Bear to my left as Bartholomew Shuttleworth. Below me and to the left is Bluebirds Fly as Eliza Case. And last but definitely not least is Deva as Charles Chesterfield Carrington. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Glad Hello. to be here. Welcome on in, everyone. So, for those not familiar with Cthulhu, it is a totally different system than your typical D&D. &D. Uh, we use percentile dice to determine whether it was a success, a uh, hard success, a fail, or basically what you would usually call a crit fail, uh, I, which is a fumble. Uh, so what we'll be doing is, this is based in the early 1900s. Uh, this story that we will be telling, hopefully all the way through, uh, will be around 1920s, and each of these have wonderful characters I can't wait for you all to meet. Are you currently live, Snorri? Yeah, uh, since we're off to such a fantastic start, I forgot to actually like unmute all of you guys for the stream, so they totally missed Fixel, Fix's uh, intro and the whole shot. So. Be my guest. Do, do your own right now. Start. Go for it. Yep. Great start. Do it to it. Go do your own. What, what, who are you? I'm actually not oh, getting that God. you're live. Just saying. Yeah, you're not live on mine, buddy. What the deuce? I was well, just about to message you, but since we're in the middle, oh. I'm going to tell you. You aren't live. Come on, slobs. <laughs> it's like refusing to go live. That's fantastic. Don't worry. It's It failed its sanity roll. <laughs> As we all will. <laughs> all right. I mean, Off to just a... Fantastic beginning here. I've, I've we have already, many, many, it's doing nothing. many sanity failures ahead of us. I mean, you're going to make some. It's like, most likely 16. It's statistically likely that we'll make at least one. Which means we won't. I have faith in Ever. You. I have faith in us. It's the dice that I don't believe in. Truth. I just realized that I am a mod in Snorri Bear's channel. <laughs> <laughs> just now. I was like, where is my pop-out chat? And it says, Act do non-mod features. I was like, oh, I think I knew that at one point. Hello. It's <laughs> shirking uh... my responsibilities. I am very sorry. What do you think you are, like, Dark Knight? But it's actually not doing anything. Fantastic. A moment, Lovely. we're just doing some tech gremlins we're trying to figure out here. This is my punishment for our Discord conversation earlier. Oh, <laughs> one, like is. I said earlier, I believe in karma. This is yours. Well, we looks like we already? might just be on Fix's stream because uh, I got nothing. I have no idea. There's absolutely no reason why it should not be. Tempted the great old ones, and now they're stirring. Yeah, what's going on? They know. Womp, womp. Coming to fix seals in the form of thunderstorms. Hey, we, we live in the same city. <laughs> 
I'm liking this ambient sound here, Jay Stu. Real good. Mm-hmm. Trying to set the mood while uh, we're figuring things out. I like it. Creaky sounds. I have, I have a couple prepared for today. How's it going over there, Snorri Bear? I have no idea. This The go live button is it's there. I click it. It switches over to my live screen, and it still says go live at the bottom, and it that's it. Like, it will not anything. I've checked the settings, checked the Steam... Check the, the key, the whole shot, and I have no idea. Did you want to try restarting slots? Because all your stuff should still be there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I restarted. That was the first thing I did was restart it, but it's not. Did you make sure everything's plugged in? Did you sacrifice a goat to Yogg-Sothoth? Is it impossible oh, to succeed it. I in totally this game? Forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Two your disguise your disguise is a five. I, it's I mean, you have a ninety five percent chance of failure on that roll. Is that what that means? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Good. You have to roll a five oh, or ninety four percent chance of failure. No, Great. no, 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 no uh, with all of these wonderful people, moving on. I think it's actually working now. Reload. There we go. There's a guest command. Hi, how you doing? Oh, welcome. Uh, oh, there we go. I see you you're got live it. now. You're live. Woo! With hey. overlays. Those are some sexy overlays. It oh, really is. It was worth. It was worth being six minutes late. Worth, worth the. Worth I mean, the wait and the. What do I take for that, Jace? Do you like two, just knock two off of sanity right off the bat? <laughs> no, we're, we're fine. Do you want to drink from a flask? Yes, you are. You get, <laughs> you get, you get two bonus sanity for that flask. Woohoo! All right. All right. So you can do an intro if you like now, since you're live. In fact, please do. Ah, well, welcome on in. And we are playing Call of Cthulhu today with Jay Stu. Let's see if I can point in the right direction. Nope, he's up there in the middle. The guy with the hood, who's going to probably kill us all. Say hi to the people. We got David right over top. Vixiel, some of you might recognize over hey. there on the other corner. And Bluebirds Fly. So uh, I have never actually played Call of Cthulhu before. This is a new system to me. And uh, Jay Stu is going to, uh, uh, again, at one time try to walk us through this. And at the same time, try to kill us all. So... It'll be a fun dynamic. I mean, I hope you all live. We had some tech gremlins. We're trying to get everything set. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, no, we good? I think that is it. Yeah, I think so. It's on you, boss man. Find out soon enough. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Take it away, Jay Stu. So you all have recently received been contacted by Rupert Merriweather, an aging man you've known for many years. And within the letter, you find out that he is unwell and he's requesting that you come and see him in St. Mary's Teaching Hospital in Arkham. Uh, for some of you who were outside of Arkham, you received a telegram, a Western Union, uh, giving you the time and date to meet him, which would be this upcoming Thursday at 1 p.m. He would like to see each of you. Uh, none of you guys know each other at this point, so you're basically just coming to see an old friend who is on his deathbed. Uh, first to arrive would be Charles. Uh, How'd you do? You come into uh, the hospital as the lawyer in charge of the will. Uh, you're recommended to him, and he's known you for a while, too. And when you get in there, you see 
his wife and his son sitting there with a couple nurses overlooking, just checking things. And he just looks at you and very uh, faintly smiles. He's really weak. Uh, the last time you saw him, he was in much better health than this. So it's kind of shocking to see how far he's regressed since you last seen him. I'll politely greet his wife and child before I walk over to him. Rupert, my, my dear old friend, you've looked much, much better. Uh, sorry to say. Go ahead. Uh, that was it. Oh, and his wife just smiles at you. The sun just kind of glares at you. Uh, he, there's something about you he, I, he doesn't like. Uh, you just kind of notice that he's giving you a a side glance at most. I'll ignore it for now. And then he's like, please wait. I have some other uh, friends coming shortly. Hopefully uh, very soon. Of course, of course. I'll just be over here in the corner if you need me. And he just kind of gently smiles and leans back into his pillow. And about 10, 15 minutes later, we see uh, a doctor coming in. Uh, he looks worse for wear, uh, but uh, as soon as he came in, comes in, Rupert kind of whispers to his wife to have uh, Phineas come in and introduce, you know, basically see how he's been. So he sends Agnes, his wife, over to get Phineas. Good afternoon. Rupert, you look like shit. What happened? Age. It'll catch you too. If you need any ministrations, please let me know. And he kind of coughs a little. Uh, it sounds very like his lungs are filled with fluids. Mm. Have you had, have you seen a doctor about this? He looks at you. He's like, I'm in a hospital. Oh, I thought we were in his house. That's my nope. fault. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that we were in a hospital part. Yeah, St. Mary's Teaching Hospital mm. in Arkham. And what are they giving you here? He goes, I don't know. They're basically making it so I don't have any pain. Well, if it's that far gone, that's all they can do, I expect. And he kind of coughs again. And just a tiny bit of blood you see on his handkerchief. And at about this time, uh, as both of you are walking up, let's see here. I'm trying to get the names. Bartholomew runs into Eliza in the lobby. Oh, sorry. Um, excuse me. I'm going to try and go in the same direction that he's apparently walking in. And it takes you a couple awkward minutes of walking and you realize that you're coming to the same room. Stop at the door and look over. Push the door open. And when you walk in, you see the doctor sitting there off to the side and a well-dressed man uh, sitting off in the corner and the wife that you've met in the past, Eliza, uh, briefly, and a son just, or you assume his son, just kind of looking at all these people coming into his father's room. How different all of you really look to him. Well, it's a regular party in here. I'm gonna walk yes, up to his right. wife, I'm gonna take her hands in mine and just kind of like close my eyes and wish her my respects and then I'm going to walk over to him and do the same thing 
the sun keeps an eye on you while you're doing it. Just so I guess very suspicious of someone who came in dressed as you are, knowing his father the way he was. While the other three kind of fit people he would see his father associating with on a regular basis. And it was about this time that uh, Rupert whispers to Agnes, uh, if he could have a moment with the four of you. And I'll, I'll just take off my hat and extend my hand to the wife and tell her I'm very sorry about Rupert's condition. It's sorry to see you under such circumstances. And she smiles and just nods and then tells her son, Bertrand to step outside with her. And the nurses that were looking at Rupert uh, left as well with them. So currently is you four and Rupert in there. Rupert, you old four flusher. When I received your telegram, I thought you were off on a bender, not lying here in the hospital. Lord, now show some respect. Yes, can't you see this man is dying? Oh, uh, Rupert and I go way back, don't we, old wildcat? He was in my youth. I came across many of them, many of interesting folks. Uh, part of that is why you are all here. And he goes, in my youth, I and some fellow students became involved in what we believe to be an innocent exploration of the occult, led by a slight older man named Marion Allen. The six of us purchased an old farmhouse a few miles west of Arkham, near the village of Ross's Corners. There we could conduct seances and other psych psychical research and privacy. Alas, our work had unforeseen results. Our last experiments summoned an evil force into this world. Instead of attempting to expel the thing, we were afraid and abandoned the old house. Confident that the magic that was brought the evil to this world would also keep it confined in the vacant house or send it back after a short time. However, I have since discovered that the spell uh, that binds the entity to the house lasts only a, as long as the caster lives. And at this point, he coughs a little more blood up. Do you expect us to believe this nonsense, magic spells, and evil beings? I must admit, Rupert, this sauce, is a Rupert. bit far-fetched. I believe me. you, Rupert. I'm sure that you do. Yeah, you would. Trust me when I, I say this. It is real, and I am currently the last of the group that brought this entity to this plane. And I fear upon my death that the thing will go free and wreak havoc on the folks thereabouts. I am too old, as you can see, far too ill, and definitely too much of a coward to go back to the house to try to banish this entity. I am now, Rupert, when did you become such a dewdropper? I've never known you to pass up a challenge. This one is the reason why I've not left Arkham in many years, for fear that it might follow me elsewhere. Well, I believe that you're probably just some suffering from some sort of hallucination brought on by sickness of some sort, but seeing as how we go back, I'll indulge you this last time, my friend. And he says, I am convinced that once I die, which I'm told is very soon, that the entity will be able to escape. And he I'm going to lean over to D Dr. Mars and just say, Look, you're the doctor. Are you sure he's just not half seas over off of morphine? Alas, I am not his doctor. He summoned me here just like the rest of you. E. I'm going to take a look at Rupert's medical chart. And you see that they've been giving him morphine and everything, and that he has a 
deadly case of pneumonia at this point. And they're just trying to make it as painless as possible. Uh, well, he is on a good amount of morphine, but he still appears to be coherent. And as you're looking at that, he looks over to the left on a little table is a box. And he goes, take the box. As he kind of nods towards it weakly. He goes, all the aid that I could offer you lies within. You must find the courage to send that thing back to where it came from. You must see that this is done. Do this for me, please. I'm going to step he, forward with diligence and take this box. And as you do, he coughs up so much blood. And I need you all to make a sanity roll. Jesus. Good Lord. Head off the bat. The green button, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Welp. Wow. Oh. Ooh. So let's see here. Ooh, wow. Ouch. Wow. Charles did. Okay. So Bartholomew, you take one sanity damage. And currently, Eliza has the box. I'm holding it like. Is he still alive or did he just die? He passed out, but he's still alive. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check on him to make sure his heart's still beating. Um, it yeah. is. It's very weak. And I'll go and summon a nurse. And you would suspect that he may have a day or two at most. He's not, he's not going to last long in this state. Oh, we should give him the best care that we can. At least keep him comfortable. If and what he says is true, then we're going to need all the time that we can. The least we can do is look into it. I agree. As difficult as it is to believe that we should at least give this farmhouse some due consideration. Uh, can I sneakily take a vial of his blood? Wow! Uh, do you have a vial on you? I have a doctor's bag. I, I don't know. Um, let me, let me roll something real quick. Okay. Rod, you, Rod, you have one. Uh, evens you do not. You have one. Okay. Do I need so, to yeah. roll uh, medicine or... Yeah, is anybody paying attention to him? No, or... I'm heading off to grab I... a nurse to make sure that uh, Rupert can be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I assume we're... I'm still standing next to him since we were talking, but I... He's a doctor. True. Yeah, I think we see things. him, but I don't think, think anything it's weird. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and Charles grabs the nurses and the wife and son rush in as well. Are you guys going to take the box and run? Hide the box? I am going to slip out of the room with the box. What was his wife's name again? Agnes. Agnes, we are going to run an errand for your husband. We should be back within a day. And she looks at you and just keeps rushing by, uh, just worried about her husband. But she acknowledges that you were saying that. But her husband's health is more pertinent. Well, I've I... never known Agnes to be a dumb Dora, so I wonder what she makes of all this. In my experience, most people are dumb Doras. Okay, so y'all left the room. Yeah, I follow uh, Eliza. Yeah. Everyone follows Eliza? Okay. Are you going to look at the contents of the box in the hospital, or are you guys going to leave? I think I we probably could probably not open that here. Like to the lobby, maybe to the lobby and have a look, but clear of the room. 
I mean, if there's an empty room down the hall, I would probably just use it. You would? No. Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> well, would that be within your character that they would do that? I think that when she, because she slipped out, she has the box, and I'm going to walk down the hall just like one or two turns and look over my shoulder and see the other ones coming. So I'm going to slip into the, like the first empty room that I see. If they follow, cool. If not. Oh, I'm definitely following her. Yeah, I've okay. got oh, my yeah, eye on that box. I was, I'm uh, too curious. Okay. Okay. And then when the last one walks in, I'm going to say lock the door. All right, but I don't see what the big deal is. We don't know what's in this box. It's clearly something important since Rupert wanted us to have it on his deathbed. I haven't known Rupert to ever waste an effort. I haven't known Rupert to ever waste anything, which is why he keeps me on retainer. Walk to the nearest desk or table and set the box down and... Does it have a lock on it, or is it just open? Like, just uh, open the you box? can open it. There's no lock. On okay. The box. Yeah, just open it up. Okay. And within there, you find the contents of a key, a letter recently written, and a sarcophagus-shaped box. Ooh, a box within a box. How mysterious! So, what would you look at first the letter definitely the key okay the key okay the key looks like it would belong to a house which you would presume would be the farmhouse i'll pocket it okay and then the letter I went ahead and showed it to y'all. If you would like to... I'll read it. I was going to say, whoever has the letter, if you would like to read it. Dear friends, in the years after the nightmarish events that of that night in my youth, I have seen many strange things. Only now do I begin to grasp the truth of reality and the scope of what is happening in the world. I've tried, in my small way, to combat the horrors and make amends for my part in bringing one to our plane of existence. What I have left to offer, what riches and wealth I have, I will put to good use in dealing with these abominations. It is the very least I can this old coward can do. I could never make myself go back to that little farmhouse and put those events to right. I do, I too gravely feared that which my friends and I loosed upon this countryside. Nothing of consequences has yet taken place, but with my death I fear the bonds will be broken and that whore freed to come and go as it pleases. Lives not yet taken already weigh heavily on my conscience. This method of delivering the things out of this world is still in that accursed house. The translations made by Marion from the book De, De Vermisis Mysterious. I was never strong enough to take on the task, but I have that I hope that you are. I assume that means hope. Mm. In ridding this world of this, perhaps you will have my soul from hell. For I fear that my deeds have not been enough to release me from this heavy burden. I do not expect your forgiveness for what I ask of you, Rupert Merriweather. Well, this is all sounding quite serious now. And so and within the thing is still the sarcophagus-looking item. Mm-hmm. And, you, so, and you notice something else kind of rattling in there, uh, but you can't see it. Uh, with knowledge in the occult, does De Vermesis Mysterious ring a bell? Uh, make a roll for it. Okay. Mm. Occult roll? Yes. <laughs> Not okay with this one or the other answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why is <laughs> Why is your occult so low? I don't know. Uh, nope. Nothing comes to mind on 
See you. Great. I thought oh. that I would be good at that. Did you actually put in your skill ratings? There's a button there. Yeah, what? but did you fill in your skill ratings from your sheet? Are you talking about the check marks? Mm -hmm. The check marks are for if you use that roll, you check it and you level that up at the end of the session. Let's see. If you survive. If you survive. That's not. Oh, I may have done this wrong. I'm going to uh, need to go look at my character uh, sheet. Yeah, I would, I would double yeah, check I had the character to... sheet. I just okay. copied the numbers directly from mine. That's what you do. Yeah. Okay. So well, we'll, we'll give we'll it a second. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Check yeah. your thing, yeah. and if it's if it's uh, higher than sixty, then I guess you succeed. Mm -hmm. That would be the truth of it. Yes. Okay, give me uh, two seconds. While well, that's going on, uh, it's almost like the uh, box has kind of like a false bottom as well. Since one of you grabbed the keys out. Yeah, would... I'll have a feel around in the box and see if I can okay, yeah, shift it's... it around enough to get the false bottom up. It's not difficult. Uh, there's basically, you just push on the corner and it pops up a little. Yep. And what you find underneath is a journal, a, a diary that he has written that he wanted to keep away from just if someone were to glance into the box, they wouldn't see it. I'll take the diary and I'll start I'm, paging through it to see what I can see. Okay. There's, I'm I'm just letting them root through this stuff. I'm kind of keeping an eye out the. I'm assuming there's a window or something in the door that I'm just kind mm -hmm. of keeping an eye and making sure Agnes of the Sun isn't on the lookout for us. And this would be so much easier if it was in person. But there's there's four pages that really stick out to you. And I put it on page one that has a couple entries. And if you were to read through the whole uh, diary journal, it would mm -hmm. take you four hours to read the whole thing. Oh, I'm not Whoa. going to go through yeah, the whole no. thing with a fine tooth comb right now. Yeah. I'm just getting the highlights. Yep. As uh, I hit the first entry, I'm going to glance over to that sarcophagus again. Okay. Blue, really the only thing that you need to copy from your character sheet to this are the characteristic numbers and then each of the skill investigator skill numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so whatever, your job skill and yeah. your personal interest skills. Yeah. Those are the big things. Hmm. So I have the characteristic skill numbers filled in. The okay. charm ones, I never wrote numbers in there, ever. I never did numbers there. Okay. Um, I can DM you about that and we'll go through Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> so the first entrance is Rupert has it says Marion Allen has acquired an artifact perpetual of, of Egyptian. It appears to be a small sarcophagus of gold. Inside is a large piece of amber, which let me get this a little bit larger. There we go. Which entraps a specimen of some unknown species of arthropod. Alan is very excited as the box corresponds to a description he found in an ordinary reference volume in the University Orange Library. Alan says that in another book, the De Vermis Mysteries is an explanation of the power of the box. The text says the small animal trapped in the amber is actually the host of a bound Dijin, a guide to the spirit world. Alan says the tome mentioned that originally there were four such pieces of amber contained in the box. There is no mention of what happened to the other three. We are agreed and, and a date has been set to conduct a ceremony intended to summon the Dijin, uh, which Alan assures us to be friendly. We have chosen the night of Saturday, the 18th of March, the night before the new moon. And that was on February 27th, 1877 was the first one that kind of stuck out uh, to you. And it gives you a hint about the sarcophagus's uh, where it originated to some degree. According to this, that's what was the date of that letter? 
That was February 27th, 1876. Oh, so I, I was uh, looking over at Charles, and I assume he, you had the letters, yeah? I have the journal. Uh, yes. I believe Phineas oh, yeah. has the letter. I have the okay, letter. You were reading the journal. Okay, because mm-hmm. that, that date, I just, that was, that was ages before I ever met Rupert. Yes, same. He's been working on this for decades. Hmm. And then the next entry you find is March 19, 1877. We began the ceremony as Alan instructed, according to that described in the Dave Vermeer's Mysteries. A fire is set in the fireplace and a pentagram chalk on the floor, marked with the appropriate symbols and illuminated by two black tapers placed near the center. Flanking the piece of the amber with its entrapped spirit, the others sit in a circle while I, the designated watcher who guards for malevolent spirits, sit in the corner of the room. At least I get the comfort of a chair, while others can look forward to sitting on the floor for hours. Alan throws a handful of powder in the fire, producing an evil-smelling smoke and dampening the flames, which now burn a sputtering green and brown. Those seated on the floor begin the Latin chant Alan has just transcribed from his book. After nearly two hours, I see a trail of smoke circling up from the piece of amber. Its surfaces seem to be bubbling and melting. Can this be? Have we finally achieved success? I could see a form. And that's the end of that. Entry. Charles, Charles, are you reading this out to everybody? Yeah. Uh, he mentioned it's a book. The the de, Verme, de Vermisis. Uh, I probably won't know anything out of, about it, but I can try. I probably would not have much success. Uh. You're an educated person that's been around a library too. You could. Ooh, can I do library? Uh, or would it be a cult? It would be more of the occult. Okay. I well, put a number. Library used to be more if we're in a library and actively looking things up. Got it. What's your occult score, Eliza? I put a sixty in it. <laughs> oh, so that's a success. I mean, I did it after. I'll take the fail on the first one, but I'm just saying if we need it again now, then I can do it. <laughs> well, your sheet was messed up, so. Yeah. If so, your cult should be 60, and from your concept, it probably should be. Yeah, it should be. Then, and that's a reasonable success. Okay. Well, and he mentioned this Marion Allen character, but what he's told us before he passed out, I assume that, well, whatever's befallen them, we won't find them again. No, Rupert said that he was the last one. And on a successful uh, cult roll, it reveals old carvings on the inside of the box lid, resembling uh, writings attributed to a certain occultist to the lost Pacific continent of Mu. M-U. Mu? Mu? Wow. I still, I'm not convinced that this isn't much more than a group hysteria. I certainly don't I think it's all a bunch of hogwash myself. Or anything like that. Does somebody but... want to read the next two? Uh... Yeah, I can, I can do that. I was like, the next one is one single entry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. March 20th, 1877. We have finished with our plans and have sworn a pact never to speak of what happened last night. We have satisfactorily explained the death of poor Robert, and in some matter, the madness of Harold. The sheriff accepts the explanation of a carriage accident. We planned it well. Robert's neck was broken in the fall, we told him. Harold struck his head on a rock when the horse's leg broke and the carriage rolled. Would it be that it was only that? For the rest of us, we will be forever changed by what we experienced last night. I will write down the true events so they are not lost completely. A thing formed in the center of the pentagram, shapeless and nearly invisible. This terrible voice should have given us a clue, but we were so foolish. It spoke, and then Alan cast that damned powder on the gin, the dust of Ibn Ghazi, he called it. And that's when we could all see it clearly. Words cannot adequately describe the faceless thing with a thousand maws. 
It roiled and bubbled, never fully revealing itself at any one time. So terrifying was its aspect that it was frozen in place, my pen falling from my nerveless fingers. Cecil and Alan seemed as lifeless as myself, while a short, sharp cry issued from Crawford's mouth. Robert, however, rose to his feet, and before anyone could stop him, stepped forward as though to embrace a horrible guest. With its arms, or those appendages that seemed most like arms, it took hold of poor Robert and twisted his head around as though he was a doll. A lifeless corpse was then thrown back in Harold's lap, and that's when he began that downward shrieking, a shrieking that hasn't stopped since, even after we handed him over to the sheriff's men. We still had a chance, apparently. Alan now believes that if he had kept our wits, we could have reversed the summoning and forced the creature back to wherever it came from. But Crawford panicked and mistakenly believing that it would dispel the creature, reached forward and destroyed part of the pentagram, breaking the seal and ending its effectiveness. Released from that binding symbol, the thing with a screech that could have only been of unholy satisfaction was ejected from the house, disappearing at the window as a roaring, screaming wind of boiling colors. This is certainly fanciful writing. I never knew that Rupert was into fiction. So from the writing, Robert died and Cecil, Allen, and Crawford are alive and Crawford appears to be insane? Yes. From whatever they witnessed. Robert, Harold... But this was 40 years ago, so no guarantee that any of them survived to the present day. Well, he did say he was the only one left. Indeed. And I see no reason to doubt him of that. Still seems to me the whole lot of them got together and just got hammered off the giggle juice. Well, perhaps well whatever if they that threw is the case... Caused hallucinations. And if they left in such a hurry, perhaps they left behind something of import to our dear friend Rupert. Or it's something exactly as it recovering. seems. I'm huh. sorry, Miss. Case. Eliza Case. Ms. Case. You may be in the business of ghouls and goblins, but the rest of us live in reality. Why can't ghouls and goblins be part of reality? Because we are men of learning, and those forces stand distinctly against everything that science and education have taught us. Well, maybe science and education isn't everything. And perhaps you are believing your own rhetoric a bit too much. Perhaps I'm believing a friend. Be that as it may... Let's continue. Clearly, this was important to him. He wanted us to read it. Oh, God, another one. (laughs) March 24, 1877. Alan intends to leave Arkham and travel to find a solution to this crisis. He said that he intends to seek out occult scholars in New Orleans. I pray he is successful. But my hopes are not high at this point. He insisted that I be custodian of the gold sarcophagus, the one with the amber in it and not show it to anyone. What's even more odd is that he instructed me to not visit or even live in Boston. I can't imagine why Boston's a lovely city. I can only guess as to why, as he will not tell me his reasoning apart from his insistence that it is for my own safety. Marion still thinks that the thing could yet be destroyed or at least dispelled, but none of us who remain have the stomach for such an undertaking. I hope he can find a way to safely banish it without another of us falling to its malevolent grip. March 26, 1877. We now believe that the spell we cast to summon it inextricably bound the thing to the house. Alan went back this morning to retrieve some of our belongings and store our ritual accoutrement. He says that he heard it bumping around in the attic over its head, cursing him all the while. He said that it also told him that it only has to wait us out. When we who are present are all dead, it will roam the earth freely, slaughtering and feasting. Thankfully, the warding signs carved by Alan during the better times, times it seems so long ago now, apparently are effective and bar the thing entry except into the attic of the farmhouse. I may be able to sleep a few hours tonight knowing that it is bound to the attic and cannot harm anyone else. 
I am hopeful for the first time since we stupidly released it from the Amber. If it told him the truth, then we have time to seek the answer. God be with you in your search, my friend. Then you flip to one last one that has a newspaper clipping. I tried to make it look like a, but it was bad. Looks good. <laughs> October 14th, 1877. I just discovered that Marion Allen is dead and has been dead for some months now. He was murdered in New Orleans as past aughts. I suspect that he spoke to the wrong sort of people about the things he's seen and they killed him. The newspaper mentions the sarcophagus so they may have been after gold. That's three of us gone now. I must do something. I've already begun ancient history classes at university, so I believe I will try to research the problem at the farmhouse in that manner. Perhaps I will uncover an ancient secret of how to rid our world of that beast in my own way. And in the bottom left, Mm -hmm. you see handwritten, and it Mm -hmm. seems to get weaker and weaker as it goes, but you could, for the, everyone could tell that it's Rupert's handwriting as he's been dating when he's lost those within the group. There's a newspaper clipping attached as well. Brutal murder at docks, marked August 14th, 1887. New Orleans, the body of Mr. Marion Allen, late of Arkham, Massachusetts, was discovered earlier this morning near the Gulf and Panama docks. Victim of foul play, the men was identified by local witnesses who said that Mr. Allen had been seen in the locale the evening before. Although robbery was the apparent motive, police reported that the victim had gruesome marks carved into his forehead and his tongue had been cut out. Good Lord, what is this savagery? Mr. Allen had reportedly gone to the police earlier this week claiming that he was being followed and that he feared for his life. He said his shadowy pursuers were after an Egyptian artifact which he no longer possessed. I the rest see. is just a list of dates, presumably the deaths of the other men. Rupert's I name is here too this, with no date. I assume this is not supposed to be 1887, but 1877? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it must be I, a typographical error in the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know those papers in New Orleans are not as up to snuff as the Arkham Examiner. Indeed. Well, I guess we should go investigate this farmhouse. Rupert asked us to. It's the very least we could do for him. Even if there's nothing there, then at least he can rest easy knowing that whatever his fancy conjured has gone away. Under the circumstances, Miss Case, I suggest that you keep a close hand on that sarcophagus, perhaps put it back in the box from whence it came. Box taken. Has anybody, I've just been watching out the window listening to this, has anybody come by or? No, just your average looking for walking us. through. No, no one paying any attention. They figured that once you had the family called in, y'all went on your separate ways. It might look a little suspicious for of you walking out of a room all at once, but no one's purposely looking for you. Yeah. Mr. I, I Shutterworth, look, perhaps make sure, you live you know, I'm already looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm already looking out the window, so I'll know when the coast is clear and we can quietly slip out. Does anyone have a vehicle? I'm Better. afraid that I don't. Do. It's, but... it's an oh. old hay burner, but it'll get us around. There are cars in the 20s. There are. Yeah, they're also expensive as hell. Do. Yes, I've actually got uh, an older. Let's call it a not seven uh, Rolls Royce. Not seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so to give you guys a little bit of hints on what you can do at this point, you mm-hmm. could go straight to the farmhouse, but you're kind of unprepared uh, by anything other than what was in the journal. Uh, You know that there was some stuff, a book at the Orn Library. Uh, You could get the box looked at by people at the university that maybe specialize in Egyptian history and might be able to tell you more about it. Uh, Let's see. Also, uh, just a heads up, time is of essence, but you want to be prepared within Call of Cthulhu. So... I'm just kind of giving you a general 
you have options. Also, there is the murder of Marion Allen in New Orleans. That you could send a message to try and get more information about. Perhaps we should find a copy of this book. Perhaps we should check and see that the farmhouse is even still standing. Oh, both and capital can... ideas. Has been a number of years. Miss Case, do you have a copy of this book he speaks of? Do I have a copy of this book he speaks of? You do not. Um, no. Well, how about Miss Case and I give a visit to Miss Catonic University? We could have a look around in the Orn Library and also speak to a few professionals there about the sarcophagus. Can we pull the, the map back up on Rule 20? Absolutely. And, and the others could check the newspaper for the murder. Yeah, Mr. Shuttleworth and I can send a telegram to New Orleans. Meantime, if you're not averse to walking, uh, the good doctor and I can take the car and see if the farmhouse still exists. Oh, I can likely hail a taxi for the two of us. Okay, so we're all are... we're all here at uh, yeah the hospital right now. Yep. We could walk a block. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a teaching hospital. It's right on the mm. university. Uh, if we want to be philistines about it, then I suppose we could just walk. At this point, you notice that Eliza's not wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles, you would know this area well. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you leave your footwear in Rupert's room? My footwear? Yes. No. Why do you ask? It's your feet, I suppose. And where's she the, seemingly like doesn't where's even know what you're trying to say. The farmhouse. Oh, there it is. It, yeah, well, I not that it. one. That's that's a different one. You would have to let me see how long of a drive it is. Uh, it's a few miles west of Arkham, in Ross's corner. So. Um... Are we going to go drive by? Do a drive by? <laughs> You're just going to get your Uzi out and spray the place? <laughs> Tommy gun, you know. <laughs> um, I should think it's worth a gander, at least. At least that way we would know if old Rupert wasn't pulling our legs. I suppose it's worth a look. I don't know your association with the old man, but... I wouldn't put it past him to try to pull one over on me. We used to debate all sorts of things while we were... Well, I was a student of his at the university. Uh, he he very much believed in these sort of magic and mystical things, whereas I have more of a logical mind and we would spend hours debating back and forth whether such a thing were possible. Um, perhaps he had knowledge that I had... He had knowledge that I didn't the whole time. I never knew Rupert to be one for the fanciful. But then again, our relationship was a bit more combative. What? I mean, you punched each other? What? I, uh, don't end your sentence there, man. <laughs> that is that is for my business and Rupert. Uh, very well. Let's go see if this house still exists. So we uh, we're just making our way out outside the hospital and you two are going to go to the university. On. Yep, we're taking a walk to Miss Katonic. Okay. Doc and I are going to hop in the car and head towards uh, 
I guess, drive out to see if the farmhouse even exists first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we will go to... Should we, you... should we maybe rendezvous at the library afterwards so we can look into this book? It was made mention of several times between the, both the letters and the journals, and that has piqued my curiosity. Yeah, so after you finish up the farmhouse, you can meet us at the library. That'll do well. Yeah. Okay. So we will go to those heading out towards the farmhouse first. Okay. So to get to the farmhouse, you must pass through Ross's Corners Hamlet, located a few miles west of Arkham. Uh, <laughs> Since you have a car, uh, let me look up. Are any of you? T I know one of you is not from the area. The other one is Boston. I'm not. I am. You're from the area, not Boston. I was trying to remember. Well, I'm from whatever area the university, because this is where I went to university. Okay, well, that's right. Uh, then you would know that it would take probably uh, by car at this time this era probably about a half hour or so to get there because the roads are not great um it'd been raining recently so you could be slopping through some mud but you would be able to direct them towards that's where i was getting trying to so you could direct them on how to get there okay um Drive. The doctor, if you'd be so kind as to lead the way. I'm thinking, is it, would, are you looking for a skill or? No, oh. you would just because you are from the area, so right. You would you would know that you know you take. Uh, let me open up the map a little bit larger. That you'd be able to, as you're going out of town, you could go okay. west and basically you would direct them and there's some signs of Ross's corner like when you get closer I believe based on the diary it's out this way and I point in that direction mm -hmm. and as you guys it takes about a half hour to get there uh, raining lightly and once you get into Ross's corner uh, you notice it's very it's run down uh, the some of the people are out looking at you as you're passing by in this fancy car uh, that they would never expect to see within this little village. Uh, you're getting really awkward stares as you're slowly going through. And you notice there's roughly on the main uh, street through it is about seven or eight buildings that have businesses within it and a couple of them are open one of them being a general store and another one being a bar uh but we don't know where the farmhouse is right well you would know i believe in the let me look up the i believe there was a description on where it was it was just on the outside of uh, it sits back. You could ask. Uh, just by looking, I, it's not in the actual notes of the journal or letter to you all. Slow down. I'm going to ask directions. I'll pull over in front of the general store. Okay. Uh, I... And outside, you see three very country-looking people uh, just kind of staring at what could be coming their way in, you know, two well-dressed uh, men in a Rolls-Royce, a very expensive car, stopping in a little run-down town at a general store. I'm looking for a farmhouse uh, near this town. Probably hasn't been lived in in 40 years. 
they just kind of by the looks of things that could be half the farmhouses here uh the yeah. one that's a little bit larger kind of looks at you and sneers uh he looks at you he's like what are rich folk like you doing here you see, we're looking to buy some property, and we got a lead on um, a house out here where we could... Um, my friend is looking to move out here, and I'm helping him find a home. Uh, let me have you roll. I'll, I'll, I'll play along and just kind of look around and... You know, another snide sort of while well, trying to convince me to do so more likely. If it's if it's fast talk, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> uh I was torn between uh fast talk and what was the other one? Charm? I don't know. Yeah. And so charm. I can, so I can choose one? Uh persuade. Well you're not trying to persuade, he's lying to him, so it'd be more fast talk. God. This is not going to be good. Nope! <laughs> okay. That is a big old nope. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, he looks at you, and he whispers something to uh, the two standing next to him, and they kind of move towards you a little bit. Uh, wanting maybe to get a closer look at you two as it is getting a little towards the evening. Do you guys just stand I'm there? just gonna move yeah, I'm towards moving the back, back towards, of the car. I'm moving back toward the door. Are, the side, are, passenger are door. you guys saying anything or just moving? Nope. Just, just backing up back toward the car. Okay, they're gonna move a little bit closer. You're just gonna let them basically take over the car. No, I'm moving. Oh no, I was oh. moving moving towards the back of the car and opening the trunk. Okay. I was moving back to get back and... in the car. Okay, so you were one's going towards the back and one's actually going to get in the car. Yeah, I'm getting I'm trying to get back in the car. Okay. And, and I'll reach I will reach into the trunk and pull out the shotgun. Oh god. Just casually now, gentlemen, we're simply asking for directions. We certainly don't want any trouble. Uh, make... Are you trying to intimidate them, I'm guessing? Yeah, or... basically just... Okay, go ahead and intimidate. And see uh -huh. if they, how far they back Does up. he get a bonus die for the shotgun? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. I even have points in Intimidate that didn't work. <laughs> they are not and, buying it at all. And they look, they're like, do you even know how to use that? The safety's on. Bartholomew, get... Bartholomew, perhaps we should leave. Yes, I think that would be prudent. Good day, gentlemen. I'll and, just, in a huff, kind of just drop it in there and slam the trunk and head for the driver's seat. Okay. Uh, and they let you go. Uh, but they did get a good look at your guys' face at that point. Well, let us return to town and perhaps we can send a telegram to New Orleans, maybe get a response by tomorrow. We're losing the light. That's very true, and we certainly have lost a sense of direction out here. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Okay, and it's at that point we will go to the two walking towards the library first? Uh, or we're trying to find a specialist? I believe we're trying to find a specialist first, because we're okay. meeting our erstwhile allies at the library. Okay, uh... Neither of you are from here. You would have to try and stop and... Excuse me? Well, from the university. No, not from the university. Yeah. So you would have to find someone that could direct you towards a person that would be considered an expert. 
I think we can handle that. Don't you, Miss Case? I sure hope so. That confidence. She just kind of like looks at all of her clothes and <laughs> like looks around at the university. Okay. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. And I will approach someone who looks like they know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, and, excuse okay. me. I'm looking for the Department of Egyptology. Could you perhaps direct me in that avenue? And they look at you. Uh, and it's an older gentleman that you would think is probably a teacher somewhere within the university. And they look, they're like, if you're looking for... Egyptology and history, it would be a couple blocks over towards Garrison Street towards the end. Uh, that's where the professors that teach about ancient history are. So, if you, and you would want to look for a Professor Rice. Rice like the food? Yes. And he's the, he's the head of the. Very good, very good. Thank you for your time, sir. I won't keep you further. And he kind of gives a side glance over towards Eliza and just keeps walking. What's that guy's name, Jay Stu? I want to know that guy's name. Reginald, of course. (laughs) You thought you were going to catch me. I was hoping. (laughs) Uh, come along, Miss Case. Let's pay a visit to Professor Rice. Perhaps he knows Edgar. Okay, and it takes you a couple minutes to walk across the university, and you see some students going in and out of the building, and and as you enter, you see a person sitting at the reception, uh, just kind of watching as people come in and go just to kind of make sure everyone fits that should be coming and going through this building. I'll approach this person and tip my hat. Pardon me, I'm looking for Professor Rice. Could you direct me toward their office, please? Uh, He's currently teaching right now. Uh, If you would like to go up to the second floor, uh, there's a you can wait outside his office. It'll be about 45 minutes until the class is over. Very well. Thank you for your time. And Come along, she, Eliza. She was going to stop Eliza for a second, and then she notices that Eliza's with you. She's like, kind of like odd couple here, but lets you go. You'll Another have to pardon my smile. assistant. She's unfortunately left all of her clothes in the laundry, and all she had was a costume from a production of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I think that it's important to tell you that Eliza is actually wearing like three different layers of different things. Like she has an, like kind of a lot of clothing on and she has like a lot of pockets that you don't really see, but like somehow she's mm-hmm. been like, she has the box somewhere. She has like stuff somewhere. So she she's actually kind of like, I, I can't think of the word, but there's a lot going on. <laughs> She's I will stand by her earlier assessment. <laughs> She's a walking bag of holding. I mean, you're not too far off. Uh, okay, so you sit out. There's a bench outside, and you see Professor Rice's name on a on the door. And Bob, are you going to talk within the 45 minutes? You're going to sit there and yeah, I think that silence? we are going to talk. Okay. So, Miss Case, how do you know Rupert again? Well, he's been a friend of mine for over half my life. We just, well, he, he liked to get his fortune told. Yes, yes, I would imagine that quite a bit, especially with his predilection toward the occult, as we saw from his journals and letters. Do you, could you tell me when you met Rupert? It's probably, it's been at least 20 years. I'm sorry, how old are you? 33, but (laughs) I 
this so really you knew him back when you were a teenager interesting uh, i'm terribly sorry i generally don't mean to ask a lady her age but when you say over 20 years it's quite surprising I'm surprised that he didn't draw you into all of this about the occult then. Oh, I suppose 20 years would have been a bit too late for this endeavor that he was working on. He's always had his business. I've always had mine. We just see each other when I'm in town and go about our yes. ways. Yes. What is your business, Ms. Case? A hmm. little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, I see you have your hands in a few different pockets. Uh, pies, I mean, a few different pies. Did you just assume? I simply misspoke, my dear lady. Mm-hmm. A Freudian slip, they call it. I see. And you, to Rupert? I, I'm his legal representation in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Of course you are. Of course I am. I've been an associate of Rupert's for these past five years. He's kept me on well retainer. We usually correspond through post and telegram, but there are times when he requires a more personal touch. And did you know about his his illness and the severity? Only bits and pieces. One generally doesn't write their lawyer about their pneumonia, unless they're planning to sue the hospital, of course which he did not seem so inclined to do. There's more thinking about his will. His will is safely kept. Hmm. And I am ready to execute it when the time comes, which may be quite soon, unfortunately. But the at the very Is least, there anyone around us? Uh, yes, indeed. Are we alive? You see some people down the way, some students kind of talking, but not within earshot. They're just look like they're discussing probably some work that needs to be done before next class. We'll keep our voices low then. I mean, you'll get a couple, well, Eliza will get a couple looks from students. And then so will you being dressed so well, uh, sitting outside the professor's. But they don't pay any attention. They have more important things like passing to do. Like their own lives. Trying to at least start one. Uh, So about 45 minutes later, you see an older gentleman, uh, white hair, thinning, uh, a little on the portly side, just kind of walking up towards the office. I'll stand up and extend my hand to greet him. Professor Rice, I presume? And he looks up, he goes, are you an old student? Uh, Do you need something? I'm afraid that I'm not a student of yours, but I was directed to your office. My name is Charles Chesterfield Carrington Esquire. This is my associate, Eliza Case. We were wondering if you would be so kind as to have a look at an artifact that we have recently come into the acquisition of. And Probably in private. He goes, sure, sure. Uh, come on in. And he unlocks the door and starts putting his briefcase down and taking off a coat and handing it off to the side. And he goes, uh, how did you come up about my name? We spoke to another one of the professors on campus. Mm, very well. Uh, What is it that you have or would like for me to look at that you think I would be interested in? Miss Case? Pocket where the sarcophagus, is that what we're having him look at? Yes. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to get that out and present it. I think I'm going to do that in like a, like a fabric or something. Like, I don't really want to handle this thing too much. I don't necessarily trust it. As a person that might be a little on the, more attuned side that would make sense that you would hand it in one of the various fabrics that you would have within mm-hmm. your and as he holds it he unwraps it keeping it within the fabric just because he doesn't know if it's delicate or what right. and he takes a look at it he goes 
this is this is interesting. This is ancient Egyptian. He goes, how did you come across this? This is amazing. It was kept under the care of an associate of ours. He asked us to come down and have it looked at. He hasn't been able to get out of the hospital in some time, you see. He has an associate in the hospital. Okay. Uh, I would like for you to... I would say you could either try to charm him into doing this or you could try to persuade him. Otherwise, he's going to probably charge you to and take X amount of time to look into it. I'll, I'll try and charm him okay. and talk up his esteemed prowess in Egyptology. I understand that you are the expert in the field, sir. Welp. Damn. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and he's kind of listening to you, but he's, he's just so <laughs> he's just so into the sarcophagus. He's never he's only heard about this. He's never seen one in person this detailed and he's like, give me and let me I wonder if that'll actually let me. That not work. Nope. There we go. Or not. Give me two days uh, to look over. Uh, one thing that you didn't really notice, you thought they were just kind of etchings and you didn't really look closely, uh, is there was some faint hieroglyphics on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it just looked like it was inlaid in the design of the sarcophagus. Uh, only someone that was well trained in language would probably have noticed that it actually tells a story. He goes, I would love to look at this a couple of days. Uh, if you were able to come back, I would tell you everything that I find out about it. I'm afraid that our mutual acquaintance and friend who lent us this sarcophagus doesn't have two days. I could leave it with you overnight, but I believe that is the extent of the time that I am authorized to offer you on this. And could with you, that previous perhaps, role, I would say he, he goes, okay, he goes, oh, I will enlist some of the uh, others, uh, professors, and a couple of students to look up some information on it within the library and what we have here. Uh, if you want to come by tomorrow, I would say probably about 10. We, we're going to try and pull all-nighter and find out everything we can about it. That would be most greatly appreciated, Professor Rice. I'll reach out and shake his hand. And he shakes his hand. It shakes your hand and nods to Eliza. Like, he's just so fascinated with this right now. You could, you could have been saying whatever and he's just like with that can i mm -hmm. take a glance around his office yes. <laughs> uh, just while he's been talking uh -huh. with <laughs> you know they've so been you're trying to find kind of... something like a spot hidden yeah okay i think well, so okay okay uh what in particular are you looking for or just any kind of so my first thought is I, I want to know like what contents are like on his shelves and everything. I know he's a professor of something, you know, Egyptian stuff. So I just want to know what kind of trinkets and things he has around. Then I want to know if anything looks more expensive or rare than something else. And okay. then I want to know if it's easy to get. Okay. So on his desk, you see a nice like notary set with a pen that has gold inlays on it, uh, but that's right where he's at. Right. Uh, the shelves off to his right has books, a couple baubles. Uh, one of them looks like an ancient dagger, uh, ornate. You don't know if it's functional or not. Uh, that's kind of sitting on just kind of laying flat. Uh, he also has a couple like little 
snow globe type things, probably gifts from the wife uh, that he keeps in there. And he has a couple of old maps from ancient civilizations. Uh, he also has a nice cane a hanging that's off by the door away from where he's at. Uh, it was ornate and probably just for show uh, as if you're dressing up to go to like a black tie affair. And that would be most things. The only thing that would not be easy to grab would be the uh, stuff on his desk. Right. Um, if you want to look at the snow globes, uh, you could just kind of meander that way inconspicuously. So does anything look like he might have any sort of interest in like occulty, supernaturally, anything of that nature? Or is it all just straight up history and Egyptian history? Uh, it has, it's mostly history in general. Uh, he does specialize in Egyptian history. Uh, the occult stuff would refer to like the ancient civilizations and their beliefs. Uh, the dagger looks like it could have been used for uh, something. Uh, for summoning trains, apparently. I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> I, the, as you hear a train going through on the other side of the river. Uh, <laughs> well done. Well played. Well played. And you would think the the dagger looks like it could have been ceremonial of some kind, whether it be sacrificial or you know something like that, but. There is an interest within the occult, uh, but that's not like his main focus. Right. Okay. Well, unless I get the hint that that cane might have a hidden sword inside of it because of its ornamental value, I'm not going to try and steal anything from him. Okay. Uh, yeah, just from looking, you couldn't tell if it was one that kind of opens up into a sword. It just looks like a very well-made cane. Okay. Not gonna steal anything from this man, but I thought about it mm -hmm. for the record. I could see that. No. Okay. Uh, so, are you heading towards the library now? Yes, come along, Eliza. We have business in the library. I turned to him and tell him it was very nice to meet him. Okay. And he's still looking at the sarcophagus. He goes, "The pleasure was all mine," and he's just. Into he's this. so distracted. I could so easily steal something. Do it. Come along, come along. Let's, let's leave the good professor to his work. Steal the cane. And as we're leaving, <laughs> I would like to take a look and see if there's anything that is quickly and easily grabbable. Okay. <laughs> Do I spot hidden? Nope. Oof. You basically see nothing worth grabbing on your way out. It's probably not a good idea to rob someone that we're having to come back and retrieve a priceless artifact from tomorrow. Anyway. That's exactly why I did it. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't suggest it, but if you guys want to, by all means. <laughs> no, we should be going. Come along, Eliza. So yeah, yeah. it's getting dark time. now uh, as you're walking back. Uh, as someone that is from here, you know the... College probably stays open till about nine, and it's probably hitting about six, six thirty right now as you're heading back, walking towards. Yeah, let's make our way to the Yoring Library. We'll have a couple hours to go through the tomes and see what we can find. Okay, and you guys get there before the other two, uh, due to their interactions with the locals. We're also going to yeah. send the telegram. Correct. Yeah. So we would stop at wherever you would do that. Probably a Western Union station. Or okay. It's not, they, don't, they don't take them by horseback or telegrams. Yeah. But yeah, but no. Well, Western, Western Union, Union is yeah. the telegraph company. Yes. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I clearly yeah. know nothing about the turn of the century United States. <laughs> okay. Uh, you stop by there. Uh, easy enough you send something off to new orleans police yes we want to uh any information they can send us a, a, about the murder of a allen is that right uh marion allen yeah. marion allen. Yeah, Mary allen are you portraying yourself as friends as what are you how are you 
trying to obtain official police records. Uh, hey, uh, you're a doctor. <laughs> Maybe they've got uh, relations Ooh. somewhere here that I want to have autopsy records. Okay. So that would be more for the medical examiner. That's and that's easy enough. Yes. Uh, you could send it down there to. Um, yeah, you, they would be able to send it down to the local hospital slash coroners to okay. try to get information. Okay. Uh, and if you were wanting to do police, uh, you would either have to forge something or try to portray some kind of credentials. But if you're just going for the medical examiner information, that's easy enough too. Uh, yeah, I don't, um, don't have anything that would be like forgery. Uh, let me take a look here. Just because of someone's background. Actually, people. <laughs> Oh, the people that would be perfect for that. Neither of you two are it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so you can stop at the Western Union and send for the medical examiner. Perfect. Using your doctor credentials. Sure. Okay, and it'll end up coming back probably first thing in the morning. Excellent. Thank you. And then we'll mm -hmm. meet them at the library. Okay, by the time you get there, uh, it's probably about 7.30. And they've been in the library for about an hour. So do we all make library use rolls? Uh, well, within the first hour, I would like to see what they were doing while okay. you were doing all that. But Perfect. So we have the name of a book, De Vertus Mysterious, I believe it was. It was. We should start by looking into that, don't you think, Miss Case? Of course, it seems to be our only lead. So, we'll start hitting the Orn Library. We might have to hit the restriction, restricted section, unfortunately. Okay, so you'll need a prof you'll need a letter from Dumbledore for that. <laughs> I mean, you're I'm not sure far off. Have a chat, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're not far off. Uh, okay. Uh, so you, as you go there, uh, the there's the Orn Library of the university is famed uh, for mm -hmm. having the best resources because it's a college. They want to provide as much information. Also, a lot of the professors here uh, teach here while doing their studies of whatever their interest be, whether history or you know chemistry or psychiatry. Uh, they do have a sanitarium not too far off that some of the professors also go to, uh, which Charles would know uh, about. Uh, but you would know this would be definitely the best place to find the information you would like. Mm -hmm. uh, as you go in, you see a receptionist sitting there, a student, uh, looking like it's probably a part-time job to help, you know, help with pay for tuition and all that. Yeah, yeah, like a co-op job. Mm -hmm. I'll greet him warmly. Hello. We're just here to do some light research. And he looks up and he's like, uh, where would you like what subject uh, so I could direct you to the right place? Oh, what subject in Indeed. I suppose you'd call it, what would you say, Eliza? Mythology? Ancient studies? Something along so those mythology lines. Mythology and ancient studies. He kind of looks up, starts thinking. Uh, he goes, if you go down to the end of the library, and he kind of points, mm. and then he goes, 
where the you see those students sitting if you take a right if you go up a couple aisles it's there on your left much obliged to you sir and i will head off and follow his directions okay and i would like you to make a library use roll i will both of you follow him for a moment in the direction and then i'm going to go wander off and see if i can figure out where maybe the more important books are kept before i meet him where he was supposed to be going okay oh, so as you're walking you notice eliza's there and then a second you notice she's not oh bugger i'm gonna have to go looking for her in a moment okay Hopefully so she's not getting yourself into too much trouble <coughs> Those, uh, we those will, wily women. <laughs> we will go with uh, Charles first if you'd like to make a library roll. Close. You, Very close. You are in the area. Uh, mm. You're unable to locate the book that you were intended to find. You find. I keep like, getting distracted by wondering what Eliza's getting herself into. Correct. And you see like Greek history, just normal ancient Egyptian history, but nothing and like the gods and stuff like that from there, but like nothing Nothing like, actually interesting. Nothing that would be in Latin. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what's and Eliza getting into while I'm paging through the books? That's a wonderful question. Eliza, what are you getting into? I am literally just going to wander and be super subtle and just, I want to see if there's, you know, a section that maybe has a red rope that says some restricted section or a very ornate locked door that says employees only restricted, something were important. Okay, uh, important make a library use uh, to see if we could, you could basically navigate the library well enough to maybe come across it or how long it would take you to maybe come across it. Okay. Oof. A while. Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh, you uh, with I your say maybe nice navigate, jail. but it's even worse. <laughs> with your need or want to acquire things, uh, you're constantly getting distracted as you're walking by students who are studying at tables who are leaving things easily takeable. Ooh, shiny. Yes. Yeah. Uh, eventually, you end up finding your way back to Charles by half a stance, really. Unable oh. to locate. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Yes, I'm sure that you haven't. Find anything of interest? <sighs> no. You? Not as of yet. Perhaps we might have more fortune working together instead of separate. And it's about this time the other two end up walking into the library. Now, do I know the person behind the thing? I mean, I have not been to college here. And... You would not know okay. this person. Uh, you might know some of the faculty still. Okay, so now would I would because I studied here during uh, university... Would that give me a bonus die on my library use roll? I would say yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask the guy for the occult section. And he looks at you. He goes, and he just kind of points to the opposite way of what he showed the others. He goes, if you just go past uh, the Latin, and it's just on the other side. And he kind of points down like basically five rows and then basically take a left and you're within the occult. Okay. All right. I'm going to roll. I am going to try to find uh, something with map, local maps, so I can try to find where this farmhouse might have been. Yikes. Ow! Oof. Guys, that was a 99. Oof. But you had a bonus die, so it was actually a... 99. Oh, it was a 77. Yeah. You're right. Ow. Ouch. Well, you had good directions. 
Uh, you might have, while looking up, might have ran into a table with your leg. Son of a... But you find the occult without much trouble, other than... I almost want to say you bumped your big toe, but I'm not that mean. Uh, so you you find the occult. But nothing useful. Uh, for what you're looking... For that actual book, you do not find the actual book there. Good. Okay. Uh, you find other books that are within Latin and other languages that you don't know. Oh, no. I, I have. I actually know a little bit of Latin. Uh, well, yeah, but there are some other languages that sure. you're, you look at and you're like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, okay. you didn't study that. Right. But the Latin ones, you're, you can read majority of it within the occult section that's in Latin. And for the maps, uh, did you just want like a general one of the area or? Yeah, just based on what kind of, I guess, trying to try and get it based on what we saw in the journals and the letters to um, trying to figure out where this farmhouse might have been, just so we don't have to stop and deal with the uh, locals anymore. <laughs> Goddamn townies. Uh <laughs> rich people coming into a poor town yeah that's not suspicious um what section would you would almost need to go to a place that has like town records of like maybe purchases and stuff like that uh if you're look for like specific I see. Yeah, the university library really wouldn't have like town Correct. records. Uh, they would have. They, like, would, they local would have history. like. Uh, I was gonna say they would have like uh, newspaper articles. You know, try to find out where that. You know, if I could find the the article where the the two guys died, that would have been since they made a police report according to Correct. the journal. Okay. Uh, go ahead find and do that, a. Uh, are you just going to look? Or are you asking for help? I uh, I guess I would ask him where the. Uh, archives are yeah okay uh okay like the local local paper archives okay uh he points basically right behind him he goes just on the other side of the desk uh you could find most of the local newspapers we only keep them for so long they i guess it'd be around 1877 he and he thinks he goes yeah we have some far back I was like, I think we go back about 50 years max. We try to keep them as pristine as possible, but paper doesn't hold up super well. Fair enough. Fair enough. But still still worth a look, I suppose. Yep. Uh, so you know where to go. Uh, go ahead and do a library to see if you're able to find the information you would like within those periodicals. We're never going to find this out. Oh my god. We are all terrible. <laughs> oh, no. None of us belong in libraries. I have the highest Ever of again. us all. And, and you rolled yeah. I rolled extremely high. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, wow. Rough. So you find some old newspaper clippings and all that, but you were unable to find one exactly around the dates that you were looking for. Uh, you do find some maybe a decade and a half later talking about weird things happening near Ross's corner. Uh, but there's no specifics of what you were looking for for the two people. But there are well, some weird things happening within that general area. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the guy and ask him if he's seen, heard of a book called whatever. Uh, whatever. The, the the Vermis Mysteries. Yes. Uh, and he looks. He goes. We do show a copy uh, being held by the university, uh, but it is being locked. It is locked away in a restricted area. Great. Uh, so we need uh, permission from faculty, I assume? Uh, yes. 
there's only one person that could give you permission. Uh, he's a little eccentric and particular about who's allowed in there. Uh, but you would need to speak to a Dr. Armitage. Thank you. And you would recognize the name. Okay. Uh, he's been there for a while. Ah. And he's a cranky person. Okay. I probably wouldn't have had any classes of his. No, but... Okay. Rumors and you know how students talk about certain teachers. Yes. Uh, he is one of those teachers. Well, I go find our friends. Okay. They have a copy of the book, but we need permission from a Professor Armitage to check it out. Professor Armitage, you say? Hmm. Perhaps we should pay his office a visit. Uh, perhaps Does in the morning. It's one? quite late. Uh, from what I, I don't have know, office if, hours this late. I do not know if he owns the book, but the library um, steward said that he would be able to give us permission to read the library's copy. Well, we're already here. It can't hurt to check. The worst that could happen is that he's not in his office. We could True. Check for. I tried Fair, to find we haven't had much luck for anything else. The library. I looked for it. <laughs> I figured it was somewhere hidden away. Um, and I couldn't find it. So, so maybe we just need to find it and go in ourselves. It? Exactly. It's late. <laughs> no one's here. And why wait till morning when we're already let's here? Let's pay a visit to Professor Armitage's office first. And if he's not home, then we can try more extreme methods. Yes. Tactical. I don't know about extreme. <laughs> I rather like the way you think. Okay. Uh, Fix, you would know where his, the offices would be for this, so you could direct them over pretty much to within the area. If I remember correctly, his office is this way. And After it takes you about five minutes of navigating to get there. Uh, the door's shut. Uh, a lot, small light coming through, uh, but you don't hear anything. Was that yeah, you knocking? Not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no movement at all. Uh, you would assume he's probably gone home for the day at this point. And roughly, probably the library will close in about 20 minutes at this point. Do any of you have a mean to bypass the door? Perhaps we could just forge the permission we need. Well, if we're going to do that, then perhaps we should just proceed without the permission at all. Okay. I mean, we could break into the library once it's closed. It might be a little easier. Break in, break in. Don't use such language. Oh, well, we're already in. We're not in the library anymore. Just outside. Oh, yeah. We're. I guess we're just outside. I'm um, sorry. Why is this man specifically able to give us permission? I don't I don't know that. I, he, I was just told He's... that he was the gatekeeper. I'm going to take out a lockpick. He's likely a respected pick. professor. And try and open the door to his office. Okay. If he's this important, will... then it obviously okay. his office helps, or it might have something helpful. Okay. As soon as I see her pull lock picks, I'm going to physically body block, not her from getting at it, but to give her cover so that nobody else can see her picking the goddamn lock. Yeah, and if anybody <laughs> yeah. walks uh, up, so I'll we'll approach just... them. And uh, okay. Now this is going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'll I'll head like toward down the hallway just yeah. kind of take up and i'll go the opposite sure direction <laughs> so I'm just not comfortable with any <laughs> no no we're, we're we're taking positions to no, no, lead no. people away we're, no, no, we're playing we're... sentries so you don't get caught yes okay yes. so eliza's easy lock picking uh so locksmith uh, locksmith yeah yeah uh blocking <sighs> blocking blocking i don't even know what it is oh, but no. it doesn't sound great I probably don't even have to roll because I'm just standing there. Um, well, I, I suppose I could roll size to see how effective I am at being Disguise. a door instead of a window. 
disguise. That and can... trying to not look suspicious while doing it. I could do disguise for that. I yeah. feel like disguise fits. And if fix what is your character doing? Me as uh, I, I'm just keeping an eye out to see if anybody starts walking toward the office, and I'm going right. to engage them in conversation if they uh, arrive. Looking for something like perception. Uh, Probably spot hidden. Uh, spot hidden. Uh, both of you who are on lookout do spot hidden. All right, let's see what these rolls are. Oh. <laughs> Not great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Not right. I don't even know where as I am. As soon as mine point. like breaks or like fails, I'm. He, uh, Chester is gonna hear me say shit, shit, and just under my breath, like I'm they struggling. Do not break, uh, but you are making quite a bit of noise. Yeah, he's. Here. I'll just <laughs> casually lean over and whisper to her. If you can't break that, use a hook. Are you any better at this? Do you want to try? Here, switch places with me. I'm gonna switch places with him. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna need Eliza to do it disguise <laughs> to try to make it. And okay. nice. <laughs> And I'll just casually reach into <laughs> my coat pocket and pull out a little uh, roll of picks and grab mm -hmm. my tension wrench. And my, uh, that's, oh, this is probably a 20 millimeter hook. Dave is the lock picking lawyer. <laughs> Ironically, yes. <laughs> I fucking love that channel, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, he's a good dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Literally oh, the lock nice. picking lawyer. I just remembered you were a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Eliza, you're kind of like making yourself a little bit bigger than you normally would, but kind of casually leaning Fluffing against. Up my way. <laughs> yeah, but kind of leaning against, like basically straightening out your clothes to hide what could be going on behind you. Uh, Charles is just casually just kind of picking real quick. Like it just in no time he has it open. No click resistance. Out of two, on, no resistance out of three, on one. Four is binding. <laughs> binding. <laughs> I love it! I love that everybody and, likes the lockpicky lawyer. And then you just hear a click, real silent. Only two of you hear it. Uh, while Phineas is looking, no one appears <laughs> anything. Uh, Bartholomew is highly distracted by <sighs> shiny things. I'm, I'm uh, probably uh, more. And more, probably uh, takes a couple drinks while trying to entertain himself thinking he's doing a good job so and the door with is my, open. Uh, silver dollar and mm -hmm. okay. can we take a break pretty soon absolutely we can take a break now yeah. oh great actually yeah, that's a good point, <laughs> that's a good point. Right. we're not in a office yet <laughs> oh great we're just getting into the office i am right going now. to mm -hmm. play that alert that went off because i promised i would <laughs> It's the if you want to tune in and hear a great long alert of fairly odd parents, do it now. Do it. It's totally worth it. Absolutely. Oh That's not what I wanted. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna pull it up on Cadgar just so I can. Get oh, over here too. okay. It's not. Uh, not working. Well, I have to change my theme. <laughs> go back. Still worth it. My boy. Yep, there we go. It's still worth it. Hang on. Open alert. And I'll be back in two seconds then. Yep. All right. I wish my father was here. Timmy Turner, my name is Dumsdale Dimmadale Dimmadims Dome Drew Dimmadome. Owner of the Dumsdale Dimmadale Dimmadims Dome Drew Dimmadims Dale Dimmadims Dale Dimmadome. Thank you for locating my long lost son, Dale Dimmadome. 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 D
Doug Dimmadome? The owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome? Not right. Not right? That's right. Doug Dimmadome. Dimmadome. Dimsdale Dome. Dale Dimsdale Dome. Doug Dimmadome. 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 Owner of the Dimmadome. Dimsdale Dimmadome. Doug Dale Dome. Dims Dimmadome. Doug Dimmadale Dome. Dimmadale Dimmadome. 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 The same Doug Dimmadome. I'll be back shortly. The Dimmsdale Dimmadome where they're showing Crash Nebula? Oh, nice. Yeah. Not right. Not right? That's right. Timmy Turner, my name is Timmy Dimmadome. Dimmadome. Owner of the Then you can get me three tickets to. Not right. Whoa, I wish my father was here. Oh, I'm back. How's everybody doing? Hey, Artful. How you doing? Thanks for showing up. Eye Dragon, thanks for coming. Oh, Blue, Blue Warrior Squirrel, thank you so much for that gift sub. And uh, I'll play that <laughs> that alert again before we go back <sighs> yeah I always have my alerts uh, si I have silent alerts for D&D &D, just because it kind of ruins my flow whenever I get into that but I'm happy to play it whenever especially with your generous skills Yes, oh, uh, those listening, I have two new emotes that are al al alive. Fixial Rip and Fixial Hype. Uh, yeah, I have sound effects turned off, too. Uh, yeah, those are oh, live yes. now. You guys can uh, check those out. I have another one coming that's called Fixial Roops. I, I believe that's a Tier 3, though. No. Fixial Roops is going to be Tier 1. The old Triforce symbol will be Tier 3. Yes. Yep. Uh, the block, I think, is Tier 2? Yeah, Tier 2. 
but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming in. We're uh, having a great time. Great time with these uh, awesome, awesome dice rolls. <laughs> I think it's really fun. <laughs> the dice are only slightly trying to kill us. I would not be Always. opposed to making this a regular game, by the way. Honestly, I was thinking about having more uh, Cthulhu games. And if y'all live or not totally insane, <laughs> we can continue these characters. Oh, yeah, the whole death thing. <laughs> I mean, that's. <laughs> Or you could come out unscathed, most likely not, but you could. We'll know today. <laughs> We're going to figure it out, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I really like those uh, emotes by Bilvy. Uh, the the oh. rip, so good. Bilvy does such a Bilby does great work. Yeah. Go, go, go they check. came out really yeah, nice. Go check them out. Um, let me go find... His website. I was thinking about getting mine redone by Delby. So many talented artists. I know. Not enough emotes. <laughs> I, I know, right? These are all the emotes that Billy's done for people. There are a ton of our friends have them. Um, obviously, Vanna, all her alerts or all her emotes are done by Billy. Um, Eric, Blue, you had some, didn't you? No, mine are actually mine are somebody else. Oh, my bad. I want to get two more done but I haven't decided on what I want yet. So <laughs> holding off on all that. Yeah. Go check him out. Uh, he's a great artist. Um, he streams. Yeah. Love their emotes. I wonder if that's who just did dirties. Dirty had yep, new dirties. ones. Yeah. Dirties. Those turned out so good. Uh, Billy did Dirty's uh, regular ones and the spoopy Halloweeny ones. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm loving all the temp the Halloween ones coming out lately. Yeah. It's so fun. That's what I was thinking about having Billy do, but I'm like, I really need more time to stream to justify <laughs> it. But then you have them for next year too, so like it's a she gift that keeps on giving. Point. She really does. I, I'm good Hello. for that. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Too many switches. <laughs> buttons oh, and no. screens and button, button. You, you, you turned off your 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 uh cameras so it screwed up all the names on my thing. <sighs> it's okay, don't don't fret. Can oh, you... they're back. No, they're not. Yeah, we're in the same place. Yes, but yeah, it should yeah. But the cameras are not. They're not? Eliza's correct. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm oh. correct. I just wanted to eat cheese. It's in peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, so now we know that happens. So, oh, yeah. So Dave is wow. now in charge. I figured Jay's you just switched the... Only the... Ones. All right, uh, Jay, start rolling some initiative. I got this. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. We got so this. So as you're picking the lock um, in Professor Arnold's <laughs> office, and you open the door, it swings with a soft, steady creak. The names are now Rattles correct again. We can right. return. Okay, I'm not keeping it. It's not I don't even know where you went anymore, Deva. There you are. Canada. Oh, it screwed him up on yours, too. Yep. I just thought that the camera went off and it subbed it out with the blank screen that said my name. I It did on yours, <laughs> but it did it not did for Snorri Bears. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, were in no. the same place the whole time. I just covered mine yeah. with a piece of cloth that I have here. I see. Okay. Oh, I have taken off the lab coat because it was uh, warm and 
I'm drifting slowly into insanity with these dice I, rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. No, no, no. I'm drifting oh, I'm into insanity. <laughs> Fix you as a being. Yes. <laughs> I, I was like, I was just in a tux for 11 hours the other day. I can handle this. Oh, yeah. This is fine. The robe looks comfy. I'm glad it I decided not great. to do a tie. You got to keep but that and wear his bathrobe after this? Not a bathrobe. I was going to wear a tie, yeah, but I one. decided not to. Mm. All right, well, since we're all thinking it, nobody will say it. But is he wearing anything under it? <laughs> I wasn't thinking it because that's his own business. <laughs> <laughs> he is Starkers under that robe. <laughs> There's a suit of some kind. No. Dude. Birthday suit. Okay. Well, yeah, now my individual names are screwed up, too, because if I switch scenes to everybody, the, nope. Oh, no. Really? Oh, oh yeah, we're, yeah. You we're made individual scenes. I just had one scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like those individual ones, though. Yeah, the individual they scenes look, look really so good. good. You just have to get all the names right. You, you just have to, you'll probably just have to, like, edit them on the fly while we're doing things. Yep. Or you know what? It's fine. Just as as we sw- <laughs> and, uh, as right. we as we switch, we're just switching nope, characters. That's not going to work either. No, because the uh, yeah. So the screens don't. All match right, whose character the, sheet uh... do I get? Uh, well, blue is now Doctor Phineas. Sure am. Yes. <laughs> yep. And now must talk I'm... like Pixel. Wow. I I'm think fine. actually, like, if Diva, somehow you mine, have mine is okay. You just have to talk down to everyone. Yeah, Bartholomew's fine. <laughs> hey, you didn't move. And everybody's fine on the big screen. It's the individual views. Yeah. Else. yeah. Well, I moved, yeah, yeah, I was able to move everybody on the big screen, oh, but uh, yeah, that for your individual screens, they're all... Well, now we know for the future. Do not turn off your video. Eat Jesus nope. in peace across the room. Got it. <laughs> yep, just, uh, just, just, just leave get, the room. Just get like a hickey. Just a piece of tape or... Uh... Yep. Post it. Yeah, I'll post it to put. Just hold my camera. phone up. While I'm <laughs> just don't don't look at me. Don't. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. well, just Fer- just Ferris Bueller it while you're. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties. We're sorting them out. Uh, with when yeah. somebody turns was... off their camera, it switches their position. Uh, who knows? Can't. For some reason, yeah, you can't reorder them in the uh, no. in the screen. No. All right. Well, that's good to know. And now we come back uh, to breaking it. Oh, it actually, it actually does have an option to pin video, so maybe for later. Yeah, yeah. Are that we now? Good to have. Mm-hmm. Good old B and A. Got pin- some breaking and entry going yeah. on. Okay, yeah. so I'm still watching successfully. Yeah. I'm, Are you watching? I'm still us over. Or just like I'm corner? watching. I'm keeping an eye out for anybody walking towards where you guys are at. Okay. As is Bartholomew, but... He's drunk. He's getting there. (laughs) Slowly but surely. So, so... do you walk in then real quick? As soon as that door clicks open. Yeah, once I get the door open, I'll just swing it in enough that we can get inside and give Eliza a little tug on her skirt. Come on. Okay. And the close it quietly behind me. Uh fix, you would see them go in. Uh Bartholomew, there is a dust that hit the light just right. So you don't know what's going on behind you. So Fix, do you just stand outside still, keep and watch? Yeah, I think I would probably just be nonchalant about it, though. Mm-hmm. No, you're, you're good. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just leaning on a wall and looking down the hallway. Okay, so you two go in. And it's low light. They just have, like, a little light in there uh, currently just to kind of keep it slightly Im- illuminated, but... Mm-hmm. So if you want to do a better, like a good, good look, you'd have to obviously make it a little brighter or it'll take you a little bit more time to go through. Is there like a light switch on the wall that we can flick on or is the only light source coming from like a lantern or a candle or something? Uh, it's actually like basically the moonlight because the it? door, the windows are wide open, yeah. no mm-hmm. curtains or anything. <clears throat> uh, you could, you see a lantern in a candle uh, the candles on the desk, 
and the lanterns just kind of sit off probably if all everything goes out and they need to go through he has a lantern just in case all right so i will go to the desk okay. and grab the candle okay reach my pocket and pull out a nice silver lighter and just flick that on and light the candle well as yeah. will remember that i was gonna say i would need <laughs> are you paying attention to what he's doing or are you yeah. going off and, I was like, or are you going off and looking throughout the office? So, no, I think my first goal is going to be to see if he has like a bookshelf or anything of his own, but I want to wait until we have some light to okay. really look for Okay, it. so you notice that then. And it gets a little bit lighter in there. Uh, you're able to see on his desk some papers, uh, some in his writing, some basically you could tell that he's doing research. And he just left it on his desk for the next day. Because he didn't think anybody would come in. Uh, on, he does have a bookshelf. It has all kinds of information on what he was researching. You find information about the third dynasty of ancient Egypt, uh, about the people who lived there. Uh, you find information about the uh, new people that you had found out uh, from the inscriptions on the inside of the sarcophagus. Uh, you don't find the book you are looking for. Uh, currently within the bookshelf or on top of the desk. Do we find anything that looks like it would have, I guess, the same kind of I don't know. I guess we don't know really what the does, book that we're looking for is. Does Dr. Armitage have any stationary or letterhead with his name on it? Uh, not on top of his desk. You might want to see if you can go through his desk. If well, you want, Eliza, why don't you take a look at these papers on his desk, see if you can make heads or tails of them. I'm going to have a quick route about. And I'll yeah. casually open a few drawers to see if I can find his letterhead. Okay. And I'll have uh, to peruse for something that I might might look familiar in those the papers, in those papers. his research. Okay. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> within the paperwork itself, you do find some information about, and it has like a poorly drawn picture that looks rather similar to the sarcophagus, a golden box. Uh, and if you're going through the paper like the reading the paperwork and everything? Or are you just kind of browsing quickly? If I see something I recognize like the sarcophagus, I will stop and read that. Okay. Or like, yeah. Uh, in reading, it'll take a little bit of time uh, because it's not something you're used to reading through in general. It's more, it's very, um, I'm trying to figure out the best word. It's very basically like Harvard. It's on that level where it's very well yeah. written, <laughs> written with words that they don't need to use, but they feel like they need to use it. Okay. New I point. think the word you're looking for is <clears throat> academic. Is there What's a that? title yes. on them? Like, can um, I tell what this research project is about or called? You see some information uh, about previous ownership of the box. Uh, a family had owned it, the Parking Beast Ivan Andersons. Okay. And that it was thought to be stolen in 1871. And if you take a little bit more time to read, uh, we'll get back to you after Dave arrives yep. through the desk. <clears throat> so, so I'm going through the professor's desk looking for letterhead. And the as you're going through, you see typical like research stuff just kind of thrown in, probably old stuff that he might get back to in the lower left drawer. Uh, sure, on sure. top, you have like your stationaries, but it doesn't have like his actual letterhead, like the department or anything like that. Right. I'm looking for something that specifically says from the office of H. Armitage, <clears throat> whatever. Correct. And you do not find anything like that on his desk. Uh, 
you only find ba your basic professor, you know, has the school name on it, kind of information. Nothing will says from the office of professor. Okay, um, but there's stuff that has the school letterhead at least. Yes, this will have to do. And I might have an idea. I'm listening. What if we just take all of this paperwork to the front desk and tell them we're helping him and he sent us here there to help uh, get more information? The <clears throat> trouble is that we'd be going there after hours. So we're we students, we work late. We would need some kind of permission slip. To we forgot there. it at home. Our dog ate it. You might be able to sell that your dog ate it, but I have an idea. I could just frantically look for it. And Let me see some of that paperwork. Lost. Let me see some of those papers if you don't mind. And put them all in And I'm going to take the uh, university letterhead and look at the papers and go back and forth and see if I can get a good enough feel for. Dr. Armitage's handwriting that I could write myself a note that could okay. pass for his. Uh, you could, it would definitely take some time to. Uh, let me see. Will I have you roll for that? Maybe psychology? Actually, just straight decks to see if you can match it. Sure. Ooh. Well, wow. Ooh. Okay. Uh, That'll do. Wow. We also okay. need $5,000 from his account. <laughs> <laughs> Just, if you happen to find a line around. Okay. So $5,000 in the in 1920s? 1920s? Wow. <laughs> You might as well be asking for one million. That's why I only said five thousand. It was 5, the guy's 000. entire yearly salary. <laughs> uh, no, you you're able to. It takes a little bit of time studying, like basically, but you are able to match it. What you would believe perfectly. Looking back and forth, you can't see any flaws. All right, and then I will just tear that off from the pad and tuck it away for later. We're coming back here tomorrow to pick up the sarcophagus and the research notes. Perhaps after that we can have a quick gander through the restricted section. I am going to take the research paperwork with me. Eliza, he'll notice that it's missing. We'll bring it back. When? When we come back at 11 o'clock? He'll already have raised the alarm by then. Later, tomorrow, the next day. And he will notice that it's it in an um, unmarked. It's okay. He won't know who took it. But when we come in with a letter from him letting us into the restricted section, that will raise alarm. Don't you think I like there's valuable you. information really do. in here? I, if there's valuable information in there, then make copies of it. Don't take the originals. And I will reach into <laughs> my jacket pocket mm -hmm. and pull out my notebook and tear off a piece of paper. Here, write down everything in permanence and I'll hand her the pen. Okay, do you take it or are you just yeah. leaving? Okay. I'm going to do it on a, a strict time limit of whatever he's doing in the room. Just get whatever I can in that okay. amount of time. I'm not going to hold anything up by taking the notes. Okay. So basically everything that, I, like if you're just going through and writing it after he gave you, it'd be the information I gave you earlier. Right. Uh, the parking the <clears throat> Andersons, uh, British Noble family was stolen in 1871. Uh, there was information about the third dynasty of ancient Egypt. Uh, you didn't, and that would be the best within the time frame of him forging that you would be able to finish to finish forging what he wrote. A permission As I'm set. writing this, I'm going to say to him, do you think it's weird that all of this comes back to ancient Egypt? Even him? No, though, if he's looking into something, then 
Perhaps he might have information for us, which is another reason why we shouldn't plunder his office. Well, we've already done that. No, we've looked through things. We haven't taken anything besides a slip of paper that he won't miss. His permission. We stole his permission. He doesn't need to know about that. Okay. John, would you mind here, writing in chat the name of the family that the sarcophagus was stolen oh, from? Absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to need Eliza to make an intelligence check to make sure she can put everything back where she found it. <laughs> okay, but I'm doing this with with the full intent of if I don't, I'm just going to throw it down and it's fine. A hundred percent. But Ooh. okay, you're a smart cookie. <laughs> there you go thank you very much sir absolutely okay so you put it back uh exactly where you found it or the best of your ability that you can remember <coughs> but you believe you've done everything exactly where you saw it Oh fuck! I, I forgot we is. could. I forgot we could push. And luck. You can. I don't know. Pushing how that works. is really dangerous. Right. Super so dangerous. The way that pushing works is that if you fail something and you want to retry it, you try it again at plus one difficulty. So if it was normal, it becomes hard. If it right. was harm, it becomes extreme. If it's already extreme, you can't push. If you push and fail, the consequences get significantly worse than they were before. Yeah, that's fine. I just forgot. Speaking I was just. Making things worse, I was simply I saying I forgot it exists. <laughs> I wasn't saying. And now we got to explain the mechanics, so it's all good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I forgot it exists as well and did not know how it worked. I also have eighty <laughs> luck points, which is extremely high, apparently. Oh, oh yeah, can't you spend no, luck no, to no. knock down rolls? Uh, I believe so. Let me look at luck. Right I believe here. it's one to one to how much you're changing it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you fail by like three, you can spend three luck points to succeed. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Pushing, pushing, pushing. But yeah, that sounds right. Yep. Cool. So you could spend that, any amount of luck. Might have come in buy. handy earlier. I was like, <laughs> uh, no, I failed by approximately eighty. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had to. Anybody failed by like five? <laughs> I would have had to spend. No, I didn't have enough luck to. To do that fast talk roll earlier, I, I it would have it would have been bad, bad. Yeah, yeah no, I I I'm just looking back at my old rolls. I failed so miserably that yeah. it wouldn't have helped at all. Yeah, yeah, burning ten luck to pass the sanity roll to lose or to avoid losing one sanity is probably not worth your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Curtis. so so we are so we are all leaving now. I think we leave. Okay. I believe so. Yeah, and, Eliza, do you see anything yep. you want to? Acquire. Yes, but I'm not going to. You do this because to we us? have to come back here. Okay. I think. At least I think we have, might have to come back here. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but um, Eliza believes we're probably going to have to come back here. Okay. All right. So you guys leave, and it's late at, by this point. Yeah. So the library's closed. Correct. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do we want to try and break into the library? I don't believe that will be necessary, Dr. Mars, as I'll reach into my pocket and pull out the slip that I forged from Armitage's handwriting. Was he in there? Did you get permission? Yep. Of course. My. That was fortuitous. Quite so. So tomorrow, we have an appointment with Professor Rice to speak to him about the sarcophagus, and then we'll come in here and have a look through the restricted section. So if you could meet us at the library at, let's say, actually, if you could meet us at Dr. Rice's office at 10 o'clock, that is when we have our appointment with him and we can all be together to hear what he has to say. Okay, so you all go to your respected place. I just Please. noticed. I just noticed that because I was sent to Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> the Zero Initiative overlay was up. <laughs> nice, perfect. How did Kiso die in Call of Cthulhu? Weird. <laughs> 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 I 
If only I could. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so are we? We're sleeping. Rude. Are we sleeping? We're. we're yeah, we're yep. splitting for. I would assume hotel rooms or lodgings or wherever we happen to be. Yep. Yeah, I'll head back to my tenant the house. I was gonna say that be discussed about amongst you guys where you guys are headed. Well, I will meet the three of you here in the morning then. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, I, I, I'm the I'm the one here from out of town, so I would assume I would have had to have gotten a hotel room or something. Yeah, I don't live here, but I I went to school here, so I would also have to have a hotel room. That's fine. But that hotel was yeah. easy. There, there are certainly places to stay in Arkham. Yeah, that would not be a problem. Yeah, absolutely. So no problem. Uh, you guys leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary happens. As long as you guys go directly back to your places to sleep. Yeah, I mean, I'm not taking a field trip to the unvisited aisle at 10 o'clock at night. (laughs) Okay. So you guys wake up early in the morning. uh, Well rested. I figure I'll I'll stop by the telegram place. Okay. And you have something waiting for you. It is a copy of... The corners. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let me move this. All right. Come on. Let me move it all the way over. Oh, I'll just throw on a diary page real quick so I can move it. Oh, I just moved the whole thing. I made way too many things. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. I, How dare you prepare? I wanted. <laughs> I know. Office of yeah, the... all this was hand typed. Oh, wow. Jeez. Wow. I wanted to make sure y'all had all the information you needed. Office of the Medical Examiner for the State of Louisiana City. This is me, my mental... Uh, uh, Your my... inner monologue. Inner monologue, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. City of New Orleans, report by Dr. Wilbur Lawrence. The victim, Marion Marcus Allen... Marcus Allen? <laughs> had been killed by a single powerful blade thrust to the bottom of the rib cage, cutting upward so as to separate the ribs from the breastbone. Hands were used to pry the rib cage apart. The, the tongue was cut out, likely while the victim was dying. There was a symbol of unknown origin carved into the skin of the forehead. The cuts were deep enough so that the symbol was etched into the skull. The victim's liver and heart were missing, Both organs were removed with a sharp blade, although the procedure was crude. Police corroborate that no evidence of the missing organs found at the scene. Abrasions and bruises to the wrists and legs indicate that the victim was tied up and beaten before death. Goodness. I'll have a read with your breakfast. Yeah. Well... Dr. Morris is a physician, so I can't imagine that he would be too turned off by such a thing. It is clinical after all. Still, graphic. Stabbed, you said. Are we all meeting back? Wait, I guess you, you yeah, That's you said, you said this was, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> it's, yeah, you said that was your inner monologue, so I don't yeah. know if you've conveyed all of that to us yet. I, that was just a joke, but yeah, I can convey that to you. Uh, it, it appears to be some sort of ritual killing um, with the Goodness. the symbol carved into the skull, the removal of the organs. I, I don't suspect that it was an actual autopsy that was performed, but some sort of macabre ritual. Well, that was... What, 30 years ago in New Orleans? 40 years ago? Yeah. And I will say for, for, for Bartholomew, that that whole thing hits pretty close to home. That catches his attention a lot now. If they had come here, they would have likely done the same thing to our mutual acquaintance and friend. So perhaps we are still ahead of them. Hmm. Yes. Uh let us go find this learn book. More. Yes, and learn more about the sarcophagus that they're after. It's time to go see Dr. Rice. Or Professor Rice, I suppose. I'll meet them at Professor Rice's office, but I'm going to be like 10 minutes late. 
Okay. <laughs> and you're going to miss 10 minutes of information, I'm afraid. I'll be like 10 minutes late. It's fine. Perfectly okay. Uh, is there a particular reason we're gonna you're going to be late? I like to sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 10 o'clock and I walk everywhere. That I is valid. Like late. You that are, is. I, I agree. Uh, okay. No. So you guys get there. Uh, <laughs> you know the way. And you you hear like basically a lot of movement still within. Like they're still either cleaning up or going over the last bit of details. All right. I'll approach the door. And a student opens. And... He goes, can I help you? Yes, I'm Professor Rice. It's 10 o'clock. He goes, and he, he says, one moment, let me ask. And he shuts the door real quick. And he goes, finds, and he comes back. He goes, he looks, he goes, all of you? Yes, these are my associates. Dr. Mars and Mr. Shuttleworth. And his case is still en route, I believe. It is still quite early for some. And he lets you in. The shade. The shade. I mean, come on, students. That's yep. Some of them are morning, some are not. Mm -hmm. And some pull all nighters because we were up all night too. We were here so late. <laughs> we weren't that late. Everything was closed. We were late. <laughs> <laughs> we were here when it got dark. We stayed for a while and searched for shit. We then went and searched for more shit. We broke into an office. We were here for a pretty long time. <laughs> that was a good time. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was, I mean, all in all, a pretty, you know, eventful day. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Threatened some locals. Oh, they don't know about that. <laughs> nope. Didn't even take that. Yeah, and you don't even talk about that. Uh, right oh, now. that's right. We didn't even tell them. It wasn't worth. It was. It wasn't worth mentioning. So did you I just say assume that, that everything went off without a hitch? Did you say that to them when we, you were nope. talking about? Nope. nope. Okay. I was like, that'd be a fun talk. Uh, okay. So that was just a looks, little aside. Off the table. Okay. Uh, he looks up and he has everyone kind of finish grabbing the books and stuff. That he's done. Uh, you see the sarcophagus just sitting on his desk, still in the scarf uh, mm -hmm. that Eliza gave it to. Uh, and he's just, he looks like a mess at this point. Like he's probably not going to be teaching today. I'm terribly sorry to have kept you up all night, Professor, but you seem to be in high spirits nonetheless. He goes, I just found so many, there's just so much within this. He goes, I translated the hieroglyphics I found out you know a little bit more about the history of this it is it's just amazing do you have anything else like this that you could bring by not as of yet but if I do happen to stumble upon any more ancient Egyptian artifacts I will be sure to bring them your way he goes please do please do and he's like oh yes yes you probably want the information uh, that would be lovely thank you and he, he looks at the other two he goes friends Yes, these are my associates, Dr. Mars and Mr. Shuttleworth. Your your uh, associate brought me some really amazing things. Uh, if you are responsible, thank you. And he goes and he gets his notepad out. He's like, the translation, it's seeker of wisdom, servant, and then son of Yagur. Uh, Sethe? Sethe? I should have looked at the pronunciation of that. Deliverer of the people, slaves of the water, bearer of the spirits of Narloth Hotep, child of thought, seeker of the wisdom. I'll put that in chat. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. He goes, This this is this is beyond anything I could have imagined being on this. He goes, which led me to look up some more history on this. He goes, I believe the box was given to uh, no fruit ka by the gods and was said to contain a djinn that could be called upon to exact some form of service. He goes, like a genie? It's, some people call it that, yes. Uh, the more educated don't. When he says that, I'm going to come busting Bunny. through the door, like knowing that I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> 
And he looks. Okay, Sloan, they have you to join us. A bunch of applesauce, anyways. He goes, thank you for uh, joining. I just told your friends some of the findings I found on this wonderful piece. Uh, Great, I'll be sure to catch up. He goes, I really wish I could spend some more time with it. It's just, it's just great. And obviously because of the agreement, he motions for you to be able to just go ahead and grab it. In his case, if you'd be so kind. Yep, with the scarf. I forgot to turn my alerts off. I'm so sorry. Give me one second. No problem. Thanks, Keen. That's all right. I, I'm typing while you do that. <coughs> uh, J Stu, if you wanted, you could put that in a handout so that we would be able to just have it in our journal. Nope. Okay, so you guys have it now, and mm -hmm. are you going to inform Eliza there, outside? Are you leaving? Professor uh, Rice, uh, my name is Dr. Mars, uh, Miskatonic University graduate 02. Um, <laughs> the service the service required by the djinn, well, is it malevolent? Is it helpful? What kind of service was it expecting to perform? I'm sorry, did you just say gin? Yes, gin. Yeah, something you rub the thing and get three wishes, I don't know. I said... I'm not so sure it works like that. I'm not talking about, you know, the alcohol, my dear. Um... Oh, I'm very aware. And I'm going to start spouting off facts that I know about the gin, mm -hmm. because I'm sure I know plenty. Uh, you what? Are any of them related to the question I asked? Uh, her? Uh, the information she gives is a very detailed, like, history, uh, common knowledge uh, to those who believe within the occult and everything. Uh, the doctor looks at her and just kind of nods as she's going through, like, oh, she knows, she knows a lot about this. Uh, he goes, unfortunately, I was unable to find any text, whether it's what its intentions are, but it was supposed to just be of service to the person that released them. Huh. It could be used for many, it could be anything, you know? I see. If I had more time, I would have definitely been able to find out more information. Uh, time is one thing we don't have a lot of, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately, my client only lent me a sarcophagus for the day. I'll be needing to get it back to him shortly. He goes, very well. Uh, yes, if you have any more, please bring it by. Of course, of course, Professor. And thank I'm you for your time and attention. Sleep. Yes, I suppose that you should. Good night. Day, morning. Well, he's about to go to bed, so. Hmm. Good day, Professor. You'll be leaving now. Okay. To the library! Indeed. Where the more educated people go. On the way to the library. <laughs> I want to say, so should we be in the least bit worried that we're presenting this permission while he's still on campus, potentially, during the day? to where they could fact check us. Do you believe that they fact check every permission slip that Professor Armitage writes? Into the restricted access, maybe? Would I By know the time that... they check it, it's likely that we'll be long gone. Would I know if they and check now. into every person with a permission slip? Uh, you probably wouldn't know, uh, because you've never really had to have a permission slip for your studies here. Uh, especially when it came to restricted areas. Okay. All I'm saying is that we should be fast. Yeah, I agree. Time is of the essence. We still have 
a farmhouse to look into after all. Our dear friend Rupert does Did you find that farmhouse, by the way? Nope! Mm -mm. Nope! We nope. didn't find anything. As in it doesn't sure exist? Didn't. Yeah, we, Apparently there's we a were, lot of farmhouses. We were tired. <laughs> well, hopefully we have less trouble when we're looking for it as a group. Did you send the telegram then? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Uh, we, if you had been here on time, you would have learned that uh, we are... Uh, the person that was killed in New Orleans was killed... Uh, very brutally, they were. Their chest was cut open, their organs were removed, and they were uh, engraved with some sort of uh, rune on their forehead that carved all the way to the bone. It was the forehead, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we. I believe it was some sort of ritual killing. Does this make a? Does this ring any bells for you, Miss Case? Ritual killing is what I would expect too. Do you have? Any description on the rune? Unfortunately not. Okay, well, maybe we can do something about that. There wasn't a description of the rune, rune in that no. report. Okay. And for those taking notes, that was the translation. Uh, I won't move it, so, yeah. Okay. So, you're heading towards the library. Yep. Okay. It's open. Uh, students are coming in and out. You see a couple of faculty going in and out. Uh, probably grabbing some reference material for a, a future class or a class, you know maybe even their studies, but you see them walking in and out. And you go in, the same student is sitting there. And he just looks up and he goes, you're back. Uh, did you not find everything you needed yesterday? Well, not exactly, because we would like to have a look through some of the more well, some of the less open to the public materials. We had a chat with Professor Armitage and I'll produce the note and hand it to him. He said that this would be satisfactory. Okay, what exactly did you write on it? Uh, I wrote, uh, please give these people access to the restricted section for research into um, the, the name of the book. Uh, I'm blanking oh, on the, the exact... Dave Vermeer's Mystery? Yes. Okay. Dave Vermeer's Mystery. Yes. He goes... Signed H. Armitage. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he goes, okay, he goes, uh, what we can do is I could try to we'll set you off in a room a, a, away from that area because you're only there for one thing and I will try to locate the book within there and I will bring it to you. Uh, that will be satisfactory. But, but I just can't let you roam freely in there. Of course, of course, of course. Perfect. And he shows you to a room uh, off in the back, up top, kind of dusty. Uh, doesn't see much use. Uh, Was I well, even remotely close? <laughs> I mean, not too far off <laughs> to the room. You're way <laughs> far off from the restricted area. <laughs> You're like, oh, this room looks really familiar. And then, but, and he's like, go ahead, uh, sit down. I will be back as soon as I can. Very well. And he's gone. Uh, 20, 25 minutes later. Uh, still not back. <sighs> I spent many of my college years in these reading rooms. Nah, some of them not always studying, if you know what I mean. I don't think that I do, nor do I wish to. Women. <laughs> I had hoped that, yes. And about 45 minutes later, uh, the student comes back. He goes, 
unfortunately, I was unable to find the book here. He goes, it has been checked out uh, and not returned. Do you happen Do to you... know uh, go ahead. by whom and when? Yes, exactly. That, it uh, was... It's like you read my mind. All three of us were jumping to the same bit. <laughs> by Dr. Armitage. Which is Fuck. really weird why he was. I knew it was in his here. fucking office! God damn it! I fucking knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew it! Oh, damn it! It must have been a misunderstanding. I'm it sure that he <laughs> believed that he had returned it. Perhaps, when he hadn't yes, he, perhaps he misplaced it. And uh, we will get to the bottom of this and return your book to you, good man. Uh, I mean, he could have it as long as he wants, but if he would like to return it, then he can return it when he wants. He goes, I'll go back to work uh, unless you guys need anything else. Nope, I think that will be sufficient. Thank you. You've done quite enough for us. Thank you. And he you says, have, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna, Thank you. I'm gonna peek. Thank you. I'm gonna peek in one of the other reading nooks to see if there are people in there. Uh, about six down, there's a couple students. And it looks like one is getting tutored. Oh, my, my apologies. I was looking for an empty room. And they just kind of look and just go back to studying. I shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> no one, frolic see, no no one, one frolicking in there. In there. <laughs> well, then. This, that actually happened so, in my college. Mm -hmm. I think it happens at every college. Yeah. I'd be so, surprised if back to the good doctor's office. Then. Yes, let's get talk to this son of a bitch. Indeed. And I and guess we'll go so call upon mad. Dr. Armitage. <laughs> you, <laughs> I knew it. I was like... <laughs> I'm also super glad I didn't steal anything, but like also mad. <laughs> when he said that, I saw your face and you were just like, God. <laughs> okay. Yes, we will return to Professor Armitage. Okay. Obviously, you know how to get there. Yeah. At this yep. point. <clears throat> So you get that? Are you heading straight there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. can't imagine I why yeah, we would get there. To... <laughs> We're going to be here till like nine o'clock, guys. <laughs> I think you're being rather conservative on your <laughs> estimate. Yes. Yeah. 10 o'clock is going to roll around and we'll be getting to the farmhouse. Yeah. It'll be proper dark out in only a couple of hours. Not even. You'll be greeted. But you make it there. In this case, uh, did you bother to lock the door behind you last night? <laughs> I don't know whether she did, but I most certainly did. <laughs> I don't remember. Wondering if we're going to have to let ourselves in again. He might be there Friday afternoon. Oh, it is Friday afternoon. Let's I'm go sure knock, everything will be just knock fine. on the door. Yeah. And you're knocking, you hear someone moving about in there. Uh, so you're knocking? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And he comes to the door, he looks around, he's like, Yes, do I know you? Can I help you? Professor Armitage, uh, we were told that you had checked out a book and that we were interested in perusing um, for a few moments. He goes, I have a lot of books checked out. I'm doing research. You'd have to be a little bit more specific with your request. I'm going to be He's super got a goofy name. and take the sarcophagus out and just show it to him and say, can we come in? He looks, he goes, making a power play. And, ooh, let's see what we'll... He, he was going to let you in anyway, but now we're... <laughs> <laughs> um, now he's interested. I think I have his attention now. Though. Force the issue. Yes. Uh, let's see. What would I? Are you good at fast talking? Basic. Oh, uh, I was thinking fast talk. Fast talk or persuasion? I have both of those. I would say persuasion, because you're trying to use that as a. With a bonus Pardon. die, perhaps? As I already know he's researching this thing. I know that he knows about it. So oh. I have feel like this is my best bet in him at just cutting the bullshit and getting in there with him. 
Yes, Seems and wise. you can have a bonus die. I don't know how to... Hit so the purple, purple one, yeah. Well, you already have a hard success, a so the bonus die probably isn't that? going to give you much. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, he's like, come in, come in. That's That looks similar to something that was within the research. He goes, how did you come about this? It was thought to be lost. And I'm going to tell him about our friend who gave it to us. I'm going to leave out the mission we're on, but... So you're telling him you got it from Rupert? I'm not specifically. I'm going to tell him we have a, a, a friend who got mixed up in some bad things years and years ago and is currently now on his deathbed. And that we think this is something something i don't know something bad <laughs> we wanted i'm just trying to convey him to, to him that it's like an emergency and we need to know as much about this as we can okay. and that we're looking for a specific book to help us further our knowledge about He's what like, we might yes, be getting yes. into uh come in come in <clears throat> all of you kind of questioning i'm gonna push past him and say yep thank you dr Armitage. Okay, uh, it's going to be a little tight in here, but mind I'll just the books. Push back and just kind of step to the side of the door and just kind of <clears throat> lean on the door jam. Okay. To kind of shoo off any students or anybody else that might come in while we're here. Okay. And he goes and sits behind his desk. And he's like, uh, wh What are you looking for in particular? We're looking for a book. And he looks around his office. We tell him the name of the, the book. <laughs> 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 I, like, I did not write it down. David Mimis. It's here. got some kind of David, goofy der, der Vermis Vermis mysteries. mysteries. Something or other. Okay. He goes, yes, yes, that is uh, within my possession. Uh, it's quite the curious book. Uh, on ancient things of the occult manner. Pete, could you tell us a bit more about it? He goes, it, it just talks about ancient ways of bringing, like how they would bring things from other realms to the current one. Uh, they talk about having, being preserved in amber uh, the ritual taking hours, uh, sometimes is within the text, almost days to complete to bring them forth. He goes, I'm researching how legitimate this is. He goes, but everything seems to line up that this is something that indeed happened in past civilizations. Uh, he goes, I plan on writing uh, paper on all of this once I find all the information that I can. He goes, but I'm in the early stages. Of course, of course, of course. I have a question for you, Doctor, if you don't mm -hmm. mind indulging me. Supposing that this is accurate, how would one go about putting, not to be too clever, but putting the genie back in the bottle and returning what was summoned to its amber prison? He goes, first, there's a song that talks about that. No. Uh, he goes, honestly, he goes, as long as you have a ritual uh, and you're able to find it, it should be as easy as following the steps and to do it. He goes, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find one that says anything about vanishing. He goes, but there has to be. And it's not like you're just going to let anything roam the earth after you've summoned it. Yes, I would presume so. He goes, there's many Why on earth would anybody do this? Bring something to assist you? Uh, I mean, there's stories of bringing servants that help in battles, help protect. Uh, some believe them to be deities or some kind of magical entity. And it's still far too early in, in the research to see how legit it is. He goes, but we do 
there's many stories of it happening. Professor, if I may. Uh, I'll yes, produce. Catch your name. Oh, uh, Carrington. Charles Chesterfield Carrington. Pleasure. And the pleasure is mine, I assure you. I'll produce uh, Rupert's diary that was under the false bottom and hand it to Armitage. Would you mind taking a glance through here and seeing if there's anything in here that would suggest itself to be similar to the vanishing ritual that you just postulated exists? He goes, sure, uh, one moment. And as he's just kind of browsing through, he's like, he stops and looks at certain things. Like, he understands where you've got some of your information all of a sudden. And to whom? He goes, yes, uh, this is really close to what I was finding out. He goes, as he gets to the end, he's like, if they have something in the house that they believe they must have a way of sending it back. Uh, I, I do not see it within this book. He goes, but it looks like they've found a way to do it. Interesting. And it seems that we have more investigating to do. He um, goes, please, uh, if you find it out, bring it to me. I would love to take a look at it and add it to my research. Professor Phineas Morris, Mr. Katonic O2, I have another question. Um, this, this is all academic, isn't it? People don't actually summon demons. This is all studies based on hearsay and religion, correct? There's no basis in reality for any of this. He looks at you, he's like, I take you not for a religious person? I'm a doctor of science, my uh, my dear sir. I don't consider myself to be fanciful enough to believe any of this poppycock. He goes, well, religions have been around for a long time. Uh, and there is some academic uh, behind some of the things that happen re in religions. You could say by floods, you could say it was science that did it, but within biblical, they believe it was a deity or something they had summoned, but people use science to prove that it was not. It is all on your belief system. It is completely plausible that it it is in fact true and that is something and why I'm researching it because there is no definitive answer one way or the other. Well, we shall see, won't we? That is what I'm hoping. And if you could bring me more information, I would, it would greatly help me. Is there anything in your research that would, if this demon were to make it to the, uh, to our world, would, is there any means of defeating it other than sending it back? In my studies, uh, no. Uh, you could bind them to areas, uh, but they would have to be rebound over time, uh, depending on how you bound them. Uh, people who believe in the occult would, like 100% would definitely be able to tell you more. He goes, but there's there is very uh, good options that the, you might be able to banish it with permanently, or you could just bind it to a specific area. Some people believe that those who were basically stuck to a certain area later become the deity of those areas, the protectors of those lands. Uh, but he goes, there's far too much out there and contradicting information to be able to tell you exactly. Could this area be the farmhouse? If you were to put it there, yeah, uh, it could be anywhere. It could be, you know, a particular part of a forest. It could be, you know, some believe that 
you know, their deities of crops and other, you know, things of that battle. It, it's mythology is <coughs> so interesting. He goes, are you, are you okay? Do you need a cough drop? Just gonna shake her head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and basically, he's like, "It's completely plausible, but there's no definitive answer to him, who's an academic." <clears throat> he goes, "But he wants to find out whether it is or isn't, and that's why that's his main research." And he didn't like take the book out. He just started telling us what is in it, right? It's still all hogwash to me. Is I think there, we ought to head back and ask old Rupert what he's put us up to. Is there anything in the book that details any sort of ritual uh, sacrifice? Uh, sacrifice? What do you mean? By, like, humans, animals? Or... Uh, well, an associate of our friend, uh, he, we received a report of his death from New Orleans where his internal organs were removed, the heart and liver and things like this, and a rune was carved into his forehead. Is there anything like that detailed in that book? Uh, within this book, no, but there are people who are within the occult that do believe uh, that that is a form of punishment uh, for offending their deity or the person they worship. Uh, that, or they were just trying to send old Rupert a message. Opening up a man's chest and turning his insides to his outsides is a pretty good way of doing that. That definitely sends a very particular info. Where did you find out this information? Because that's, that's nothing I've came across in the past that specific. Like I said, I received a coroner report from uh, New Orleans. Um, on the report of a report of a death of um, our associates, uh, our our, fr our friend's associate, who is uh, we believe to be um, uh, involved with some sort of dealings in the past. He goes, I mean, I we can definitely look into that he goes but if i would like to finish this first uh but yeah i mean or you could talk to others maybe professors that could be looking into specific things like that uh but yeah in the, within this book it does not say anything particular like that hmm. interesting okay well. Yes, yes. I do feel bad for the person that that was done to because that had to be painful. Well, it's unknown if <laughs> they did it while he was alive or after he had already expired to send a message, as my uh, as my friend here has said. But um, yeah, I, I will go check out this location. I guess I'm, I say to these guys, I've, I'm done talking to this guy. Doc, you ever heard anything like that happening around here? Uh, ritual carving into foreheads? Never Is that. Anything mysterious like this? I mean, I've heard stories of weird things happening near Ross's corner. Uh, hearing some weird noises uh, on the outskirts. Could you point us in that direction? <laughs> I was just gonna corner? ask him, yeah, to from mad. from the from the general store. <laughs> Say you were at the general store and you wanted to investigate where these strange goings on were. Which direction and how far would you walk? <laughs> if you were a corner, <laughs> if you were a corner, where would you be, Roz's <laughs> No, we know where Roz's corner is. We went there, but. <laughs> the actual farmhouse. He goes, I believe it is west a little bit outside of Ross's corner that the people were saying of hearing weird things. Uh, there's no specifics. It was just hearsay that I was hearing <clears throat> from students and such, but I, I'm far too busy with my research, but... Understandable. I'm sorry. What is your specialty? 
I research in ancient occult and their belief system uh, due to different uh, practices, beliefs, uh, their deities. Uh, and basically, I just try to uncover all, all things that are believed to be unbelievable. And how did you come across this specific research topic? I've always been interested in like ancient cultures and there's so many stemming from the area around Egypt that I just kind of focused there. Uh, see. The, At this the, point, I th uh, Bartholomew is just kind of like lost patience mm -hmm. and it's just going to turn and go out the door and head back to the library. <laughs> God, because, why the library? Let's... <laughs> because the, the well, movie... Uh, culture is just so fascinating, uh, and it, and he looks and when he was looking over the sarcophagus, he noticed the writings. He goes, "It looks like you might have some interest in that as well." And he kind of points. When I get to, back, when I get to the library, is there anybody there? Students, people, some, some students. Right. I'm just gonna walk up to that student worker's desk and just take my rings and just. Pound on the desk real hard. So, all right. Did we follow him? I guess I'll Anybody follow. Anybody here in Doctor Armitage class? The hey, uh, Armitage is arm. He goes. I am not in his class. Uh, I am still far too new. Uh, I just work here to help pay the bills. I oh, know. I mean, I'm I'm getting like everybody in the library's attention. Oh. I'm just hollering this out. Okay, so you're making a scene. Who here's got our doctor on the scene. Oh so you're making a oh, yeah. scene. Uh, what else is new? I love it. I no, it's great. Um, so how are you making this scene? Are you trying to? That's what I'm just. I've got the rings, and I'm just racking them on the on the wood desk to just make a racket, oh, and get no. everybody's attention. Yeah, like. I'm looking for. Who here has Doctor Armitage? Okay. Uh, I'm looking for some kind of performance. Charm, maybe? He's not being charming. Uh, fast talk? Yeah. Fast, we'll talk, fast talk, persuade. Oh, right now you're fast talking. You might be persuading later. Okay. Good luck. Uh, great. Yeah. Just regular? Yep. I hope this works. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. Success. So, you get everyone's attention. Even some of the people come from up top who were obviously studying, studying. Uh, <laughs> you get all kinds, and they're just looking at you right now. Studying. I said, "Who has Doctor Armitage?" And you see one student up there just kind of look at you then look away and just kind of walk actually make a spot uh since i'm with him can i do that too were you looking i mean i was i was with him and we were i don't know i was just kind of looking around the room okay. i suppose go ahead i got yeah success nope okay <laughs> You right. see, and I'm, I'm going to head after that, that person. What person? <laughs> the one, the, the one that... <laughs> Doc, that one looks suspicious. He's. I don't. I can't him. see anyone up there. She. she I, I, she, I. She. Okay. I, Just follow me. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're we're gonna head up. Okay. Not, not run after them, but none of you guys have ever played D and D with me before. <laughs> I know. I haven't. I played a one shot with you, uh, but I wasn't playing. I was the DM. There's a huge difference. Fair. Fair. <laughs> okay. So you're going after. All right. So you're trying to keep your eye on them the whole time, if you can. Yeah, I just watch where they go. Okay. I see. I assume it's like an act. I'm a, it, sorry. In my head, I'm assuming it's like an academic library where there's your main gallery, and then there's like the upper balcony with the bookshelves. So there's yep. not a lot 
not, there's not a lot for them to hide behind, but if they, if there's an ante room or something that they could duck into, definitely make sure they're not doing that. Uh, yeah, basically that's, they're trying to get away from your line of sight to try to duck out somewhere. They're trying to lose you. Yes. Yeah. Because the ruckus you made and the tone and everything, you didn't set a good first impression as a person they would like to talk to. Fair enough. I still don't see anyone. Are you sure we're going the right way? I saw her head this way. Well, if you're sure. I just uh, describe what I saw to him so he knows who we're looking for. Yep. Uh, you saw a student roughly... Five six, long brown hair. Uh, just kind of like you, know, like you wouldn't have color seen dress or whatever she was wearing. Uh, white looked like it might have had some floral patterns. It was kind of far away. There you go. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll head after. Her. Okay. Uh, mm. both going the same way. Try to. I didn't see her, so I'm following him. Okay. Yeah, his, if, he, if he didn't see it, I'd, I'd assume he's just gonna like kind of stay on my hip pocket. And... Fair enough. Uh, you're you you head up right where you saw her uh, last before she ducked in behind some books. I would need you to do oh. a spot hidden to see if you could see if she went if you could see her up there anywhere. Uh, you ha you're able to look through oh. uh, multiple like. Uh, aisles as you're going through. Do I okay. lost her. Should I do another one too? Are you just following him or as he brazenly walks? Or well, looking I'm looking for what he's looking for. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yours would be, well, you would have got it anyways. Oh. She's uh, over there! <laughs> out of the corner of your eye, you see someone going the opposite direction like they're trying to head out of the building. I think she's going this way. Follow me. I'll turn and follow him. Okay. And a couple minutes pass, and you see her walking down the steps you just came up not too long ago. And <laughs> you're close behind, but not real close, because you're trying to be casual about it. He knows this place better than we do, but is there, is there another set of stairs further down or somewhere I can... Uh, fix your window from her being flanker? here. Uh, oh, this yeah. is the most expeditious way out there are other ways but it would be hard to get in front of the person <laughs> i'm going i'm going to slide down the banister to try and beat her to the <laughs> bottom of it <laughs> okay oh lord <laughs> okay uh elderly man i'm um, not elderly i'm only 40 and that time elderly uh, wow. Middle aged. Hey, I'm 52, so I'm ancient. Oh, yeah. Still not as old as Rupert. Nope. If Rupert's still around. Uh, let's see here. So, Phineas, let's see what we got here. <laughs> got it. You're going to have to do a climb. He's not climbing. He's sliding. I'm sliding. Yes. Yeah, opposite. I'm doing the opposite so, it's going to be difficult. First okay. and foremost. Okay. Uh, and we will do. I almost want to say ride, but you're not riding. Uh, <laughs> well, my highest is English language. So if that that's can come up, you. Uh, uh, it could be dexterity. Just that's what I was looking and... at. Yeah, do dex. Uh, hard difficulty. <sighs> okay. Please, 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 please. Uh, oh! Oh no! It's hard you want to spend difficulty. A luck? Oh, it's hard difficult. If it were regular you want to spend difficulty, twenty-four. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to push. You're so that would spend. make it extreme. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I, what I wish you all the fortune. Wrong. You are going to need it. Okay. Oh. oh, God. You see, 
There comes a time in a man's life where he questions his choices. Fix, this is how you die! I like, have, <laughs> I have <laughs> not yet reached that point! I just want Do you, you to want know, to spend though, 53 <laughs> luck to make that a success? Nope. Okay. Let the dice roll where they land. <laughs> okay. So, as you try to get on the rail, you trip. Uh-huh. And instead of sliding down, you fall over. Uh-huh. I expected that. Uh, it's not super high. Uh, we'll say probably about... Was he in if, front of me? He, she was in front of you. No, uh, was, was, was Phineas in front of me? Since yes. I was following him, yes. do I have any chance to, like, just grab him? Grab my foot. Like safe. Grab my foot. Uh, just extreme fail. Keep him from going um, over. It's going to... I know, like, I will lose sight of her, but keep him from literally going off the rail. I would need a spot hidden that you were paying attention to him and not her because you had your eyes on her. So basically kind of like a quick reflex looking to see him fall. He specifically didn't have his eyes on her. He was following me because he failed so, that last time. Well, he said all. that he was lose track of her. Oh. So that's why I was saying. Well, that's... Yeah, if he, had her, he, his he eyes. saw. He spotted her, and I was heading after. Phineas. Okay, so you would have he saw basically you, as soon as you take your eyes off her, you watch me leap over a rail. <laughs> so basically, at this point, she's gone. If you're trying to save him, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna try and save him. Yep. Okay. So no, straight that's roll. Fine. Uh. <laughs> first, I'll need. Dex to make it so you can to get, get there over, in time. to get there in time. Regular because you were following him. Uh, Dex. Oh, that's not too bad. It'd be seventeen luck to make it. Oh, yeah, fifteen luck to make it a success. Dang. Well, you tried. You feel like burning the luck, or do you want to just let him fall? Uh, yeah, I'll burn the oh. luck because really can't let him fall. <laughs> he, he made that decision. Okay. Uh, this was the best idea. Luck roll. <laughs> it's certainly dynamic. <laughs> I have 14 hit points. It'll be fine. No, no, no. You don't roll. You just spend the points oh, one away. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you so you spend lower. 15. So, so your luck is 15, 15 now. Got it. So you're Got down it. to 15 now. So you get over there. Now I need you to do a strength. Uh, regular or hard? What's Phineas's build? That's what I'm I'm looking up uh, right now. Build uh, is plus one. My build is zero. Build, 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 build. Ah, that is zero. Can it be zero? Uh, if your combination of strength and size is lower than a hundred and twenty-five, then Which yeah, probably. Okay. It is, yeah. yeah. It's hundred. Yeah. And it's higher than eighty-two. It is. Yeah. So zero. So, yeah. He's a zero. Uh, we'll. Yeah. He's a zero. I'm a plus we'll one. We'll say a regular. Strength. Yep. Nice. You nice. save him and pull oh, him back stumble. over. Uh, but you both kind of lightly fall on the steps, and everybody stares. Oh, sorry about that. I. Uh, How are you uh, doing, man? Good God! I was trying to. I was trying to get ahead oh, of her, man. I, I'm gonna look I around, kind of look around, and just well, maybe get up first before you apologize. Let's get after her. By the time you guys get up after that conversation, nowhere to be found. She gone. Yeah, we had like no idea where which way she was headed or anything. Nope, just away from you. Fuck. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we go back to them. Yeah. While all of this was going on, <laughs> what were you all doing? Well, in this case, do you have anything else to ask, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Armitage? Well, this Benny Hill sketch was happening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be over here doing Monty Python. 
I just I t- I got a total Scooby Doo like in and out of the bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, with those roles, yeah, it's like one person loses, the other one finds it. That person that found loses, and the other one, and then people go tumbling. Your wild stuff. So <sighs> the other two who are still talking to the doctor. Yes. I had just asked him about his research and I think w- that's when they bolted. <laughs> so we just what, ran out just, of the room. Just I'm just gonna look to the doctor like, oh. and I'm gonna look to Charles and look back to the doctor and look to Charles and say, I think we need to and then look back to the doctor and say, excuse us. And then I'm going to walk out. Yes, thank you no for your time, Dr. Rush. Armitage. And if we find anything about these rituals, we'll be sure to let you know. Yes, it's a pleasure. Uh, and okay. thank you. <coughs> and as home. you guys leave, he shuts the door. So any idea where they went? And as we're walking away, I'll just casually drop my hand into my pocket and pull out the pipe that I filched while mm-hmm. the whole conversation is going on. Give it a look over. I'm not uh, quite sure. It's an awfully nice pipe. Yes, <clears throat> it is. It's just a very well made pipe. Uh, looks like it could have been given as a gift for like a birthday or something like that. Uh, decently, you could tell it's decently priced, worth something. Can I tell it's not Charles's? Have you ever seen him with one? Not. I've known him for 24 hours. <laughs> so you, I was like, so you've never seen him have one or not have one. So right. That you would be basing on assumptions at this point. Now, if he doesn't smoke it after pulling it out, you might be able to have greater assumptions, but. I'm just going to compliment him on it then. Oh, thank you. And I will stick it in my mouth and light it with the silver lighter that she's already seen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it, it's good tobacco. Should we step outside? Do you need a moment? I'm going to need several moments if all of this is true, but I think we should go looking for the others. I say it's the 20s. Everybody's hooked everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just casually walk. Because I don't know where they are. One hand in my pocket and the other one working my pipe. Mm hmm. Because it's so my pipe in now. Your pocket and the other one's holding a cigarette? Yep. That's yeah, probably a peace sign. <laughs> That's exactly where my mind went, but I was texting. <laughs> so you guys make it out. You're smoking the pipe. Uh, Eliza Which I will falling. pocket before we get anywhere populated smoking because somebody is liable to recognize it. Yep. And I'll put it out first, of course. I'm not going to put a lit pipe in my fucking pocket. I'm not by that system. time, uh, all that transpired, you were... In the quads, probably heading towards back where you last think they might go? Where would you think they might go? Could either of us hear uh, Bartholomew <laughs> stomping off towards the library or hear that you, racket? You could hear her stomping away, yeah. but the racket itself, no. I'll follow the direction go that I heard the, the stomping map. then. What's that? Can you switch it back to the map? Yeah, I'll follow the direction that I heard the stomping. Do they see anybody running away from the library? I mean, there's people walking in and out. But they're not... We have no reason to suspect that anything's going on. Yep. That's true, I suppose. I have no reason to believe that they are anywhere. (laughs) I don't know know where they went. Uh, I'll... See if I can find anybody around and ask if they've seen, and then I'll describe Bartholomew, and then I'll describe Dr. Mars. And you see a couple of students that were once in the library uh, walking out, and they came up to you. They're like, Yeah, they just, well, I wouldn't even believe it if I didn't see it. Uh, one of them came in, made a huge ruckus. Uh, then they went upstairs, and then the other one tried to slide down a banister and almost fell over. But the guy that made the ruckus grabbed them, and then they sat on each other for a couple seconds. And then they got up, and <laughs> that's the last I saw. I'm sorry, he tried to do what? How delightfully queer. Which part? The ruckus or slide down a banister? That one. 
Which oh, yeah. one tried to do that? The doctor looking. He has glasses on and. Glorious. Glorious. Well, we've learned oh. something about the deer doctor today. We should go and make sure that they haven't killed themselves. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And keeps going. It seemed like Head a good the idea at the time. <laughs> into the library. <laughs> As you see them walking okay. down, uh, the doctor's not as well kept because someone just pulled him back over the banister <laughs> as you had seen him before. Uh, the other one just kind of shaking his head as he's walking down like, really? Really? That, that, that just happened kind of a deal. And that's what you see when you walk in. You two look like you uh, both they, went through Boston Common at 10 o'clock at night. Uh... <sighs> Did you happen to see a girl in a white flower dress head this way? Did I see a girl in a white flower dress head this way, John? You did not. I'm afraid that I didn't. Is well, it important? We, uh... We probably best be on our way anyways. Yeah, we should probably never just come back to this. Quick walk, just quick walking for the door. Like, library you see them anymore? come in and we are just, nope, 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 nope. Turn around <laughs> on the way up. We got banned from the library. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that we're heading to the I'm, farmhouse then. Well, that's where I was trying yeah. to sort out where that might be. Thought maybe a farmer touch one of his students might, you know, how kids get all the local lore, but. Well, Arbitage did tell us that it was a bit west of Ross's Corner. It might be enough to go on. It, yep, probably. At the very least, we can have a chat with the locals. We could just stop at every farmhouse. Good luck with that. Yeah, um, <laughs> just, the, the locals I'm not seem say very just, just, just. Uh, preoccupied. I wouldn't try to talk to any of them. They will nope. check if anyone's going to have a word with them. It probably ought to be you. I'll stay in the Again, car. No we, sh oh, we should also probably get a different car. <laughs> Well, I don't exactly have a car just waiting in a garage. I suppose that you do, Mr. Shuttleworth? Just the one. Just the roller, yes. Is there something wrong with the car? It's a little fancy. I'd say it, uh, Conspicuous it's a little word, I would overt say. for the area, yeah. Well, we must play the hand that we're dealt, after all. Let's get a taxi. I, I don't go outside of town, I'm sure, right? Uh, Pay them enough, you, they will. And you would know from I'd, going here and living here, there are buses that run out that way. Oh, let's take I a bus! A, <laughs> Doc, I reckon getting out there's the easy part. Getting back with a taxi that might... Yes, we should, we should likely take our own vehicle. I don't think that walking back, especially at the hour that we're likely to be walking back in is wise. Perhaps we should get like 95% of the way there and then walk the rest of the way. We could steal a car. She could steal a car. Let's not discuss I appreciate the moxie. Committing but... felonies in front of a how member of the bar association. How long are you talking about this as you're walking we're through the college? We're just quietly discussing. <laughs> just... <laughs> So yeah, basically, I'm so sure that I'm trying to be quiet. Yeah. Just having a conversation. Okay. Let's steal some and... horses. And <laughs> the DM says, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Well, if we just, I say we just keep it simple. We'll take the, take my car. Just, um, yeah, maybe do a little more looking while we've got daylight before we bother anybody. Might be standing well. around. I would say what by if, about now it's about noon. What if we, yeah, what better. if we paint the car a different color? With what? I don't, I don't know. Time is of the essence. Did the GTA stop over there? <laughs> I'm just brainstorming here. <laughs> I, I think that this is getting to be quite Call a silly of conversation. San Andreas. <laughs> and we should just make our way to the Call farmhouse process. Fine, let's go. <laughs> okay. So you guys head out there. A familiar path for two of you. 
Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's a little bit livelier when you get there. Then before we right before we jump in, I'll just lean over to Phineas and be like, maybe not the general store this time. Nope, definitely, <laughs> definitely not. I think on the definitely. way, I'm gonna sit in the back seat. I'm gonna take definitely out my tarot not. cards and like try and read my read the rest of my day. <laughs> read, okay. read our future here for this this uh, whole thing. I'm just going to play devil, those cards. The, tower, light, the lightning struck chariot tower. Chariot reversed. <laughs> Uh, Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, so I just want to I want to sift through my tarot cards. It's a kind of a a nerves thing while I'm sitting in the backseat of this car and we're headed to the farmhouse. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and because I figure you're legitimately trying to absolutely you, uh, and not just trying to nervous get rid of nervous energy. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to legit do it, but I'm definitely going to sift through it anyways out of nervous <laughs> Yep. So on a scale of like 1 to 100, how far are we into this? You are actually probably a little past the halfway. Oh, good. Oh, we're uh, doing a really good We're job. doing much better than I thought we were. <laughs> I thought I we'd like all you, be dead by now, so this is going great. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, you guys bypass some of the stuff, so that, that sped it up. So, And only um, one person has lost a single sanity point. And luck, That's going to change Bob. very quickly. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. For, I mean, you're really good at... You can do just like a cult, because it's... Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that might work. And I would say you have advantage. Because this is you. Still bonus. Oh, the purple one? Yep. Yeah. Purple one. So that's a hard success. Okay. Nice. Is it blue? Because it's above the. Okay. It's plus it doesn't one. say fail. Okay. Yep. So as you're going, your fortune's telling you of potential encounters, potential danger. Uh, I'm trying to remember how tarot cards work in general. Um, <laughs> Good question. I know. I was like, that's not something. It depends that... on who's doing the reading. Sure. It's pretty subjective. Uh, basically, you're. Do I get the vibe that we're all going to die? Not die, but you're not going towards something that's good in, by nature. <laughs> yeah, then whoever's in the backseat with me definitely notices my. I'm getting very nervous as I'm rolling these over and looking at them and examining them. And every time I'm just like, who is in the back seat? It would be either Phineas or sure, Charles. Me. Yeah. I'll yes. guess. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So Phineas, you notice a uh, slight change in the appearance to our normal smiley self. What, what are you doing? Our fortune. We make our own fortune, my dear. I sure hope you're right. Yeah, that's all he has to say about it. He doesn't believe in it, so he just thinks it's superstitious. Okay. And you guys make it to the town. I, by the time that's all I'll, done. I was just, you know, kind of notice in the front. Oh, well, Miss Casey, you, you certainly seem to know your onions when it comes to this spiritual thing. What do the cards hold for us? Danger, mostly. Fantastic. Entirely the unexpected, I'm afraid. As we roll into town, I like lower myself, like so. People... Just... <laughs> <laughs> Bartholomew is doing the grandma <laughs> thing where he's under the wheel. <laughs> like, uh, nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> So are you going to stop, or are you going to keep going through and go a little west? Yep, we'll... Uh, or you we'll, can stop I, and pick I, up provisions. You know, the general store, a gunsmith... I would say, as far as, as, far as <laughs> Bartholomew nice. is concerned, we're going to go look at an old house that a bunch of kids got drunk in, so I... Okay. Unless somebody is very insistent, I'm just going to keep going. Fine with me? Yep, same. Okay, so you go through town, getting stairs... You notice a couple of people that look a little familiar. And you just keep driving by. Nothing happens. 
gonna ignore those two guys flipping the bird on the yeah. <laughs> And you make it out towards, let me look at the road. It's called, I believe it's Old Boone Road. And you see kind of a dilapidated farmhouse off to the right. Hey, it's a farmhouse. Rather abandoned at that. That seems to be the place. Seems to match the description well enough. Is there like a, a path up to a driveway, basically, or uh, yes. like pull off the side of the road and go through, hop a fence, or? Okay, I'll give you kind of a description. The ancient farmhouse sits back away from Boone Road, down an overgrown path. Uh, you note a old dead tree, uh, blackened by lightning strike in years past. Uh, but the path seems manageable. Are we just planning so, to walk I'll, up to this place? Well, I'll pull over next to the path, and as everybody's getting out, I'll open the trunk again and pull out the the shotgun from earlier. You really think we'll need that? Considering the circumstances, what if we, do? what if we don't? That it's probably wise. Oh. And uh, don't I'll shoot also any out. of us. <laughs> And as you step out, it starts to sprinkle a little. And I'll uh, also pull out, let's see, uh, well, I'll kind of lay out some things. There's just some normal car kit in there, a tire iron, a wrench, hammer, uh, mm -hmm. blankets, uh, flashlight. If anybody, if anybody wants anything. I'll certainly grab that flashlight. Yeah. It's probably a lantern. If there's more than one, I would really like a flashlight. <laughs> probably not a flashlight. It's probably a lantern. Lantern. Mm. Well, uh, electric flashlight. Torch. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you'd be, we'll just say from the south down here if you're walking up towards it. Just to kind of give you a visual of what you see. The flashlight was invented in 1899. Damn. So it would have been 1920. They had dry cell. Right, so I what I had for my notes is that it, look the batteries are like half dead and there's no spare bulb, so if you drop it, it's toast. Mm. Right, perfect. I stand corrected. Once again, my ignorance of the turn of the century. By 1922, several types were available: the tubular handheld variety, a lantern style that could be set down for extended right. use. I get it. Pocket sized lamp, <laughs> for work, and large reflector searchlight type. Consider lamp. me educated. Let's go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so yeah, I'll take a flashlight. I'll take a tire iron. And put it right behind my head. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's getting, I'd say by the time you got out there and everything and found it, it's probably getting closer to well, the sun going down because it's in, well, in fall. I believe it, I mean, it's, but it's getting darker and it's as it's raining as well. So just to give you the, it, the house is abandoned. It doesn't look well kept. The rain is picking up a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to, as we're walking up there, just kind of lag back and kind of try to slyly just pull a pair of eyeglasses out of my pocket and put them on and, Hope nobody notices. Okay. Are anybody paying attention to what each other are doing? Are you looking around or? I mean, um, I'm I I'm probably looking around, but like somebody pulling out a pair of eyeglasses wouldn't be like a strange thing okay. for me. Yeah, I don't care what Bartholomew's wearing. Yep, I think I'm feeling a little too paranoid right now to be. <laughs> caring about everybody else. So which way is the front? The bottom? Yeah, okay. you're heading this way. I, yeah. right, so are you going to search around the house or just in general, just walk up towards it? Uh, I'm going to head up toward the house because I feel like what's going on inside is more important than what's going on outside. Okay, so you're not really paying attention to what's going on through the rain. You're just trying to get to... I'm trying to get inside so I'm not getting rained on. Yeah. That's correct. Fair enough. Everyone else? Same. 
Same. And I'll have a, a glance back and forth and then kind of at least once or twice turn around and look back down the path, but basically just following the group, yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and do a spot hidden for me, uh, Snorri. Ooh. Okay. Saucy. Uh, you notice uh, all the overgrown vegetation, but you also kind of see a pot with some vegetables. And then um, that's that's about all as you're going through. Where where is that? Up by the house or just off? Off the side. Okay. Are they rotted or fresh? They're fresh. Oh. Hey, uh we might might want to do the neighborly thing and knock. I'll just kind of gesture this is over towards that, that thing. <laughs> just what? gesture towards that the the basket of fresh vegetables and well it's a this plot. place it, it's yeah. not there's well, not a basket, it's a garden. Okay, well just kind of point over and say uh Does the house this, look abandoned? If this had sat empty for fifty years, those wouldn't be here. Does the house it looks look? like it hasn't been kept up it doesn't look like it's been run down like things are getting in and out of it uh it may have been used by students in the past for you know parties or whatever or, you know or it's evil good, rituals you know yeah, as you that could happen too or it frolicking <laughs> yes just like the library it, it could tutoring i mean it could have all happened tutoring you could have had a evil seance while frolicking, you know. Those things do tend to go hand in hand. So I guess I'll knock on the door then instead of opening it. Okay, it sounds kind of hollow in there. Uh, you don't hear any movement. Uh, off to the left side, you just see like I just you're on the porch. You see, basically, all the way the left side is all tall grass. And there's Pokemon past, in there. I was like, I go and past the garden. You see, while the garden was maintained, past it has tall grass as well. So the garden is like maintained and tilled and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, as tilled as it could be back then, it wasn't. It's not like it's super well maintained, but the the veggies are definitely someone is clearly showing care and actually tending to this plot not just letting it overgrow got it it could be someone that's living off the land nobody nobody answered no one answered i'll try i assume assume this is this is the door this is Uh, the door yeah Yeah. that is that a window to just to the side of it we can look through it is a window uh on the on the porch this one. Oh looks, yeah. Is this actually <laughs> yeah. broken, or is that just the map? It's just the map. Okay. I didn't have time to. Yeah, I'd to sure. Have no, a look. I, 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 that's why I asked. Yeah. Have a look through the window there, and. Uh, there's no light except for what little's coming through. Uh, from the moon, uh, which isn't a whole lot with it raining. So I'll step up to this window and see if I can shine my flashlight in and get a little peek. Okay. Uh, the tables, you could actually do a spot hidden. I would love to give you a spot hidden. Ba, ba, ba. Well done. Oh, nice. Uh, the table's dusty. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. <clears throat> uh, some chairs are kind of on the side, not up next to it. It doesn't look like anybody's been inside in a while. Yeah. This place looks rather abandoned. I think we should be able to just have a walk inside and have a look around. Okay, I will try to open the door. And it electrocutes it. No. Uh, it <laughs> opens. <laughs> the door explodes and so do you. Nice. Plan. Unlocked, it just opened? It just opened. No locks. Hello? No answer. 
doesn't appear to be anybody home. Well, let's have a look around then. Maybe we'll be able to find something. Okay. Please get out of this rain. Indeed. And I will cross the threshold and head inside electric torch in hand. Okay. <laughs> so I know this is probably just a map, but the porch area here has just like a single chair in the middle of the area. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like somebody was being tortured there. <laughs> We have ways of making you talk, Mr. Bond. It's just a chair. Yeah, but what about the chair? (laughs) As you guys get in, the rain picks up even more. Oh, fuck me. That scared me. (laughs) When I walk in, I'm going to ask Charles if I can go ahead. Can I borrow your lighter? I'll hand her the flashlight instead. That won't help. I'll give it right back. What do you have a lantern or something on you? I'm gonna look pockets. around and no. see if there's any candles or anything inside or if wood like, in the fireplace, anything. What can I do for you, dear? Take the sage out and just ask him to light that. I give you a quizzical look as you're just handing me an herb. <laughs> and then I'll shrug and pull out the silver lighter and as you're all talking, I need you all to make a listen roll. Oh, hey, I'm pretty good. A though. listen roll? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I did not expect to succeed at that. Oh. Okay. So, Charles and Phineas, <coughs> you hear a bit of scratching, scuttling. Uh, and scurrying noise under the floor. Do you hear that? Rats. Does it sound like rats? Uh, make an intelligence. Sure. Rats in a barn. You want intelligence or education? Uh, would you have been around rats at any point? Probably not a ton, although I've lived in some pretty bad places. Uh, I would I'm say, going with intelligence. Though, yeah, idea. I'd say see if you were, you would know what this. Nice. Okay. It is not rats. Whatever, you would know that. Whatever it is, it's coming from downstairs. So I perhaps. Bartholomew and Eliza don't hear anything. They just hear the rain as it's hitting the roof. Whatever that is, that's too big to be a rat. Uh, can I investigate the fireplace? Yes. I was, yeah, I was actually just gonna head over there and see if there was anything to light. I wanna see if there's uh, anything around, that Look around for burnt. candles, wood in the fireplace, anything to light, get a get more light in here or start a fire. In the fireplace, there's just a very little bit of wood left. It looks like someone, whoever left it, left it to burn itself out, and it's just what remains. Okay. Uh, there is a used candle over here. Uh, probably one last long, but it'll give you some light. Is there anything in the stove other than coals? Nope. There's, but was, there is a stairway uh, over here. We see the stairway. That's up. And then up. over Yeah. And this, this will be a... Uh, I didn't have it on here, but a... Basically something to go to the cellar. Oh. I, the cellar, there's a cellar door here. Okay. I didn't yeah. know if that was the same. Okay, so this it, is going up, but to go down... There's a cellar door. There's a cellar door. <laughs> It's reasonable to have a cellar door in the kitchen because you could use the cellar as a larder. That's what it's there for. Do we want to check upstairs or go downstairs and see what that sound was? Well, I'll, I'll look to Bartholomew with the shotgun. I'm over. I just lit a candle and just kind of, you know, got. I've got the shotgun broke over my arm and turn around and um, who didn't have a light? Uh, Me. Eliza raises her hand. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I I thought you had the flashlight. Who? I have the flashlight. She handed it. Yeah, I wasn't flashlight. sure if there right. was I'm, a second one. So. I'll, I'll I'll hand this to Eliza. And, so that way you've got a light. So who uh, was looking in the kitchen? Just uh, Bartholomew, and everyone yeah. else was you out. Said, okay. You said there was a. You said there was a, still a candle over there on that Correct. sideboard. So and. When you were over here looking at the uh, door, you notice a bloody or muddy footprint. <laughs> Which was it? It's That's a, a very way. important <laughs> distinction. <laughs> it's dark, and he hasn't done a spot hidden. Oh. That's not, I wouldn't have noticed that I noticed that when I... Uh, you, so you noticed a footprint. Noticed a footprint? That looks discolored in All some right, way. I'll hand it. I'll hand the candle to Eliza. And, and there was no light over there. Yeah. Can you? It's like bring that over here. I have lit sage now too, and I'm like just going around the house too. Mm -hmm. Just be gone, evil, <laughs> and gotta go help or with the light over there. Smells like sausages Smells in awful. here. <laughs> <laughs> it is an improvement. But yeah, I'll bring the candle over and help with the looking at the. Footprint. Yeah, I, if he if he mentions her to go over there, I'll go over with him. I'll go see okay. what all the ruckus is about. <laughs> okay. Can you describe the ruckus? It is a muddy footprint <laughs> from the red soil outside. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> but it it is. Is um, it? Is it fresh? Is it wet or dry? Is yeah? Is it wet or it's dried? Fresh. Oh. It's fresh. Okay. Get, get that gun of yours handy. Mr. Mr. Shutterworth. Yeah, I'm going to kind of lean down and, you know, touch it with my fingers, realize it's it's still wet and well, kind of motion to the I'll just kind of motion to the others. After you. Just remember, we're actually the intruders here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm moved back towards the the center of the first floor and well, in this case, if we're being technical, my client purchased this farmhouse and never relinquished it. So as legal agents of his, we are not in fact the intruders here. Whoever's there living you, here is There you go. Good enough for me. Well, Chuck, <laughs> At least you might want to do things in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Chuck, you might want to tell them that. I don't think they know. And then I'm just gonna holler, you know. Anybody here? I'll be sure to inform them with extreme prejudice. <laughs> no response. Into the is storm? there just the one footprint, or does is there like a trail or anything to determine directionality? I uh, you could tell it was they were heading down there that they might have been watching. Is the you. cellar door like a trapdoor hatch that you pull up, or? and then you would have stairs going down? Is the footprint? Yeah leading into or out of the stairs? Into. Okay. <laughs> I'll pull the hatch up and shine my flashlight down there. Okay. All you see is stairs going down into a cellar. Mr. Shuttleworth, if you'd be so kind to lead the way, I will light the way ahead of you. Uh, yep. Gonna quickly check the safeties off. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Is that thing loaded? Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll rack, I'll just, you know, rack the action back so you can see that there is a shell chambered. So it's a pump shotgun, not a top brick? Yeah. No, he, he said, okay. or you said earlier you had it broken over your arm. So and I assume so it's... Just, yeah, I, I meant to say, I was just kind I of cradling it, was it like a, that. Uh, yeah. Either a double barrel, or like a coach gun where thing. the barrels are vertically aligned. No, it's a M1897. Oh, five, okay. You know, five now. round choke. So mm -hmm. yeah. All right. But it's loaded with twelve gauge buckshot. I'll certainly put a hole in somebody. Oh, it won't tickle. Yeah, no kidding. So, Down into the yeah, cellar then. 
he's if he's shining the spotlight down the I am down steps or down a ladder steps 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 yeah I'll take a couple of steps down and kind of listen a couple more steps you have about 10 more steps to hit the bottom just muttering under my breath I don't like this I don't like this I just you know once again anybody's here Make yourself known. Nothing. Take a couple of more steps so that they can, if I'm guessing with there's stairs, that sort of wedge shape, so whoever's down there can see the barrel of the gun. Okay. In the, in the light. We need you to do a spot hidden. Yeah, I guess we're all going down then, huh? Uh, if I mean, you it's want single, to, it's single file. Yeah. Oh, barely. By the okay. skin of your teeth. <laughs> okay. You see, it. you see footsteps heading down in a way, uh, but you don't see anybody. Can I still hear that scritching, or is it gone? Uh, you don't hear it. Well, yeah, you don't hear it. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I would say. Uh, Mr. Carrington, if you don't mind, and just kind of reach towards the flashlight and squat down so I can aim the light in the same direction as the barrel. I'll pass it to him. But I guess this point, I, you know, I can't shoulder it like this, so I'm just, it would be like a hip fire. Mm-hmm. Just kind of scan back and forth from the stairs. Okay. See if I see anything. Move suit. Just to see what I see down there at this point. Yep. In the cellar, uh, you see some chairs, a box with old tools, a broken table, but you don't see anybody. It it, it looks like it's kind of a hodgepodge mix of things that are probably broken or weren't in use. Hmm. We don't see anything down there? Anybody, I mean? Is it a single room? It's a large room, but well, yes. Yeah. That's okay. You know, I stand up. I'll stand back up and pass in the light back and just walk down the stairs because I didn't see anything. Okay. I'll take it I'll and follow after him. It looks, in, looks empty. I will mm, need both of you to make a spot hidden hard. Good luck, us. Guidance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no such luck on me. Ooh. And no such luck for Snorri either. So that was a, an extreme would have got it, but no. No, that he said hard. Oh, no. Uh, hard, hard, yeah. But you hard. rolled an 80 for your first one, so. Yep. Yeah, no. That's yeah. So, happening. actually, you should probably re-roll that because it, there's no telling which one of those is supposed to be the right one. I would imagine that you would just follow convention like it is on the 5e sheet and go from left to right. Yep. Oh, okay. I think so. Yeah. Only 1d okay. 100. Yeah. So, you guys don't oh. see anything. Mm-hmm. So I Are you guess guys I'll, at the bottom? I'll go down behind them. <laughs> I haven't seen anything to get me to stop, so okay. I'll just stay behind Bartholomew. Yeah. So, are you guys at the bottom? Like, where on the steps are you? Mr. I just walk toward walk to the bottom. Okay. And I would stop. I would stop at the bottom. Okay. And as soon as, as soon as my feet hit dirt at the bottom and do another kind of you know another look around. Okay. And Charles, would you been on the step above him? Yes, with the flashlight sweeping to help. Okay. Look around. And Phineas, right behind him on the stairs. All right. And Eliza, upstairs. <laughs> Eliza's like, near the this shit, door, I'm out. But not, not downstairs. Not on my, uh, not on the steps. Do, do I get like, a spot hidden also roll for my super paranoid down upstairs? upstairs. <laughs> uh, it would be a hard, yeah. No, I did not succeed a hard roll. Okay. You uh, could spend 17 luck to make that. I could, I'm going to do that because I have a shit ton <laughs> of luck. I'm going to spend 17 luck. Uh, you're about 
almost 40 down at this point, right? I have no, I did, um, you didn't Snorri oh, spent wait. 15. Fixio yeah. hasn't spent any yet. I have He's 80. No, I pushed. That's not, that's not the same uh, yeah, 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 never mind. Yeah, you pushed. Yeah, so okay. 80 minus 17 is... 63. 63. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. You, at the last second, see someone, but I do need Charles and Bartholomew to make a strength as someone tries pushing right past you. Oh. Or something. What? Well, I guess I wasn't ready. That makes... Can I try and hit him with the? Because I was carrying the tire iron. Uh, we'll see if he gets. Are they, you are, okay. Are they pushing? Are they pushing back? Oh, they're trying to go up the stairs. They're, they're trying, trying to push to... past us and get upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I guess I I wasn't ready. No, because you guys didn't see anything. Well, I got a success. No. Nope. Okay. Through some strange miracle. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it gets past Bartholomew, and he runs directly into you, slowing him down. But you see a frantic-looking human trying to escape. He doesn't look sane. Do you let him keep going, or do you stop him? Can I hear this from on top of the steps? Uh, I guess you if he, would if he's like kind of. I'm gonna close the hatch door. Shoulder. What? 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 <laughs> the trap door downstairs. I'm closing it so he can't come back up. So he can't come upstairs. Oh, you're trapping us in here with him? I'll open it back That's up. Beautiful. Just figure out who this person is first. Uh, or catch him, so he doesn't come up here and murder us. Or me. I love. No, just like, yeah, say just an <laughs> <laughs> So if, if uh. If he'd have, like shoulder checked me on the way, on the way past, did that knock me over or? It would. I would say it knock you back, probably. Knock you aside at least. Yeah. Uh, I, I will probably let him I, go I, by. I probably would have squeezed it. Uh, he feels like uh, seven points. Oh yeah, no, you would just be pushed back away. Okay. And you said you're letting him go by. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a strange look, but I'm not gonna, like, physically interdict this guy, because I am not a physical person. I, I, easy! I probably easy! I probably good would've fellow. hollered out. Uh, like, hey, we're not here to hurt you or anyone else. What the hell? Gut reaction? I'm gonna try and clobber him on the head with the... <laughs> we're not here to hurt you or iron. anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just gut reaction. I would try and clobber him. I'm going to need a fighting... Roll. No. You Yikes. swing and you miss. He ducks under and just kind of. Isn't it opposed? Isn't it a fighting brawl versus their dodge or something? I don't remember. It depends on if he's fighting back or if he's dodging. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's just running. If he's dodging, then he would make a dodge check, and the only way that would hit is if he failed worse than you. <laughs> He'd have to roll like a ninety-eight. <laughs> That's real quick. Okay. Um, yes. Did it not? I thought I hit. Oh. Um, is it not letting me type that? Okay. That didn't actually set up. Please. Uh, you should be able to just grab the dice on the left tool and oh, uh, yeah, there's D100 on there. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh. Yep. I uh, miss. Yeah. Yeah. No fucking way. <laughs> so, so he just dodges and he makes a mad just, dash. Yeah, but the uh, door's too now fast. Closed. Eliza, I need you to make a dex. Actually. Okay. Dex works. Dex works. <laughs> As he gets to the top, the, it shuts, but he's going to keep going. So I'm going to need you to use strength to keep it close. Oh. Okay. You slam the door on this guy, and he just doesn't care, and he barely. Right? Can I at least bob him on the head? With... <laughs> well, you you closed it, it as he was going up. Oof. 
Yeah. Let me do... Bonk him on the head with it? It... Let me look at his strength here real quick. Oh god. Uh... It... It opens. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gone berserk. I, I would imagine his strength is pretty good. Going. Yeah, no, he's insane. Just, oh, she didn't have a chance insane. to latch it or anything. It's just... And he's got a full steam under him. Yup. So, think... you... you It opens, you get pushed back a little. Can I take out my handgun and try and, like, intimidate him with it? Uh... I don't want to shoot him. I just want to be like... Sir? Sir? <laughs> I want to <laughs> intimidate him with a handgun. Okay. Let's see... So it'd be probably fast talk for you to try and do that. I will give you advantage. Would it be fast talk or would it be intimidate? All right. Are you trying to intimidate or are you just trying to? Technically, yes, but okay. I have a check mark in fast talk. So, <gasps> well, you know. Well, you can do intimidate. And I'll give you advantage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that one to go well. <laughs> wow. Just keeps going. Not even. He doesn't <laughs> even acknowledge the work. Yeah. This, he doesn't even acknowledge you and runs out the door. Didn't even come close. I I am picking myself up and right back up the stairs after him. Okay. So um, making sure everybody's okay on the way, but okay. I like to the top, and I'll just look at Eli. Just runs by you. Can I shoot him in the leg? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love uh, it. Okay, the for the first the person to shoot somebody in the game, I would not have picked. <laughs> oh, I you would don't have. know me very well, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have too. I mean, character-wise. Oh, well, fair. Okay, I would say... Because he rushed past you. I just really you, don't want him. Yeah, I don't want knock, him to leave. Knocked you back. I would say firearms, but I would say it'd be difficult. Oof. Because he's manically kind of just getting away. Right. So what does that mean? Just roll the purple one. Yeah. Just no, 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 no roll you the green roll one. Green one, but you're and doing the your middle. Your success value. result has to be hard or extreme or critical. Oh. Okay. A regular success won't cut it. Okay. How does a fail do? <laughs> That's. <laughs> Not so good. You shoot the wall. Uh, some wood splinters off. He's out in the rain. Yeah, I think that's the extent of my time. <laughs> Who was that? Yeah. I would have heard the shot and yeah, just bounded right up the stairs. Mm -hmm. I... You see Eliza with her gun and she looks panicked. She's it's like, I panicked. I'm... I just didn't. He left. It's all right. It's all right. Where'd he go? Up the door. Trying to hit him with so the, the door was a good idea. He didn't look. Uh, the the door we came in, or the kitchen side door. Uh, kitchen side door. It was the quickest out. Just so okay. you know, something was wrong with him. I think. Yeah, he didn't seem. He was manic. Insane. I didn't get a good look, so I'll throw the door. As the door's closed, I assume he didn't close it behind him? Nope. So rain is coming in a little bit. Yeah, but I'll, I'll kind of just stand in the doorway and look around. You said it was all tall grass there, so I'm looking for grass that's laid over or any motion in it. Uh, you see it it's going raining, side so. to side, but it's raining. Yeah, it's raining and windy, so probably. But I'll close. Yeah, I'll close the door again, and I'm gonna grab that chair that's there in the middle of the kitchen and wedge it up against underneath the door. Okay. Keep him from coming back in. Uh, let's do what we're here to do then. Indeed. Where the hell did he come from? In the basement, presumably. I saw him standing there, and you... Did you not? I didn't see a thing. 
unfortunately. And I got my cheaters on. He was too quick for me. Yes, and he seemed too manically strong for me to hold for very long. <laughs> me too. Well, let's let's go on then. Whatever happened to him robbed him of all his mental faculties. I couldn't even get a word in edgewise with him. He was just gone. We should do what we came to do here and quickly. He was hiding down here for some reason. We should search this cellar, give it a thorough once over, see if we can find anything. When we pulled open the door, the trap door, it wasn't like there's nothing barring it or there was no sort of lock. Like he wasn't trapped down there from what we can tell. No. He okay. ran to hide. He was just down there. Okay. And the scratching yeah, you were hearing were him basically hiding within the items down there. Okay. To the best of his ability. Yeah, let's go down and search the basement. We found your rat, Mr. Carrington. It seems so. Yeah, but... He was certainly scurrying like one, wasn't he? Oh. Once again into the breach, then, and I'll head back down the stairs. Okay, I will need you... Same all... same marching order? Yep. Yep. Okay, Eliza, you going down? Yep, but <laughs> okay. I'll be last. <laughs> okay, once you all get down there, I need you to make a spot hidden. Okay. I'm also okay. not putting away my gun. This is my, my safety net right now. I love that stand. Yeah, I think we're taking a better look around. I'm definitely taking a better look around now. Okay. I've just got the flashlight and I'm helping people. Yep. Uh, those who succeed, one of you end up finding a lantern, and the other one across the way ends up finding a couple wicks and some oil. Let's put this to use then. I will all fill the oil with the lantern with the oil and the wick. Okay. And I'll light it with my lighter. Thank you, my friend. Anytime, right. Dr. Burns. So now you have an active lantern. And that's all you find of any use down there. Uh, upstairs, then? Is there any... You said there's a broken table. Broken just... chairs, tipped over chairs. Broken chairs. Nothing. Nothing. Of... Nothing yeah. to maybe break off a, a chair leg and make a torch with, or? Nope. No actual, like, fabric. Yeah, what makes a torch work is you have some, like, cotton or wicking or some material that you soak in oil. We had, so the oil yeah, has to burn off. We had a bit of oil for the wick. lantern. Yeah. I have lots of fabric. <laughs> yeah, that you do. I mean, I could, I, if, if that's, like, a genuine thing you want to try, I should... I would gladly rip part of the skirt. Ooh. Would we be able to have yeah, enough oil for the lantern and make a torch is the, the question. That would, I would allow one of you to make an intelligence to see if you could I'll do figure it. that out. Yeah, I would do that. I'll okay. do it. Go ahead. Nice. You would have, oh, it would allow nice. for a torch for you would ex assume roughly two and a half hours. But cool. that would limit the lantern to two and a half hours as well. You could split the oil for maybe a, a couple of hours. It would give us a light for a couple of hours each. I don't know about y'all, but I do not plan to stay here that long. I, no. I agree. I agree entirely. All right, so we'll make them torch. Make it so. Yeah, so I'm going to rip just like a strip of the skirts, one of the skirts, <laughs> and, um, okay. and I'll, give it to them to assemble the torch. Yeah, I'll extinguish More the light, lamp, the better. dip it, and then wrap it around a piece okay. of wood. So now you have two and a half hours worth of light that you know of right now. Right. Plus whatever and, the battery life of the flashlight is. Correct. Okay. And the small candle that I have. It's probably super low. Yeah. It's getting lower. Yeah. We, right. we all say, have light. I would say, yeah, give. Okay. So. Hooray. You have the upstairs. Hey. And then you have the first floor. And then 
upstairs. Upstairs then. We didn't find much on the first floor, so I suppose that going upstairs is the next logical conclusion indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't believe we didn't find anything in the basement. Well, we found the man. We had right. been driven quite mad. Hiding in the basement. Uh, it was storming Didn't outside. Perhaps the anybody lightning in a scared hole him. with a basket and lotion. God damn it! <laughs> That's frightening, <laughs> sir, and also likely illegal. But mostly frightening. Would you? Fuck Haven't me? been to the cinema lately, have you? I'd fuck me. What's the cinema? <laughs> Pick so you guys friends. head upstairs? Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> at all speed away from this conversation. <laughs> I'm just was wondering how far you were gonna go with that, and then, and then it going? went all the way, and then some. Now I know what type of people you are. Good to know. We watch good movies. I, as we go through, I check the kitchen for any cans of fava beans or maybe a nice candy. All right, upstairs. <laughs> Psych damage. Um, so Snorri is just burning through his sanity left and right. Yes. And he's so, on with the shotgun. Fuck. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you head upstairs. I'll say, um, I'll say for uh, for all of his bluster um, and DM, you could have them make a. If anybody's looking, but. He has got uh, not just the shotgun in his hand, but he's actually got a rosary wrapped around that hand as well. I would say they're probably a little distracted at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to notice that. <laughs> so, so we're moving upstairs, upstairs, upstairs then. Upstairs. Yes, second floor. Okay. okay, you head and upstairs. Just with the, uh, our, our earlier encounter already. I'm definitely sweeping the floor looking for any more footprints. Okay. Make a I think spine. I'm also listening a lot more. Yeah, I'm going to be listening movements. more than looking. And I can't see squat. Okay. Yeah. Can I and I'll do also look around or Yep. Nope. And is there a listen? Yes, there is a yeah. listen. Okay. The two that are listening. Nope. <laughs> Did Eliza want to spend five luck to make that a success? Yeah, actually. Okay. Okay, yes. Do you hear some noise above? Not directly above, but probably in the attic. I, I do this. And then I point up. I mean, I think we're at probably on the second floor mm. stairs. I would now. say you're probably or, up this, getting yeah. towards it. So, so basically, gonna, right above you. Just mime right, it. So this is, yeah, it's around where, the stairs to the second floor, but there's an attic above that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was where the gin was supposed to be trapped by the wards. Correct. So you yeah. hear movement up there. And I'm just gonna. I don't like the sound of that. Not one bit. This music is too spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Re spook five me. Yep. So would you like to search around? Yeah. I've got the, yes, the torch absolutely. and the shotgun. Yeah. I'm gonna we'll head go. to the I've top got my flashlight and, and I'm scanning. And look around, yeah. Yep. Okay. Those who look around, I need a spot hidden. Roger. Ooh, nice. Constant, constant fails. Okay. I hate this house. Right, <laughs> 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 okay, I'm trying to. The two have, have regular successes. Uh, you notice. A, like there was a bed up there, uh, a table that had some, it looks like uh, tins of tea. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there's a silver tea set. 
long tarnished at this point. Oh, yeah. Probably not worth anything. Uh, you also see the steps leading to the uh, the uh, attic. Oh, God. There's another one. The ladder for that. For that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, behind that is, you see, like, some little lumber, like, if you were to throw in to keep warm. Very open mm. floor plan, huh? Yes. Uh, a little paint, some wallpaper, totally flip this place. For Bartholomew, you notice hitting, like, really weird, like, you just kind of see a little gleam from the light off your torch, hits something a little shiny. Fuck that noise effect! Fuck it right in the ass! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Vince? You're feeling a little jumpy. No! Yes! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Fuck you! I'm sorry, you're not my type. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna kind of pause and move the... towards it. Pause okay. the top stair. You said it's... You guys were up searching already, uh, but it kind of yeah. catches your eye. It's away from the attic, uh, closer to the bed, but it's like under, like it was purposely hidden. Uh, yeah, I'll go look at it. Okay. Uh, you see a trunk. A what? Trunk. Trunk. Oh, yeah. I heard drone. That I was heard, I heard, I heard charm. I heard drum. <laughs> Yeah, I, I heard drum. I was like, oh, a drum. I can be mildly back to annoying. Let me certain sound here um, real quick. I can be mildly trunk. annoying. <laughs> now, you seem to have found something, Mr. Shuttleworth. Indeed. And for uh, everyone would have remembered hearing about said trunk in the notes, the journal. Mm. Yeah. What was what was that, Mr. Carrington? Well, I'll shuffle through my notes and the letters to see what they said about the trunk. Okay. Basically, they had it and put ruins on it to keep the entity out of it, but it had stuff to put it back where it's supposed to be. This it seems the, to be what we need to dispel that creature upstairs. Supposedly. If you believe all of that. O's. Okay, so y'all so are searching. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll let's try to lift this trunk I'll try open. to like try to lift the lid. It's a it's a heavy the, duty trunk. The end of the shotgun. Yeah. See if it's locked or it's not. Uh I'd like you to do a spot hidden for me. They check for traps. Nope. Oh, I brought okay. the tire iron. Wouldn't... Could we pry it open? Uh, he said it is open. Oh. I just said I'd I just, I just, to do a I just nudged hidden. the lid. I just, like, put the barrel of the shotgun up against the latch and lifted the lid. Oh. <laughs> Were you checking for traps? <laughs> we didn't, and... That might have yeah, been a good idea. A, okay. Uh, a, just looks like a normal. Fail. Looks normal. Uh, you open it. Yep. And then yeah. within the contents, uh, you see six folded black robes. <gasps> a, okay. Cigar box. And a sheath, sheath of yellowed papers. And then I will give you what the yellow papers. At least part of it. I'm gonna put on a robe. We got. What are you doing? We might there need. There you go. We might need a disguise. From whom? <sighs> the man who just ran out into the woods. Twenty third March, eighteen seventy seven. Don't know why I'm putting this down on paper. It's probably a bad idea, but I feel the need to leave. Now, looking at the paper, does it look like a uh, a page torn from Rupert's book? Nope. 
completely okay. different. Okay. I don't know why. It's probably a bad idea, but I feel the need to leave some kind of explanation for my actions and intent. When I took the sarcophagus from my uncle, I did not think it would be missed. I expected to be able to research it and return it later. I was such a fool. Despite believing in the powers O powers O tried to summon. What? Uh, uh where are we at? I was looking ahead. Uh we is it just we tried to summon? Yeah, probably. Okay. Anyway. Despite believing in the powers we tried to summon, now Robert is dead and Harold a madman. I'm going back to the farmhouse to organize things. I dread stepping foot again in that place, but I must make sure that our materials will be available again when we need them. Since the others are too shaken to attempt a banishment of the creature, I can only hope that that thing hasn't had the power to remain in our reality for more than a few hours or days. At least it's bound to the house itself. I shall search for a means to destroy it before the last of us passes from the world and its release from the house. I believe I know where I can find the knowledge. I need to drive the creature away without assistance from the others. I hear tales of mystics in New Orleans that know of much of the true magics of the world. I am leaving the gold box in Rupert's care. I told him not to sell it or have it appraised by anyone shit, but, but did not tell him why. He also seems puzzled by my instance not to live in Boston. But I believe he trusts my judgment not to go into danger unwittingly. Well, we don't. My uncle does not know about our Dark Brotherhood, so Rupert and the others will be safe from anyone looking for it. I'll be back to put things right again. Marion Allen, P.S. I write this before I close the lid on the trunk. The thing is still in the attic of the house. It seemed to recognize me and spoke foul curses at me. I will carve protective wards on the trunk to prevent and, and eat. Uh oh. Tampering <laughs> with its contents just in case. Uh oh. <laughs> we didn't break anything. We the wards are still there. All we did was open it. Mm -hmm. And, and you said there was a cigar box? There is. Well, I'll, I'll crack that open. Check oh, it for before we do runes. that. I would say, before we do that, it's been like another couple of hours. Is there anybody needs to do a break? I wouldn't we mind might want five. to. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd say we're, we're getting close. Getting close to the end? We're, I mean, I'd say probably an hour. Oh. Depending on how last. things go. Yeah. Our, let's go ahead, I'd say let's go ahead and take a quick two, two or three minutes. And... Sure. Yeah. I'm down. Sounds All right, good to let's me. Do it. Remember, don't shut off your camera. Yes. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay. Jackson. Got it. If you need flaming hot Cheetos, just step to the left. <laughs> Jesus. <it. laughs> or cover it with thing. I mean, Jesus. I apologize.
it true. We all survived. Huzzah! That None of us fell to madness on the way back from the bathroom. That's the yeah, whole I probably game. broke my camera, though. We beat the game, guys. Congratulations. We won. <laughs> Take that, swear, evil but... boss. Take that, keeper of arcane lore. <laughs> there they are. Here we are. Gathered once again to sin against the dark or fall to it, as we do. When we left off, we were getting to the cigar box. We were? Yes. Okay. So within the cigar box, uh, inside you see a small metal canister containing a coarse and brownish powder and a smaller wooden box with a sliding lid. Is there any markings on the box, or is it just it's plain? Just a old How to box. instructions? No, on the metal box inside of me. Press nope. here to dispel demon. Oh god, it's Ikea pictograms. We're all dead. There's like 80 extra screws. Yep. And you're missing a nut. One of us is going to have to... Wrench that doesn't well, the fit. nut ran outside. We <laughs> couldn't keep him in. <laughs> but you're not missing him? This Can't say I am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so did, did you want to look the, within the... The, the brownish powder, is there like a stopper or something on it? Nope. I want to examine the tin before I look inside it. I okay. want to examine oh, yeah. the is it, trunk. I wanted to kind of give the powder a whiff, see if I could identify it. Okay, I would need you to do a... Chemistry or... Pharmacy. Ooh, I could do pharmacy too. Mm, but he's the one sniffing. Right, I know. I'm just telling you. Uh, God. I think pharmacy is not a, a typical. Pharmacy, I don't have that. It's not or a chemistry. It's not a typical. Okay, science. Skill. So. I'm just looking at the what, notes. What the fuck is this music? What is that? So, if you haven't put any points in science, its default rating is 1%. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't. The best I have is, like, I have a medicine at 1%. So, maybe I just hand it to the doctor. Oh, let me let me look at this. Can I examine the powder? Hey, mm -hmm. hey Doc, what do you make of this? Now, I have medicine, I have science, biology, and I have pharmacy. Pharmacy. Okay. I can't make heads or tails of it. Oh, you're not going to push that? You learned your lesson? <laughs> no. no. I'm not going to push it. Okay. Can I examine the trunk to see if I can see these wards? Uh, go ahead and do a spot him with advantage because you know they're somewhere there. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Yep, you see the wards as he etched it around. Hmm. I don't know what they do, but they're here. I'm still looking at the tin box, trying to mm -hmm. see if there are any markings on it or if it's just plain. No markings. It almost looks like a tin box that you would have certain, like you would keep powder in. Like snuff mm -hmm. box? Along those lines, yeah. I'll, I'll open the lid. Okay. And then it explodes and we all die. <laughs> Take a snuff yeah. of that. 
and within the uh, smaller box is a silvery talcum powder like substance. I can, can I take a look at that as well? Yep. Pharmacy? Yep. I am, however, going to spend the 11 luck to do that. Okay. So in this game, when you're running low on luck or when you're out of luck, you're just out of luck? Like, it's not... Correct, it doesn't refer Not impending doom, okay. <laughs> you're just yeah, no, it's luck. not you're like Monster of the Week, of where right. when That's... all of your luck is gone, the uh, Keeper has carte blanche to shit on you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the Keeper just already has to... carte blanche to shit on you in this game, they don't need the help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Silvery Falcon Powder defies even your item identification. Motherfucker. Does he get the luck powder? back for not making you cough? Nope. Ooh. The powdery substance is somewhat like graphite, and it adheres to the skin. Oh, interesting. That, that's what he's learned from it. So. Can I and... taste it? Oh. Ooh. Sure. Trying to poison himself. Does this taste like chloroform to you? <laughs> or demons. <laughs> Does this taste like a demon? I can't tell. Do we have powders, papers, and robes? And this is supposed to be what we use to banish the fiend? While they're while they're rooting around, I'm just gonna kind of slowly circle around the the floor and keep looking. Are the rest of the paper like pages blank, or do they have anything on them as far as the ritual stuff? Uh, you could search. Uh, I would like to search through these paper through this paperwork. At the bottom of the chest, away from, it looks like there's a folded up piece of paper, uh, purposely hidden uh, beneath like the robes and such. Well, I'm gonna grab that. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. And I'm going to drop it on the ground. What, okay. What is that? Telling you guys, there's danger in this house. It's, it appears to be Latin. Uh, See one very familiar word on well. there. Okay. Uh, I can imagine which word that might be. Yep, I'm going to tell them as much as I can about what's in this paperwork because I have a feeling that I, as someone who knows occult things, knows a bit about the word that I can never pronounce and haven't been able to pronounce for the past two years since I've known this word. Yeah. Um, but I definitely recognize it. Narlathotep, that one, specifically. Narlathotep? Narlathotep? I can't pronounce Narlathotep. it. Narlathotep. <laughs> that yeah. one. Okay. Uh, is someone going to try to... I'll give one person the ability to try to translate. I have language other Latin. Perfect. You get advantage. Oh, good. <laughs> what would you like him to roll for that? Uh, language. I believe. Okay. Yep. Roll your Latin. Fuck! <laughs> Not good. Even so, though, I don't need to translate it. I can just wait, tell wait, wait. them. Seven, that I have seven that. luck. I can use seven yep. luck. There you go. <laughs> okay. I have, guys, I have so much luck. I had 80 luck. <laughs> you had 80 luck. What do you have left? 45. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen when that runs out. We will find out, won't we? <laughs> we we'll find out next time. <laughs> okay. So, you, 
you take a minute to start translating. Are you going to tell them about the Nilathotep? Yeah, I'll read it. I mean, I'll read, I'll try and translate well, it. And, and Okay. And here you go. According to this, it says, O oh, spirits, you, I exercise by the power, wisdom, and virtue, by the divine knowledge, by the dark void, and by the name of the old ones, the root, trunk, source, and origin of all of the other divine names, whence, th whence they all draw their life and their power. I exercise you by the name Nylor Nyorlathotep. I s <laughs> Signifying the most excellent bringer of wisdom. His majesty so high and brighter than the stars of all the void, I exercise you by the most powerful name of Azathoth. All the all-powerful who shall punish the crimes. I exercise and I command you absolutely, O demon, in whatsoever part of the universe you may be, by the virtue of all of these names, hear you and obey. At which point, I'm going to turn around wherever I'm standing and just say, Are we sure that's a good idea? Wasn't it reading from some book that started all this? By, by the reading of this, this is the way to banish it. This is the solution. So we're done here. We're, no, we have to go upstairs and perform the ritual. Yes, but we have this bit to read from. Is that it? Do we just Varata say the words at it and it just disappears? There's all these powders and robes. I would imagine that there's some grander ritual than just standing in front of it and saying a few words. I... I don't know. I'll go through the rest of the sheaf of papers and see if there's any mention of the form of the ritual. I'm just, I'm listening. While he was reading, did I hear anything? Dead silence. <laughs> Perhaps we should spread out and search the area. Have I found anything while I was walking around? Uh, nothing that would lead you other than what you've already seen. Maybe this is one of those cases where we use the, the powder and make a circle and catch it there and read the words. I hesitate to speculate because if we waste the powder and we need it for the ritual then we could end up with a very angry gin tearing our eyes out. Miss okay. Case, you're uh, the one who knows about occult things. Do you know what we might use the powders for? Good question. <laughs> uh, doing a cult. You would. I would. You would explain that, and you would remember the mention of the pentagram that was already done. Yes. And the ritual that the went through, and they would sound familiar to a place that you would uh, perform said ritual. I'm trying to see where the actual pentagram is within the house. It doesn't. Well, it sounds like we have a pentagram to find, and possibly repair. I look up to the attic. I hope it's not up there. I'm betting it's up there. That is a reasonable assumption, but we should search the rest of this floor to be sure. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I was doing, walking around Give me a while you guys second. were looking through the trunk. Well, I'm, okay, um, I'm going to wear one of these robes just because it may be important to the ritual. They were in the case. Yes, I suppose I'll have to put one on as well. How many are there? Six. There are six. Well, I only see four of us. Yep, my thoughts exactly. We'll have to make do with what we have. Mm -hmm. Be right back. I'm going to go put on my dark black 
death eater mode. <laughs> <laughs> death eater mode. change. Like, yep. Why? I've read this so many times, even before today, and I didn't notice they never told me where the pentagram was. I, <laughs> I assumed it's in the attic? I, That's yeah, where I, I presume it's in the attic as well. I guess we're going to have to improvise. They, well, yep. they said they summoned it in the house, but he trapped it in the attic. Right. How did they get it to the attic in the first place? Ah. Uh, a trail of Reese's pieces. I, <laughs> I mean, now we get Ooh, a lot a of piece of candy. It would work Ooh, on a me. piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Cthulhu Fatagan. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah, candy. PCs, PCs. My last name is Mars. <laughs> You got a chocolate bar in your pocket? Maybe. You don't know. Always? <laughs> Who doesn't? All right, here we go. Where's my break screen? Nice big bowl of Cthulhu. Is it? Cthulhu. <laughs> yes, I saw that. That's quite amusing. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, it doesn't say it's in the actual attic. So I'll say, if you surf on the top floor, uh, you come across. It was covered in dust. Okay. Oh. We've been walking on top of it this whole time? Yep. Oh, okay. So I didn't I see like, that it I was doesn't, walking around. It doesn't actually... Well, that's what I'll say when you're walking around looking for yeah. things. I was like, because it doesn't say it's in the attic. And I okay. Don't, I don't think and right. as I recall from the journal entry, someone scuffed a hole in the pentagram. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to repair that. That's like what the pounders are for. Ah, yes. Go ahead and make an intelligence. Uh, um, just me or anybody? Well, Alex? I would have, you know, pointed, probably pointed that out while mm -hmm. Doc was putting on his robes and say, uh, I have an I think I found something. Intelligence of 70, so... Well, yeah, I've got a 60. We'll say both of you, and I'll need Eliza to do a cult to make sure that it's done correctly, if you do fix it. Okay. <laughs> you want to spend five luck to make that work? <laughs> yup! <laughs> okay. Do it up. So you realize the patterns okay. are to kind of help finish, and <clears throat> Eliza guides you through on finishing to make it a complete pentagram with all the symbols correct. Sweet. Ah, who do we bring the thing here or do we just begin chanting? I I don't know how this is supposed to work. Do we need to read it in Latin? In this case? You would be um, the one to answer that. I yeah. would say yes. <laughs> okay. Because that is what brought how they were brought in. I'm going to tell them that piece of information. I mean, we could try to just read it here and see if it shows up before we go and get it, its attention. So there's a, a, a ladder to the, um, to the attic? attic? Is there, if I go and if I go look at it, is there a, a hatch? I'm assuming something over there. Yep. And you, it pulls and down. Just, okay. Kind of there's nothing, out of the way. Nothing, nothing carved into it, like nope. on the on the trunk. No symbols or nothing. Thing. But kind of just reach up with the the barrel of the gun and just kind of knock on it a couple of times. Nothing. So you're telling me this thing is up there? Trapped, I think. Did we we heard something up there though, right? Eliza did. Okay. Well, Eliza did, yeah. Okay. I pointed it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was minutes ago. I've forgotten. So yes. 
I'd say about this time, it's probably eight or nine o'clock at night. Yeah. And the pentagram is here. We could always just try and read the ritual and see what happens. Well, and if, if it doesn't gonna, work, we could go upstairs. If we're going to try and banish it, then I assume it has to be in the circle. Well, but does the ritual summon it to the circle or banish it from the circle? Or both? That's your area of expertise. <laughs> that is my area of expertise. You're right. Well, we don't want to summon another one. That would be insane. Well, I... Based on the words, it says, "Yeah, exercise." It seems that this is not a summoning, but a binding. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we're gonna send Will someone up there as bait, <laughs> and it's not going to be me. Fetch it. Oh, uh, I'm trying to see how to play this one. Mm. For goodness sakes. Any volunteers? I'll, I'll climb the ladder. There you go. Okay. I'll push the hatch open and stick my lantern up. And as you do, your head explodes. Secretly hoping for some scary sound effect right now. I know. There's no I mean, there's nothing playing. <laughs> there's nothing. We'll fix that for you. Thanks. I think it's right about here's some good one. Oh, good. Oh, it's just called Terror. Fine. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Listen to it. Work. Okay. And as soon as you pop your head up there, I want to see if it's a immediate hit or what, if you get a chance to dodge. Oh, God. It was just standing up there, waiting with its fist cocked back. And as soon as you pop your head up, whack okay. a ball. Make make a dodge roll. <laughs> oof! You Big barrel roll. Giant oof. Oof. Okay. How's your luck looking? Not enough. Not nearly enough for that. And that I think that would rolls. literally. Oh yeah, you're right. You can't push. Him. Or you can't yeah. luck or something. I don't know. You can't push. You can still luck. Oh, yeah. It would. I would still be short by one if I used all of my luck. You had what? Forty-five left. Yeah. If and... you used all of it, you'd be at twenty-two. Oh. Uh. Nah. Not like. But that's all. literally all of your luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. do that. Yeah. You take eight damage. Oh fuck me. And everyone that's witnesses this needs to make a sanity roll. And do. Including me? Yes. Oh, God. You witness it firsthand. My uh, boy. Well, I'm fine. Me too. I'm good. Yeah. We okay. are we are unflappable, man. Okay. <laughs> I am, and however, at six health points out of fourteen. And I lost are in fact mad shit and then I stopped myself. Man. Is that a major wound? My cons- I would say... Oh, I don't know. I think at one... Does it, did it take over 50% of your mass? Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, make a con roll. Oh, yep. <sighs> hey! Okay, you're not unconscious. Excellent. You didn't immediately pass out from the pain. Con is my best one or besides education. Hurting. Okay. Just and my help we have. the door immediately shuts. The hell was that? Oh, I don't. The door I, immediately oh, shuts. I like. Did he just he just sack of potatoes hit the floor? Yes. Yo, oh, yeah. Any like animation on that, or just <laughs> snap back? He basically took a shot and fell back. Fell off the ladder, yeah, for sure. Well, Does we're he, not doing there, that. Are, there are visible injuries. Don't open the door. Just do the fucking summoning or banishment. Well, you are a Latin speaker, so <laughs> you're the only one who can. Let's make sure that I we're say, pronouncing keep... all the syllables correctly. Keeper, are there any uh, visible wounds on him? 
I'm looking exactly if it's a claw or if it's just straight. I'm sorry, did you say it was a claw? Double, double checking. He said I'm sorry. <laughs> he said claw. Once again, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, for I'm eight sure damage, there's probably said. some kind of injury. <laughs> yep, yep, there's a claw mark. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in my bag, I've got bandages. And I'm... Yeah. To give you a heads up, we do have time, but first aid is one hit point per hour. Or first aid supplied within an hour yeah. wounds restores one hit point. It's just role play, man. Yep. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just giving you how much you will be healing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Going forward. I, I, yeah, I hard to Eliza to you know, grab his bag and... Yeah, let's patch him up. Uh, inside, you yeah. see any number of like instruments, uh, bandages, but you also see a revolver in the bag. We'll and just take leave the bandages. that where it lies. Yep. And I'm gonna bring the bandages over there. Oh, thank you. And I wrap. I just wrap my head to stop to staunch the bleeding. Mm hmm. I'm not like actively trying to heal the wound or whatever. I'm just role playing, staunching the bleeding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've I've got that shotgun trained on that trap door. I'll try giving him some first aid while he's staunching the bleeding. Cause why not? Okay. What's the worst that could happen? You make it worse. Are you in active peril of death? That... Oh, I don't. Uh, I can't. Oh, give me a moment. Yeah, I'm giving you first aid. Are you? I'm trying. Are you <laughs> Oof. You're just, and I'm sure as fuck not pushing that because if I push making it, it blow worse. It, we'll say it takes two hours now. Okay. Oh, we're here for two hours? To get the first aid, to get your fully... No. Oh, yeah. But no, it would take, it would take two hours for you to like... That's fine. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just throwing yeah. it out there with that. I'm just. I'm more concerned about like his immediate stabilization. Yep. Oh, he's not in threat of death yet. <laughs> Miss Case, yet. does the demon need to be in the circle, or can we just perform the banishment now? I don't see any harm in trying it right here. I agree. I don't uh, know, but shall we then? Eliza, make a a cult. I'll give you advantage because you're well versed in this. That's nice. success. Like, nice. Okay. You would know that you could do it at the pentagram and it'll end up coming to it. Oh, oh it's exactly what I thought. <laughs> it's hey, like I'm... the Ghostbuster trap. It just sucks it in. Yeah. But, but you have to do it at midnight. And it's like eight or nine now. Oh. Yes. Okay, I'm going to relay that to everybody. Then we should probably put the torches out so that we have light later. I'm not sitting here in the dark. Well, we either sit in the dark now, or we sit in the dark at midnight. How about we put one of them out? We have two and a half hours. It is five, Honey. it is four hours. I have, I Actually, say, at this point, we probably have say. less than two and a half hours. Combined yeah. between both of them, if you were to put one out and the other one, I'd say you'd have a combined four hours. Okay. How's the flashlight looking was... battery wise? Not great at this point. Yeah, yeah I would Let's say conserve, um, the, conserve our light. If I we have say, to wait until midnight. Is there any? Is there any point in waiting inside this house, or might we adjourn back to the car? Well, it is raining out there. And there was also a lunatic running around somewhere out there. Fair point. Does anyone have any food? Right I am you. starving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't keep treats in my coat pocket. We should have stopped at the general store. No, no, nope. I'll, I'll pass. Nope. Him, I'll pass in my flask and. And what is in the flask? Welcome to a nip. I'll just whiskey. I'll take a nip because just I, whiskey. I am just whiskey. We're I talking insane. Scottish whiskey, Irish whiskey, or good old Kentucky bourbon. Sour mash. 
Uh, with with uh, with it being the twenties and prohibition oh, and my yeah. background, it's probably some bathtub, bathtub home whiskey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, how can you drink this? <laughs> I'm Typically, just going to with make gusto. sure that I don't see that. I'm going to hold it in my hand and ask for some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out the uh, the pipe and light it, and just smoke okay. for a bit. I pass the pass, yeah. I pass, pass it to Eliza. Eliza. I think this is a thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so we're waiting until midnight then. Yep. Are we doing? I look at my pocket watch. During yeah, our we'll drinking circle, I want to just keep... bring up the fact that I think maybe the the man who ran out of the basement was also our gardener. Do you think that's Possibly. what's going Possibly. on? Likely. However, I don't think he's in any condition to help us. Judging by his demeanor earlier, he might have also encountered whatever is in this attic. But you d- do you think he was just staying here? He could have just been squatting, for all we know. I want to take a look a at uh, Phineas's wound. Mm-hmm. You know, see if it's... The one that I spent two hours first dating? Do yeah. I, so I yeah. get one hit point back? You do. Sweet! I'm at half! <laughs> 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 what well, one? You I want to make sure it's like though. the see how the see yeah see how it's it's make sure it's stopped or you know I need to pour a little bathtub whiskey on it but um please don't like what is it is there is there anything animalistic about it because no animal you've ever Three seen marks for nothing okay Three marks for. Four. Four. Okay. Then yeah, I'd I'd make that comment too. Just like yeah, you know, I had half a mind that maybe there were some bobcats stuck in there, but there's nothing I've ever seen. Are you fucking kidding me? This is not a bobcat. I know what I saw. You see what it was? It was a demon. You, by the way, you you didn't. Oh well. You wouldn't have been able to see. I don't care. I'm saying I'm it was a demon. I'm going to pass him back the flask and say, <laughs> so you believe me now. I'm willing to suspend a little more disbelief than I would have a day ago. Whatever. The time draws near. Let's do this. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and start the ritual? Yeah. As soon as it gets to midnight, let's do it. I'm going to I'm going to reluctantly lay the shotgun down and grab one of the robes, but kind of shake it out and look at it and like I'm looking for claw marks on it or blood or anything like that from just remembering what was in the journal. Everything's fine. If they were from the previous owners, it probably was replaced. Oh. Might as well go for broke with this and just kind of shrug it on and then immediately grab that shotgun right back up. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is my Linus's blanket right now. Would you like to read the incantation, Miss Case? That's one thing that you'll have to figure out. Is everybody going to be? Or will there be a watcher like in the original? Oh. So only one of us can read Latin, I think. Right? I can translate Latin. I mean, anybody could read the word. Could you write it out phonetically? Could I write it out phonetically? Uh, I've got a notebook. You can read it. I would say... You would be able to. Okay. Okay. So I'll allow you to do this and make four, three copies, four copies. There you go. Oh, I I'm was gonna read it in Latin. Take... Oh, were you? 
Okay. Yeah. Yes, then we'll, we'll keep it in Latin. I mean, I could try. I, that, that's fine. Not exactly a trained Latin scholar myself. Yeah, I'll make four copies of it, uh, and then if somebody wants to be a watcher with the shotgun, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be the watcher. <laughs> Mark, Mark's still not totally sold on this. Too, and put the sarcophagus on the ground just near oh. the, the pentagram. Good idea. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there something about candles and... Oh, you yeah. found all that material in the trunk. Okay, does yeah. Does the sarcophagus My need, question do we is, know if it needs to be like open, or is it like, does it have like a lid on like, it? If, if we're buying There's it, a lid on it because there was a piece of amber in there. Yeah, that they, correct. Yeah. Let's, okay. let's open that, leave it in the middle. Yep. Okay. With the two black tapers yep. and the pentagram. Yep. yep. The three of us will stand at equidistant triangular points, and Bart, yep. you will yep. watch with a shotgun. I'm here for it. Let's yep. do it. Well, I got one more, one more concern. If someone's already tried this and failed, where are they? Well, None I don't of them think tried. We can concern ourselves with that right now. Your they instructions are are to kill us and then yourself. I'll get right on that. <laughs> no, uh, just if it looks like it's breaking out, shoot the thing. I don't have any other explanation or... Oh, I... sounds like a plan. Okay. Definitely it's the best we're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> so we have three copies of the Latin. Yep. And at and midnight... Written phonetically so that we can actually pronounce it. Yes. We have a hell of a ritual circle. Yeah. Yeah. Three is a magically inclined number as well. So it is. All right. We'll see if that helps. Who yeah. wants to? Who wants to read attempt the rat Latin? Well, Nobody else wants to. I'll we'll do just it. say all three of you have to do it obviously at the same time. But whoever wants to read it. Yeah, that'll get very confused with Zoom. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, right. you don't want to take a crack at reading Latin, but I can't. Oh, I can <laughs> if you don't want to. It's up to you. Uh, either way. You go for it. All right. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to, like, kill us if you fuck it up because... I don't know. We're, 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 we're not. We're not. Yeah. I'm just showing off. Wrong, just point. nothing happens, right? And then we miss our shot and the midnight window passes. Yeah, our whole 60 seconds we got. Yeah. It just oh. has to start by then. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. We'll be, right, we we'll begin. I could have sworn right. that professor said this could take hours or days. <sighs> Here we go. Is that what he said? O spiritus vos for penentium sapentium vertum exorciso, persientium divinum in anche tenebrosium, per nomum veterum, per radicum, truncum, fontum, originum, alium, nominum, divinorum, omnium, unanti vitam, potemptium que suum trahunt, vos per nomen neurolatotep, Exorciso sapentium optime ferentium quis maesta tam excelsa clarior quarum sidier enanis. You son of a bitch. Vos for potentissium nomen as a thoth exorciso omnipotentum scelesia penendintum. Te exorciso o daimon ominoque impero quanacumque impartisis. Universi per omnium orum honominum virtutum. Omni at parame! And that long word exactly means son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Good job. That is fantastic. So that goes on for about 20 minutes smoothly. Mm-hmm. After that, uh, you hear a little bit of movement and all of a sudden an awful howling. Then some grunts. Some foul curses are heard, and some shuffling above. Within moments, the creature steps up and howls up directly above you. Oh, Jesus. The old house sways and creaks, the sudden jolts shaking. It feels like the foundations are falling. Objects fall from the shelves. 
and roll across the floor. I need everybody to make a sanity roll. Here we go. Here you got that right there, Chuck. Sane as fuck. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That is some <laughs> success when it counts, buddy. Mm -hmm. As before, we are New Englanders. We are unflappable. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be flapped. The violence and noise continues for a while and is then followed by a horrible smell creeping down from the attic. Suddenly, thick, sinking goo oozes from the ceiling and drips down the walls. I need everyone to do a luck roll. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> Why did I spend all my luck? Oh, no. oh I Shit. love that. Oh, we are not luck trucks. Poor. Oh. And you can't spend luck on luck. I didn't even know there was a luck roll. That would just. I, just, I gotta. I gotta show this on stream. We were four for four on our sanity. I <laughs> think. I think, with the exception of Bart, we all failed by less than we spent. <laughs> I haven't spent any. That's luck. what I'm saying. Everybody takes two acid damage. <gasps> To what? Acid damage. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oof. That's what you said. Thanks. And after that, the lurker seems to go silent. I need everyone to do a listen roll. The lurker? Mm-hmm. The thing in the okay. attic. Eliza's focused. I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> All that also, paranoia. Nice. <laughs> I'm rolling pretty well today, guys. Which, which tracks? Just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Those who pass hear a faint call for help from a woman outside. Does the person out walk? Does the watcher? Well, I guess the watcher doesn't hear. Did the watcher doesn't hear? I don't hear anything. I Ooh. do not stop chanting. Okay. Does anybody else stop I chanting? Hear it. I. I'm still going. I'm still in my chanting? Latin groove. Okay, Eliza. I think I continue chanting. If everyone else is going continue to, chanting? I just. Okay. I think I'm going to assume that they heard it too, and we're just making this decision to ignore Bring it. Your shit. Yeah, but that I'm just. It was very apparent to me, so that. I'm going to assume that you guys heard it, too. Okay. Uh, you continue for another 20, 25 minutes. Still not hearing anything. I need everyone to do another listen. Dang. Okay, three of you, the three chanting, hear a noise downstairs. What kind of noise? Like someone's walking across the creaking uh, wood, heading towards somewhere down there. Not, not quickly. That Can is so not my problem right now. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible. Dad. But if I continue I'm... to chant, can I take something out of my pocket and throw it at our watcher to like get his attention to point down the stairs? I was gonna try. I, yeah, to I'm posted. Thing. I'm posted up by the stairs, so I'm not seeing or hearing anything. <laughs> I guess if you look back at me, I'm just looking right back at you. I like tap my ear and then, and then tap point down, but I do not stop chanting. I, same exact. Okay, thing. I need a uh, a spot. Nope. At disadvantage. Oh yeah, because we probably lost our light. Well, we've got the candles going. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess. But it's true. low. Yeah. And yeah, All right, the torch is out. I'm guessing the candles no good either. Good luck, Snorri. Lant the lantern's out. So, out a while ago. Uh, spot hidden with the spot purple. Hit the purple. Yep, and you're at minus one. Oh! Yeah! Clutch! <laughs> Clutch! 
you, you see them gesturing to you. Um, oh, forgive us. <laughs> they just tell gotta... you that they hear something below, is what you would guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. give you that one. I'm going to kind of just lean over the stair rail and look down the staircase so I see shadows or any semblance of movement. You don't see any shadows. There's no light. All right, I guess if it's midnight, if it's full moon and... But raining. if it's raining, then yeah, the cloud cover would, would block mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so. you ain't seen shit. So, yeah. but... So I'll just, I'll look, I don't see anything. I'll just look back at him and... Rug. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I do not quit chanting. All right. So we'll continue for another half hour. But I'll, yeah, I'll look back at and shrug and then, you know, keep, still keep an eye down the staircase, though. I need the three chanting for a listen with disadvantage because you're focusing on the chanting at this point more than yeah. anything. And oh, sorry, fuck just, me. Just regular, <laughs> it wasn't a minus two. You didn't fumble. Right, I know. Oh, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, I got no. a hard. Yeah, you got a hard success. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Out of the corner of your eye, you, you see a little bit of movement. <laughs> It's a little late, though. It's right right next to you. Yeah. I'll glance over as I continue chanting. And I'm going to need, well, since you glanced over, you and Snorri to make a sanity roll. Okay. I, I saw this, too. I guess I'm watching. You're the, the watcher. Thing, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally in the title. <laughs> Hard success. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You do not lose any sanity, but you do see a woman uh, moving towards you. Doesn't look in the best of shape. Did, did she just apparate, like, from thin air? No. Slowly it was making... fucking dark, dude. She probably just walked right past you. No, right up to him. Oh, God. Point. Okay. I will we continue chanting music. as I. Oh, let me change that. I apologize. Uh, I was really. <laughs> you can hit. You can hit the. Uh, um... There's a loop button. Yeah, loop button. Ah, perfect. I'm just gonna keep chanting one? and trust my watcher to watch her fall down the stairs to throw a shotgun blast to the chest. <laughs> yeah, no, she's walking stairs towards me. I am absolutely leveling it at her, but I haven't, like, I wouldn't pull the trigger immediately because you're a cad, not a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm also not, like, Bart's not fully sold on this. And been drinking a little bit. A wall that didn't help matters. So when I when I look, if I see her coming up the stairs, oh, she's, she's right just... next to you. When you notice her, okay. And what does she look like? Uh, she looks like a female, um, pale, uh, drenched, head to toe, uh, vacant look in her eyes. And that's when I need. Let me see who would actually go first. I say I'd I like put my hand out, my off hand out, and just like told her like you need to get out of here. Okay, so that's your move. Like basically, I'm, I'm trying to stop Perfect. her from coming in, but I'm not like going to shove her back down the stairs just yet. So what we got? Let me roll. Let me get back to the bottom. A twenty-four. And the attack is 
Oh, uh, okay, so, success. And it's only a d4. Uh, does he get the option to dodge or strike back? Uh, he put his hand out to talk. That was kind of his action. Right, right, right. But when you're attacked in Call of Cthulhu, I thought that you had the option to uh, either let me dodge or strike back. Check. Let me double check real quick. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you fight back, the highest level of success wins. If you dodge, the attacker wins with the higher level of success. Okay. Yeah. So you'd have I to say be... she, she what, took a swing at me or? Yes. Okay. Um, shotgun. <laughs> so if you try for the shotgun, you have to succeed at a higher level of success than her. But if you yes. do, not only will you not take damage, but you'll deal shotgun damage. Yeah. If but you I try just, to dodge, just, then you just have I would to match I wouldn't her immediately level of success, go that route. And I think, I then think you'll take no damage it. and deal no damage. I, I think my character would, especially with it being a, a woman, would um, probably just try to dodge initially. Okay. Roll that dodge then. But, nope. If she fails worse than you, though. No. Uh, she rolled a 24, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You take four damage. Oof. Ooh. She's got a mean right hook. It's not a major wound, at least, I hope. Oh, I hear a big guy. Uh, you can take it. Nope. All right. And. Uh, so she clocks you? me. Yes. And you and. Like, I'm guessing it's uh, kind of like an unnatural strength or just a lot harder than. I would have expected. Uh, a lot harder than you would expect it. Uh, no actual emotion within it. Just, just went up after you. I, I, do I get a chance to swing back? I mean, if you want to continue the fighting, you may. I, it's, I, it's your turn. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably. I, I still would. I don't think I'd. Still don't think I'd shoot her, but I'd definitely. You have a shotgun. <laughs> yes. You're just trying to hit her with the butt of the rifle? So fighting. Yeah, basically. I've got, yeah, fighting, brawl. Yeah, brawl is for hand to hand and also hand weapons. Okay. Fail. I um, have to roll to see if it's worse. The only way it could be worse is if she crit fails. Oh. Well, uh, um, if she's dodging. If she Actually, she doesn't get the dodge, so she fights back. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if she fights back, then if she doesn't fail, she does damage. She fails. Okay. So you both fail. You're kind of, like, swinging wildly. Uh, does anyone... Pay attention besides one person that I already saw. I, think I am keeping that chant going. Yeah. I'm... So those who look over need to make a sanity roll now. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. Just cool. says, ask her cool. if she knows Latin. Everybody's yep. cool. Hey, do you read good? Latin? <laughs> okay. Since you're here, let's make this <laughs> magic. Let's make, let's I, make this I, magic I, I, triangle into a quadrangle. I think at this point, I I would take it, take the shot. Well, uh, it's not your turn. You yep. just tried to yeah. rifle butter, and during yep. your attack, she struck back and failed. So now it's her initiative, and she will be going back after you again. Success. So do you want to dodge, or do you want to try and interrupt her I'm swing gonna, by shooting her? Nope. I'm going to try and get her. Okay. And she's oh. definitely within 10 yards. She's right up to you. Yeah. So you need a better right. degree of success than her. So you need to score and a hard or better. Otherwise, she's going to clock you before you can get the shot off. And this is a uh, firearms, the firearms rifle, rifle shotgun. shotgun. Oh! <laughs> 
And you're okay. not allowed to push because it's combat. Yep. And then take another two damage. Oh, no. Oh. Y'all might want to hurry up over there. Chanting intensifies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I start chanting louder. So, is it my turn? Do I get another shot? That was my turn, to, then. No, no, no. That was during her turn now. that you tried to okay. shoot her and failed. So I'm she clocked you before again. you got the chance. So now it's your go. Yeah, I'm going to try and shoot her again. And she's just... Oh, oh. I can't... Oh, I can't push that. Nope. You can okay. spend luck. Okay. Can you I, spend five can luck? Can I spend luck? Yeah. I yeah. uh, will spend my five luck. So that's a regular success. Okay. So you get to do whatever damage. Uh, it's Shotgun does uh, 4d6. Perfect. With wow. it, uh, with, it's within two, uh, within ten yards, and I've got two attacks per round. So it would be a double that's, barrel, if that's yeah. the case. Not a pump. But then you would have oh. to spend time to reload. Well, I've got a pump. It, it could have two yeah, attacks per no, round. I've got a pump. pump. Oh, you go yeah. bang, chunk, bang. Yeah, I've only got five ammo though. Okay. Yeah, and you spent. So, what's well, your second? Yeah, because you failed on the other one. So, jeez. Uh, 20, let's see. What that... 20 damage! Holy shit! Two sixes and two fours! Wow! Yeah, that's only on, uh, that's, that's on the, uh, within 10 yards. It's 4d6. Oh, she's, she's within 10 inches yeah, of you, she's sir. With, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, did hey. you ever see Death Becomes Her? You yep. just put a <laughs> shotgun hole in it <laughs> that big. Yeah. I was imagining it more like scanners. He just put the shotgun up to her face and blew it away. Is it dead? Dead. <laughs> Changing and testifies. <laughs> do I, have, I would say, do I have to? Do I have to take a sanity roll for that? You do. Bring. I would All say right. because of how you are, hordes, mm -hmm. and everything, it would be a hard. Oof. Good luck. Oh no. Nope. No, no. No, no, no. Fine. Eh, you'll oh. just drop a few more points on the sanity scale. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. So you lose some sanity. Mm -hmm. Let's double check on this. How many do I lose? That's what I'm double checking. Okay, I need you to make... Roll me a d6. You take one sanity loss. One sanity loss? And roll me a d6. And roll a d6, okay. Right. Five. All of a sudden, you see Bartholomew take off down the steps. Oh, God. Can take. Did you chant it? Yeah, I can't stop now. I gotta trust him. We'll get back to Bartholomew. Oh, goodness. Uh oh. Just uh oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Eliza, I need you to do a a cult, uh, regular, and either either one of the other ones do an intelligence. Just one. Your intelligence is better than mine, Doctor Mars. Okay, so between the two of you, uh, you would know that the wards probably are not working downstairs anymore. Since she just like sauntered in. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know there were wards downstairs. As mentioned in the notes. Oh. I thought the wards were on the box. There's wards there, too. Oh, shit. There's wards everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But the wards downstairs are no longer working. And 
you continue after you see your friend or special Canyon. Uh, take off. Yeah. Uh, did he leave the shotgun? Nope. <sighs> no. Phineas would keep chanting. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Then I'm going to. Once again, you start getting that putrid smell coming down. And I need you guys to. What was that again for the asking? Luck? Yes, make a luck. Oh, God. <laughs> this fight is oh! Fucking A! Oh! By one! Can't luck a luck. Nope. Yeah, because it would just lower the difficulty. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. I'm really glad you healed me. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Poor acid damage. And I need y'all to make a sanity at disadvantage at this point. Not this time. Eliza! Uh, Only one holding it together here. You just bolted down the stairs, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm... laughs> That's a dubious definition of holding it together. You rolled no, so Eliza's, high, Dave. I know. Yeah. It was so, very bad. So, Dave failed? Yeah. Yeah, and then a lot. Phineas, damn. Yeah. Phineas okay. and I blew it, and Eliza's keeping her head. Yeah. Okay. So y'all take uh, sanity. How much? And one each. And okay. Phineas, I need you to roll a d6 for me. Oh, good lord. You stop chanting. Shit! You're just staring. All right. I I'm will... not stopping. Yep. Me either. And we'll say 15 minutes pass. Uh, Phineas, give me a, a. We'll say intelligence disadvantage to see if you realize what's going on. Okay. Although I think you could spend two luck to make that work. Uh, uh, seven. Well, the way that bonus and penalty dice work is that the ones place always stays static, and you're just changing the tens. So that's technically a seventy-two. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I'll spend two. I don't know. I failed that last one by one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend the two luck to make it a success. Why not? Okay. You realize that you've not been chanting. You don't know for how long. Uh... And at this point, Snorri, I need you to make a intelligence disadvantage. I am going to pull the gun out of my bag and then begin chanting again. Intelligence at disadvantage? Yep. Yep. Is this the, the green dice still? Uh, purple. Purple. And okay. you're going to read the minus okay. one line. Yep. Ooh, nice. Holy crap. Did not see that coming. <laughs> I felt <laughs> like you were dreading it. I have an intelligence okay. of 48. <laughs> so you've realized... They are not smart. Let's, I'm just trying to look here. Uh, so he passes. Okay. Uh, interesting. Did not see that coming. You realize that nobody saw that coming. Outside in the rain. Don't know why, but you're in tall grass. Get out of there! There's Pokemon out there. Here, Snipe. Here, Snipe. I need you to do oh. a spot hidden for me. Oh crap. Nope. Okay. 
Uh, next turn we'll get to that. Do I, do I do I look around and like see where the house is or anything? You see the house? It's oh, large I was enough. gonna say I think that's a no. <laughs> no, you. I don't you know can how see far the house. away I got. Like, uh, you don't recognize much else. Uh, you're in, but you could get back to the house relatively quickly. Yeah, I'd start heading back for the house. Mm-hmm. And we'll get back to that. Uh, so you grab out your gun and you're back to doing your reading, right? What? Oh, yeah, I grab my gun okay. and I continue chanting. I'm just trying to see how much further we're down here. Okay. Uh, fun. For three people, at least. Okay. Uh, the next 20 minutes uh, goes off without a hitch. And it's relatively quiet, eerily quiet for you three. Snorri, I need you to make a spot hidden disadvantage for me once again. Oh. Nope. Oh. Okay. I am I am just focused on getting back to that house. About that. <laughs> That was a cackle if I've ever heard one fixed. <laughs> I am I'm a cackler from way back. I'm like, uh oh. Uh, I think I, I think Vix knows what's coming. Right. I don't know what's coming, but I know what's coming. I just have concerns. <laughs> you are attacked by something you did not see. It's a surprise attack. I don't, I don't attack get a chance to you. do anything. No. They're getting two surprise attacks on you. Oh god. Please fail. That's a fumble. Ooh, good. Uh, their attack is... 48. The first one would be a fumble. Does that affect the second one? Let me see. I have no idea how fumbles work in this game. Only I'm double-checking real quick. I didn't expect anyone to actually fumble. <laughs> We've gotten close a few times. Yes. If he, if he fumble... If you fumble, do you get a second attack? That's why I'm double checking. It doesn't say. So I'm looking at the attacking right now. Oh, you should have had a bonus die on that shotgun shot. Because you get I a bonus need... die within five, if you're within one-fifth of your dex and feet. I didn't need it. It was, like, just such a hard success on its own. Yeah. Actually, let me see how surprise attacks work. Surprise attacks are either automatically successful or require a skill roll with a bonus die from you, I'm guessing. Oh, so I will give you the option, I guess, for the first one. We'll give you a bonus uh, to dodge out of the first one. Okay, so dodge. And we'll give you advantage. Hey, you did it. Okay. I was like, because I don't want to give you the auto. And we'll give you... Let's see, so for success. Okay. Uh, we'll need you to do another one, not it, with advantage. So just regular roll. dodge? Just a regular dodge. dodge. Oh. Nope. Ooh. Okay. So the second one, you notice. Do I, get a shot, do I get a shot off after the first dodge? This was a surprise because you didn't notice. Oh, yeah. Uh, you notice a big creature coming at you. You missed it. It missed on its first, and then you feel a claw down your back. What is it for the damage? I'm low too after that first round. 
If you hit zero without a major wound, you just go unconscious. And it's 2d6, so you take 8 damage. I have a major wound, right? Because I lost half of my Yes, you do. I'll so hit. if you hit zero, I'll... you start dying. Oh, good. I only had four points left. So what's That's your literally maximum? exactly double what I yeah, had. Yeah, what's your 12. max? Now would have been a major. 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's a major wound. So I'm you go down and now you start dying. dying. Okay. And as you go down, you see a brown bear standing over you. What? Just a, re a regular ass bear? <laughs> I will not say it's regular. It's not even alive. Oh. I mean, regular. how often are you hanging out in a farmhouse in Massachusetts and then a fucking bear shows up? Unless something exactly might have brought it. <laughs> you wonder why the lurker might have been quiet. Well, they, they don't know anything. I'm yeah, gone. But every time the lurker's just... quiet, something dead comes and visits. Uh... Chanting intensifies. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And another... well, it's been a great stream, guys. Have a good night. I will see you. <laughs> You're not dead You're yet. not dead yet. You're just dying. Not dead yet. Which means How many at the turns end of have, every though? round, you have to make a con roll or die. Yep. Oh, Fantastic. every round. Every single round. Every round. Oh, oh. Not, just my, not, just, not just every time it comes to me. It's after everybody's turn? No, well, no, no. When it comes to me. Okay, okay, okay. Not every turn, every round. Mm-hmm. So we get back to the chanters. Chanting. How many rounds are there in a minute? I feel like it's a lot. Uh, uh, long enough for everyone to take one significant action. Yes. Uh, at this time, you start seeing smoke appear in the middle. Keep chanting. Chanting! It, it looks like it's working. Not going to let go now. And you start hearing wailing voice, just screeching, piercing your ears. I need sanity at disadvantage. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Yikes! Uh, it's a hard for me, a success for Eliza, and a fail for me. Phineas got kneecapped by his penalty yeah. die. Yep. I wow. Did. Okay. I'm going to need you to one more sanity and roll a d6 for me. So Phineas loses a sanity and then rolls a d6? Yep. Oh. Or some kind of action. Right. Okay. I have concerns because you pulled a gun. Uh huh. I very much did. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. He just stops dead in his track again. Oh, that's like the oh best God. possible outcome. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But you're down to two, chant. Well, the two of us that are chanting are going to keep chanting. You. Very, very focused on the task at hand. Yes. Thank God oh, that God. Phineas wrote these phonetic Latin chants for us right. to read. <laughs> I mean, by now we would probably have it memorized, though. I hope. After, I'd say we're probably, what, two and a half hours in? Something we're like two and a half hours into chanting? It's been going, yeah, it's been going it's half hours and 15 it's minutes. It's not like, yeah. yeah. I mean, if y'all would have been saying consistent at the same time, it might have been a little quicker. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Good job, Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so do I need do I need to make another roll? Uh, yes. Yeah, Come back around. Constitution. There, Constitution. Oh boy, that's a fifty-fifty shot. Uh, Look, is, is this a disadvantage? Nope. No, it's straight. Just straight. You're dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bye, Bart. <laughs> is that literally what just happened? Yes. Yes. Uh, you shit. you guys don't know, which nope. is good for you. No, your you sight. have no idea. Oh, let me. Yeah, no Can we get some fixio rips in both chats, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I, I'm afraid I don't have fix your rip, but I can I can do the no, next best. Any thing. and all rips. F in chat for snoring. I'm gonna see how fast this reanimated thing would come towards you. Oh, oh no. Oh, good to know. It's fur counts as armor. <laughs> Why is that good to know? Can we kill it and wear its fur as armor? Because, <laughs> I mean, maybe. But We're gonna the more find you out. Know, can't. I'm too busy not chanting. Well, that means you have a gun free I, to me, shoot it, so that way... This would have been so much worse had we not had a watcher, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, we would have just died. <laughs> that woman would have come up the stairs, punched okay. us all to death, and it would have been over. Yeah. Okay. You guys don't... I am, I am doing nothing, apparently. I need you to make another int. 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 Okay. I like Disadvantage. int. Disadvantage. Fucking balls. Man, I am rolling so well on my intelligence checks! That's you why realize, you put the 70 in there to make yeah. it work. <laughs> Once again, you realize you stop. For how long, you don't know. But your head is starting to hurt. I continue chanting. For the greater God! Let me see where we're at on the order. That is literally in my character sheet. <laughs> yes. Continue chanting. I'm waiting for it. We're gonna need gift. somebody to make a chanting intensifies gift now. That's what I was about to run through. Uh Where's where's Allie? I mean no, I'm dead. Akio perfect Kusima. <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, you start hearing scratching above, but in the circle, more and more of the black demonic smoke is starting to fill it. You can see that it's working. Well, it's taking its time. Yeah. The chanting is working. Let's keep going. Yes. Cthulhu for talking. O spiritus uh, vos per penitentian sapintiam. Virum exorcizo. I'm not gonna go do the whole thing. I was waiting. To, I was hoping to see that there's a stamina thing to see how long if you guys can continue this over extended periods. You can make us roll Constitution. Yeah, that'd work. Fuck you, Deva. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Deva. Oh, great, perfect. Fuck. Continue chanting. God, Eliza, you're gonna be the only one that comes out unscathed. I I'm spending eight luck to make that. I plan to be. It'd be eighteen I'm for 18. you. Oh yeah, but uh, sure, eighteen more luck. Easy come, easy go. Oh Forty-three. Gosh. That's. I'm sitting on thirty-two. You really only hope we have to roll luck again. All right. We all we all concentrate. Okay. You guys are powering through. A uh, little fatigued by now. Uh uh. I'm real hungry because I <laughs> had Eliza's alcohol fine. on an empty stomach. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Eliza's just like, oh, this is every day for me. She is sane. She is focused. <laughs> she is yeah. She's perfectly in her element. She got really hit by is. a little acid damage, but. <laughs> She dropped a little acid, but it's okay. Yeah, my shoes are probably looking pretty bad. By All me. right, yeah, we... Uh... And the suit's probably not great. Well, I've got the robe over it, so... True. Yeah, we're wearing robes. Okay, we can continue chanting. Okay, I'll say for another 25 minutes, and the house starts shaking again. I need three of you spot hidden at disadvantage. No, that's a no. Not That's happy. a hard no. Also a no. Okay. Can I do something to make it a yes? 
Uh, well, you needed to roll a penalty die, so roll another d10 and see if it's worse than a 7. Okay, so that's a 98. So you would have to spend 53 luck. Well, no. <laughs> push. Or you could push. I have 55 and you roll right now, again so. With the penalty die, and you would have to get a 22 or below. Cool. An additional of penalty that die. So, because she was already at penalty, it would be two penalty die, right? No, it wouldn't be two penalty no. dice. It oh. goes from normal to hard. Oh, got it. Either way. Okay. Uh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> cool. Just to uh, put this. Okay. I'm just putting it out there. You don't that know was, what it's for. Yeah, I think I know what it was for. Oh, uh, did no. Snorri go away? Snorri's dead, Snorri. bro. Oh. I thought yeah. he might have went AFK. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bart! Bart! No, you can't say that. We have to keep chanting. Yes. All right. Uh, I need to know where within, like, who's closest to the stairs? Who's just the furthest away? I'll call the middle <sighs> spot. Closest. <laughs> furthest. <laughs> Eliza, I need you to do, like, dodge. I'm gonna go furthest away. Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this dodge button? Dodge. Dodge half decks? Is that what this is? This yeah, so fill in what half your decks is. Oh lord, okay. Unless you trained it. Oof. Okay. Can you give me another dodge? No. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, so the first one was one. You take eight damage. Hey. Oh. I didn't even want this spot. <laughs> so well. So, Eliza, how much health do you have at max on? Eleven. Okay, so that's a major wound. Yeah. You're definitely down. I which only means have you are nine. Dying. I have one left. Oh, oh you're I'm still sorry. alive. I have one left. Me too. That's so, still a major wound. One uh, hit point. You have to roll con. Yep. Roll con. To avoid falling roll unconscious. Con. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay. Survived. Clutch. Okay. You are conscious. One but on the ground. Three. Can one I hit point in a dream? Can I see this still thing? <laughs> <laughs> I need. I'll give you spot hidden at regular at this point. Okay. Both of us or just him? Both of you. Well, you're closer. Oh, fuck me. Do you have 34 left to push the, or to block I, that? Or no, do you want to push it? Uh, want to push? Yeah, I'll push it, I guess. Good luck. You need a hard or better. No. I rolled better, but not better uh, enough. Do you want to spend 29 luck to make that work? I don't have 29 luck. Damn. Uh, let's see. I'm a push if you fail. The consequences get worse. Yes. Well, he's made... Actually, he's missed... This will be a second push that he's done. Let me don't hold my past bad actions against I me. I don't think pushes stack like that. I think no. it's just if you fail on a push, the keeper gets to inflict a dire consequence upon you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did have a ton of luck squirrels. It's now gone. <laughs> yes, like any good RPG protagonist, he pushed his luck until it ran out. Yep. I need you to... Roll me a d6. Evens. You point the gun at Deva. Oh, no. Odds. You pull. You point it at yourself. Oh no. 
I need you to make a sanity roll for me. Oh no. Disadvantage. Oh fuck. Oh. Should I roll it again? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. It can't get much worse. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, it can. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. So I lose another And you look? have a major wound. Yep. And you pull the trigger. Roll your revolver's damage against yourself, I guess. Yep. You could roll a one. He only has one. <laughs> oh, you only have one hit point? I have one yeah, hit point. He was point. in the one hit point club with me. Eight. It, it eight damage. Nope. Does not I matter. blow my own brains out. Oh, no. Well, you can make con saves at this point, I believe. Yeah. Oh. You only instantly die from damage if you take your hit point maximum in one hit. Got it. Otherwise, you're just dying. Yeah. So if he would have had a shotgun against you guys and did that, that would have been bad. Yeah. And that was one of the options. So you turn on your party. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you saw this. I'd I be hate. glad I ran away. <laughs> so you saw this. I need you to make a sanity roll, David. Uh, okay. At this point, oh, probably a disadvantage. You see Eliza get mauled, and uh, that's a hard your, success. Yep. And your friend shoot for your. Oh shit! You rolled a one. Yeah. Third one of the night. So you're steady chanting, but you see a bear away, and you saw your buddy, your accomplice, on the ground bleeding from shooting himself in the head. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... I will give you options now. Okay. You can run. Well, yeah. You can try to take out the bear. Yeah. You can continue chanting. <laughs> or take your own life. I I'm not going to commit suicide. <laughs> pimps don't commit suicide. Oh, no. Um, can I continue chanting while I work my way around the ritual circle to try and grab Phineas's gun? Yes. And to also stay antipodal to Eliza. I'll allow that. That's what I'm going to do. I want to check something real quick. Sure. No, you could do that. I just want to check something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, go. Give me a dex with advantage. Because okay. you know where the gun is. I just want to make sure you can pick it up. Yeah, I got it. Okay. You pick it up. Uh, give me an intelligence. <coughs> Normal or? Normal. Yes, sir. You notice that it was a one shot gun. Oh, you I only had one. I thought it was a fucking revolver. <laughs> it is, but it only has one bullet in there. it. <laughs> I, I literally. Oh God, he was dying. <laughs> I literally, I literally said, Jay Stu, can I have a pistol with one bullet in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay. That bullet was literally for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm still chanting. As I weigh the rest of my options. Eliza's wow. still up. What are you up to? I need her to make a con. Another one? Uh, did she make one after... She, she... didn't. She passed. Yeah. So, I need mean, after this, after you've made your shimmying around the circle and looking mm. at a gun and realizing... Fuck. It's completely worthless. Yeah. I need a. a You're welcome. Better. You are so welcome. Make a con roll for me, please. Uh, <laughs> 23 luck to make that a success. Or you, you can know, push and have a 70% chance of failure. I'm gonna do the luck. Okay. I, okay. I think. Yeah. How much luck do you have left? I had 55. Ooh. Okay. So I can use 23 of that. And then you'll have 32 remaining? Yup. Yep. That's good that's to know. the idea. Don't good to know me. My least favorite DM phrase ever. <laughs> Mine says, you can certainly try. <laughs> Uh, mine is, are you so sure? Ominous. Are you sure is also a very good one. 
the bear is looking around. Uh, didn't seem to notice you shimmying around. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's slowly moving throughout the room. So currently while you're chanting, you're fine for this round. It doesn't mm -hmm. notice you. It doesn't notice that Eliza's still alive. <laughs> so we'll go through to continue chanting. And what else are you going to do? Uh, I am going to continue chanting and continue chanting. Okay. I have a switchblade. <laughs> that is my only weapon. And a switchblade against a bear. No. An I'm undead bear. bear. <laughs> I did mention a gunsmith in town. Right next to the general store. Yeah, you did. Yep. But these guys poisoned the well and <laughs> decided that they didn't want to stop in town. And they were the ones driving. <laughs> Yep. Uh, okay. I was in the back seat. Am I just like laying on the ground? Yes. Okay. You're uh, still chan are you still chanting though? She can. I, I, that's what she I has a hit point left. Too. She's not done. Uh, she went on a success. You get one hit point. Oh, okay. no, no, no. I didn't die. She, the actual Sorry. damage didn't take ah. her down. It took, yeah, it took me from a nine to a one. I get eight points. Oh, I'm still she dying, by the way. But oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got uh, for you, fix. Woo! But three! <laughs> Holy shit! Alive. Not quite the jet. So she's just zero. Oh, she's at. She's at one uh, hit point. Does that make her. Okay, so she's not unconscious. She is not one. unconscious. So if you would like, uh, you could go ahead and get up and start chanting again. Or weigh your other options while you were done there. Can like I running for your from life, or... you could. Is the bear still close to me, physically, like specifically to me? You would think it could get back to you if it notices you. I'm gonna uh, continue chanting from right here. Okay. I'm gonna continue playing dead and chanting. <laughs> and can I glance over at what's going on with the smoke on the demon circle? Is it? still happening or more it, so or it is almost like it's fully <gasps> yeah shown. then i'm gonna continue this yep let's finish it um let's do this i'm so nervous right now okay so i need david even or odds even it notices eliza Three and under, it doesn't notice anything. Four to six, it's been... Because it's dead, so I give it a 50-50 chance. Okay. You're fine for now. It just now noticed you. But you see it look your way. I could have closed my eyes and continue to chant. I'm just gonna get lay here and play dead and close my eyes and just mumble to myself. I have this shit memorized after two hours. I'm just yeah, gonna do yeah, this and wait. Yeah, we know this no by shit. heart now. If I die, I'm going out with, like, that demon's going down too. <laughs> like a gin. Let me know when it's my turn again. Go ahead. Oh, God. I did it! I'm still alive! Got a three quarter chance to live. I know! I have a really good con! <laughs> And we're nearing the four hour mark now. Little Why do I need you to dodge? What? Dodge. Did you just tell me to dodge? Yeah. Dodge. You're getting bared. I hope you feel real happy with yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. On, I did not deserve this. I can't bear to watch. You don't have enough luck to make that work. You can push. No, you can't push on combat rolls. Oh, you're right. I know it doesn't matter, but we'll just... If it's, what, total? Okay. All right, so Eliza's dying now. She's now in the dying state. She doesn't have um, a grievous wound, though, right? 
Yes, she does. Oh, she, she had does. a major wound from the oh, last yeah. hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, from the initial getting mauled by the bear. Yeah. Yeah, that took her from nine to one. All because I decided to say I was closest to the fucking stairs. <laughs> Literally the only fucking reason. Hey, I opened the hatch and immediately almost got my head taken off. You went up the stairs. <laughs> you made that choice. I, David, you're still chanting? Then yes, you were like, sir. oh, by the way, if My we chant, it'll out come out down. <laughs> you were That's like, oh, literally I know there's a demon down. upstairs. I should go up there, right? <laughs> okay, the bear doesn't notice. And Another, I need... Con from Eliza and Phineas. Yep. <laughs> is that help calling? This is beginning hour six, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little peckish myself, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're... We're almost roll, there. Roll yeah, con to know, not die. Something's about to happen. Oh, me? Both yeah. of you. Roll con what? to not die. Yeah, I hard. Don't even good. Want to. I really don't want to. <gasps> oh. Pour one up for Eliza, folks. Let's get some this more. This is my favorite character ever. I just was about to tell you guys. I'm I so love upset. that character. I love Eliza's this so good. so much. She's so pure. No, I'm she's not. So That's why upset. I like her. <laughs> and I'll say another ten minutes. We're almost at the four and a half hour mark. Let me see. No. So another con save. <laughs> yep. That was the champ. I'm continues. still good. You can notice it's slowing down now that it's just you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's still working. Yeah, I, I gotta keep going. God, that bear still doesn't notice you. No. <laughs> another so, my teeth. Another gone? The, the bear is right over you right now, but mm -hmm. yes, go ahead. Well, over yeah, uh, yeah. Phineas. Well, I'm right on top of Phineas, so the bear is right on me, too. The bear is right next to you, then. Uh, yeah. Then I need a con roll. Yeah. Oh, well, not by much. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will say another 15 minute passes. Mm -hmm. You start hearing some creaking, what little bit is left of it. You look up, and you do to make a luck roll. Oh, no. Nope. Can you push it? Or is luck not one you can? Let me I check. could push, but I'm choosing not to, because if I push, I have an 84% chance to fail, and the okay. bad stuff is going to be way worse. True. One damage. One acid damage? All right. Yes. Still in this. I need to quit with these ones. <laughs> no. If you rolled a four, you would have killed me. Actually, no, you would have knocked me unconscious. And then the bear would have probably killed me. <laughs> then the demon would have gotten out. <laughs> Something like that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to do a con for me to maintain concentration. Con for me for dying too? Oh, yep. no. I spend the luck to make that work. Okay. <gasps> uh, no! Here's my question. By one! Can you spend luck while you're unconscious? You I'm can't looking. spend... I'm looking. Oh, can I? <gasps> it's I'm not looking. a combat roll. Uh, you're right, and it's not a luck roll. I'll do it. Dying, let's, I'm double checking to see if you can. You hold those fixio rips. You stop that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is so tense. No matter how this ends, it's going to be glorious.
I'm looking up the official 7th edition. Sounds good. As I'm doing this, we'll say another 15 minute. Oh, wait, you you failed. I'm good. I, oh, I oh, yeah, you spent the luck to make it yeah, work. that's right. Yes, Bart died as he lived with a shotgun in his hand. It just says it just says something about determining the fickle hand of fate. Oh no, that's a luck roll. Never mind. I don't think. Spending luck on a failed roll. That's not fun. The tension is palpable. You can mm -hmm. you can palp it. I do. <laughs> There's nothing saying that you can. Yes. You want to spend a luck to live? Uh, yeah. I still have twenty five. <laughs> I'm double. I just want to look at one more thing. Uh, I would spend but, all of those luck points to live. <laughs> We're so close. It might not matter. Because I might get a bear to the back. Well, he said it was almost done. If it, if it does, maybe the bear goes away and you can revive me. That is possible. I will allow it. All right, okay, I'm still alive. <laughs> no, like, I can see alive. it. There's no definitive yes or no, so I'm yeah. gonna say yeah. Go ahead. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna need a, another roll from you. What do you need? Oh, uh, not you. Um, actually, oh, you push, so you're fine. Uh. Phineas. One more con? Yeah, easy. Don't worry about what? it. We're sitting at four hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. You could see the smoke just moving in there. You can't quite put a body to it. Mm -hmm. But I need you to make a sanity roll with disadvantage. Okay. No such luck. I need okay. Roll a d6 for me. You take one sanity loss. Sure. You'd all of a sudden start taking off running. Okay. Now let's see if the bear notice. Oh. You're good. Nothing's going on right now. Uh, he's still chanting, though, right? I'm running, dude. No, he's running. Oh. Straight up running. Uh, I need you to make another... Con save? Yep. I am chanting from another round. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He notices me still breathing, right? Nope. Oh, good. You're fine. <laughs> but I did hear someone downstairs making noise. Yeah. I need you to make a... Find the shotgun. Find the shotgun. <laughs> that shotgun is out there, dude. <laughs> it's in tall grass. I made him do a con save once time. So it was what int to snap out of it last time. Uh, yeah, we'll do int. Just straight. Yep. No. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, roll me a d four. 
you don't know this in your as a character, but you're running west. Okay. I'm hysterically running, so I'm not noticing anything. <laughs> we were so close. Does the you, however have something after you? And I need okay. another death saving throw. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm great. My con will literally so not let me die. <laughs> I have so much constitution. Let me see the movement real quick. So uh, my move is eight. Your move is eight. I don't know if running makes that better, but my base move is eight. Okay, you can actually outrun it. Good! That's one thing I wanted to double check. It's a proper uh, innovation. I need you to make an intelligence. Okay. <gasps> well, you snap out of it. You, you're standing in place real quick. Uh -huh. As you snap out of it. Uh huh. Make give me a spot hidden. Oh, oh Lord, he coming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You see a dark figure barreling towards you. Is there anything nearby that I can use for cover? to lose it. At this point, there's open field. Your farm. The yeah, only choice I have is to keep fucking running. I was like, there's some trees on the other end, uh, but that would take you, I would say, roughly five minutes at your speed. I'd have to do a full end around, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, no. I, 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 all I can do is bolt. It's bolt or die. Okay. Let me. Actually, here's a question. Okay. Do I know if Bart left the keys in the car? Oh. Bart. Oh, Snorri Bear. Sorry. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm here. I'm just saying. Uh, oh. I'm... Probably not though. Okay. Okay. He's the kind of guy who would take the keys with him. And that's what I wanted oh, to yeah. double check. Yeah, and you would like you wouldn't have known this, but especially after what happened at the general store. <laughs> oh yeah, you that's know, good people point. are eyeballing that car coming through here, and it's yeah, that's, that's, that's all he's got. Like mm -mm -mm. also okay. five and a half hours. Crowd, so. yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess he probably wouldn't have left it running. Oh, okay, whatever. No, no. All right. Okay. Uh, as he's running, uh, where are you heading? Away from the dark figure. Am I still okay. am I still making constitution <laughs> checks? Uh, give me a straight up I would say intelligence with disadvantage. Me? Yep. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. Good job. You you would know the direction of the town. Okay, yeah. I, I will just haul ass to town. Okay. Am I still rolling, or am I just kind of I need you to roll. bleed out? Mm -hmm. You guys remember that that, yeah. that Kevin Costner Robin Hood movie and uh, Alan Rickman's super long death scene at the end? <laughs> <laughs> I've been bleeding out for hours. <laughs> I wonder what the roll is on that. Uh, you keep checking until you die, or until someone gives you first aid. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to need a con for stamina okay. at this point, because you've been sprinting for a while. I can't make that. Okay, you slow down a little. Okay. I'll say you're at half pace right now while you're trying to... All right. There, you would say probably within a round or two in game that the mm. bear would be upon you. All right. I'll do one of these. Thank you. And I will. I give, go ahead and give me another con to see if you've regained enough. Recaught your breath. No. Okay. Ooh. It is really close to you right now. Okay. Uh, am I educated enough to know what one should do if it, one is attacked by a bear? From being from this area. Yeah. I would say, say intelligence with advantage. Okay, do you want intelligence or education? Uh, actually, 
Ooh, education. We'll give you education advantage. I mean, it, yeah, as far as you would be aware, yes. it's just a regular ass bear. Yes. Regular ass bear. <laughs> you would know of tales of how to stop this. Whether what you can perform it, we'll see. Uh, okay. What do I know? Play dead. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I was going after. So I'm just gonna drop to the ground and see if I can play dead. Doesn't work. Especially not with that. undead bears. <laughs> you saw well, some, Eliza try. <laughs> and Eliza was chanting. Eliza got back up and was chanting. She wasn't up, but she was still she chanting. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, let me look at the... I'm going to guess that I just bleed out eventually. Eventually you'll fail a con roll by more than you can luck out. Well, I'd have to fail two, cause, or more than that, because I have a 75 and I have 24 points. So even if I rolled a 99, I could luck it. You could roll a 100. I know, but that's like a 1% shot. Yeah. I'm trying but to figure if, out. Uh, if you keep failing, your luck is going to dwindle down and run out. Well, I know. Yeah. Give me a dex to see if you could fall to the ground convincingly. Okay, straight up? Yep. Oof. I'll make it. Oof. Oh, your luck. I, I've got enough luck to make that work. Okay. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out... Uh, it's not really persuade. I'm like trying to basically... How about tricking. disguise? Disguise sounds fun. I'm trying to disguise myself as a corpse. Uh, straight up? Uh, yeah, we'll give it straight up. Hard okay. success. Nice. Let me go ahead and... It's still looking at your corpse right now. Uh, uh, I will do the best that I can to remain perfectly still. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need, within this time frame, let's see. Running, when was your last time roll, Phineas? I, I think he's only owed one because like, I've only done one yep. thing. <laughs> oh shit! So You're gonna burn gross. most of your luck to survive? Fuck yes, I am. How much? You're you what? Left? Two luck left? Yeah, I so have. That's a yep. twenty-two. I have yeah. two luck. Okay. I uh, go ahead. <sighs> to the bitter end. <laughs> Give me a disguise with advantage. Got it. Hard success. Perfect. Ooh. The bear starts moving away from you. Towards the house again. That's fine. Not you can any, have that house. Not in any speed. Just kind of... Yep. It's done with you. For now. Yep. I'm, I'm just going to sit here and wait and catch my breath. Mm -hmm. Gone? That? Yep. I'm great. Hey. I am super great. Okay, right now it's probably about, we'll say 10 yards away. From me? From... No, from me. Oh. From Charles. They're quite a ways away from Yeah, me. yeah. They're, so they're, I'm just going to sit they went for a jog. until it gets out of sight. Mm -hmm. So if I roll a one, do I come back? No. Nope. Can we say that I do? <laughs> That's an interesting question. <laughs> Same. <laughs> You're dead. There's no coming back from that. I want to come back from dead. So bad. I just want to wake up and be like, Cthulhu Fatagan, motherfucker. Yeah, I want to wake up from this bad dream back in my house-ish place. Do not give the keeper any ideas like that. That did give me some fun ideas. I will gladly give the keeper that idea. So, con, con <laughs> 100%, again? 100% I will give the give keeper that idea. Uh, one sec. I guess my guests decided to lock themselves out. Let me go let them in. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, and I'll let you contemplate the one while I'm away. Okay. Right. Great. Awesome. <laughs> well, this has gotten intense. 
Six, I don't how, how like uh, this is. I have a ridiculously high yeah. constitution. I'm a doctor. I know. I was. Uh, I guess I was such a glass cannon. I had all strength, size, and no constitution. So. Yep. Every build in this game is valid. That's the cool thing about it. Every okay. character is good at something and bad at something. And I'm back. Have to be and bad at living. I will say my guest would fail his intelligence check. Um, wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Instead of pull, was it was this like the far side school for the gifted sort of, you know, pushing the pole door? Close. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let me roll for... I didn't roll a one, no. I was asking that if I do roll a one... <laughs> the... I'll say, you, I'll say you'll stabilize. Alright. No. Nope. You just keep on not dying. <laughs> Until I do. Okay, the bear is about 15 yards away. You still stay not moving? Yeah, I'm staying down. Okay. I've been chanting for four hours and then running my ass off. I need to breathe. He's probably snoring. No, I'm not sleeping. The adrenaline's still running, because I know that my life is still on the line, and if I fall asleep out here, I'm probably going to die. But you desperately need some, like, water. <laughs> I need all sorts of things. I mean, it's raining. Just open your mouth. That's true. All right. Uh, Roll again? Yep. You're still alive and fighting this? Is this real life right now? It's not a fantasy. The bear's 20 yards away. Oh my god. Are you staying I'm, there? I'm staying there until I cannot see the bear anymore. Okay. Um, give me a spot hidden. Sure. Disadvantage because it's raining. I cannot see the bear anymore. Okay. But can the bear see you? Good question. That is a so, good question. now that I can't see the bear anymore, I'm going mm -hmm. to slowly get up and start hauling ass toward town. <laughs> He's like, Bah! I've seen that face a couple times tonight! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Your sudden movement uh, brought attention your way. Yeah. I'm running. And I need a con. Run and enchant him! Oh, it's a one! It's a fucking one! Uh, okay. extreme success on my con. So, you're certainly, you're stabilized there right now. <laughs> can I continue chanting? No, you're, you're not just stabilized. Just stable. No you're not dying, dead. But you're still unconscious. So you're just not dead yet. Uh, and you have a higher chance of living. I want to check one thing about the lack of champion going. You get like oh, one so HP back tables. per day. So it turns out tomorrow. that once people, <laughs> once somebody stops chanting, it explodes and we all die anyway. No. Um, I'm just... <laughs> Seeing how far it regresses. You you don't really have to look at that because there's no fucking way I'm going back to the house. But oh, it's I, not for you. But I could wake up. Oh yeah, that's true. You could wake up tomorrow and just decide to start chanting with your one point. <laughs> I can't Jesus. believe I rolled a one on that cod roll. Me okay. So we're on to the bear chase. Yep. <laughs> Again. I, I had an extreme con success on the last check to continue running. Okay. So you stay ahead of it. Mm -hmm. When do I wake up? I would say someone would have to... I mean, after this point, with the amount of blood you've lost, you would be... It'll be a while. <laughs> I was like, pretty safe you're probably going to need fair. some uh, blood added to you. That's fair. That's fair. But I'm alive. 
But there's an eldritch horror running, roaming the earth, so 50-50. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna need another con save. Okay. Not for me. No. Okay. You put some more distance between you. I would say you're probably about a mile away from town right now. I'm gonna push it and try and run that last mile. I'm going to need... I, I have no other choice. Give me another intelligence to make sure that you're still going in the right direction. Straight up? Yep. No. Roll me a d4. Sure. I have one in four chance. You start going north, away. Oh, fuck. But it's still not where the bear was, so... Yeah. It's still Antarctic, so... Yes. So you basically just veer right real quick. Mm hmm And... It may take a little bit longer now. Yeah, that's fine. What's my choices? Stop and try and reorient <laughs> myself and get a bear to the back? So are we... So are we gonna call this, or what? <laughs> At this point, I would say... Give me one last con disadvantage. You got it. No. <laughs> okay. Fix, roll me a d6. Before you do. Oh. Give me a second. He just did. Give, yeah. you, give you what? No, I was gonna type in the conditions for everyone. Yeah, I trust you. Oh, yeah. I, I trust you. If I didn't trust you, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> well. I will say, while you are currently alive, you're not you. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I uh, dig up, bitches. Do I become the monster? You become a pawn of the monster. Oh, yes! <sighs> oh, no! To be continued. <laughs> and unfortunately, how many death saves would you like to do with that con? Uh. I'm not sure that I understand the question. Uh, because... Oh, I told you, you did an ant roll. I was going to have you do a con roll for your... To see if you could actually make it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, ro um, he rolled the con roll. I rolled the con and you said I had a penalty die and I failed. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I looked at the ant roll, right? Yeah. Uh, there yeah. we go. Okay. Uh... Unfortunately, you become better snack. <sighs> yep, I just couldn't make it to town fast enough. If you would have actually you got your directions right on the last one, yep. you would have made it. Yep. And the bear would have went off and done whatever. Yep. And I feel real good about us right now. <laughs> hey, at least we died as a group. Phineas is still not dead. Ah! The search he's for Phineas. He's not really alive. But he's not dead. Exactly. So what That's the important So part. what happens? <laughs> I would say Phineas is used to wreak havoc. And who knows, another adventuring party might be called to deal with said things. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> That's their problem. <laughs> so currently, Phineas is out there doing the bidding of the Elder Tour. Yes. Oh, great. Phineas has become the villain of the next adventure. Hell yeah, I have. Glorious. <laughs> that was oh fun. God. So, that was thank awesome. you guys for playing. Thank you all. Thank you all for. As mad as I am, this. that was really fun. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> oh, worth it. And not even like worth we didn't even win. <laughs> Six and a half just get <laughs> our asses handed to us. That's like, like sometimes Arkham Arkham be like that. 
Yeah. We were that close, Blue. You were, we were so close. that close. If Fix wouldn't have stopped chanting the twice, mm -hmm. I would say you probably would have not had to deal with the bear. Well, one of them would, but uh, the three chanting would not have had to deal with the bear. Because once you bound him fully there, uh -huh. with there was five minutes left, all the things he animated just go fall bye -bye. over. Uh, I I was horrified that I was gonna be like the animated one. I thought about it. I was. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually one of the roles. Yeah. <laughs> you with a shotgun. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have gotten real ugly real fast. But yeah, there was so many like just little bit off from success. That that is Call of Cthulhu in a nutshell. Yeah, that's really the is. Lovecraft mythos in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much yes. for playing. Thank, Thank you guys for, for playing. This, this was a lot of fun. Everybody. Thanks for inviting yeah. me to this we, game. It was we will so definitely fun. have to talk about a future game. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do this again sometime. That'll it was be like fun. A, it was a good time. Yeah. As long as we all wake up and it was a dream, I'm cool. Uh, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> when, when you said that, uh, I first thought you all wake up in the sanitarium. <laughs> That'd be cool. And your sanity will be at a certain level. I'm cool. just gonna let you play on, play with that for a little while, because I'm not opposed to using the same character. Just saying. Or you just <laughs> erase the name. <laughs> just like your sister. Now I'm Kayla Elise. Uh, we could definitely discuss that in our chat that we have. Yeah, yeah we, awesome. we can certainly do that. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining us for this very very long. Uh, extremely fun adventure. We are back. Talk to Jay Stu for running. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. I'm glad it was fun for y'all. That's it really was what very, I was hoping. It was very it really fun. Was. I had a good that time. That was awesome. When we were I talking would play about this game based uh, like on this experience, I would play this yeah. game again 100. Yeah. percent yeah. Sure. yeah. When we were talking oh, yeah. last night and stuff about being nervous and stuff like that, I just was nervous about y'all having fun because I was like, I go, this is gonna be a blast for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I, like, much I get fun. To play with, I get to play with all the toys. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. <laughs> nice. So right. I just wanted y'all to have fun. So I'm glad I went that way. Yes, please drop. Uh, okay, uh, let's drop some follows oh, yes. for our fantastic keeper of arcane lore. Uh, that other John Stewart. His link is in my chat and Snorri's chat. Uh, go give a follow to Snorri Bear and Bluebirds Fly as well. They are fantastic. Um, Brilliant people. Go do the yes. Bluebirds. You know, yeah, we do the like <laughs> the Brady the Brady Bunch intro and just look down and around at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, follow yeah, everybody. Else. We are back in two <laughs> weeks with our regular fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons game zero initiative. That's going to be a lot of fun. If you like D&D, come visit and join and watch that. Um, well, uh, I'm going to find somebody to raid. I think I'm going to raid Kinaeus because he is live. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Keen is live Keen. currently with uh, Majora's Mask. Doing his, uh, what shall we send as our message? Uh, I need dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or, if we were di or we were dinner. How about no. everybody died? Hooray! No. <laughs> oh boy! Right, thank you guys. Have a great one. Bye guys. Thank See you. Everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Go ahead and copy that. Uh, we're gonna go raid. Once again, thanks for joining me on this. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank being you very much. And I've always wanted well, to try this game and I never had a chance, so I'm very glad that I got time. to. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Fair enough. Welcome on in.
bring in 11 uber vampires with you as well. How was Call of Cthulhu, my friend? Everyone. <laughs>